Oh, look at this. Farina is a character. We were aware of this, but Charlotte's also out. Masquerade of the Guilty. Dude, I saw one thing. It was like her character name. It was like part of the masquerade from the starters. I I'm, I'm so excited. Everything feels, you know, the more they've been talking about act, this whole place is just... It's a big dollhouse. We're all being bamboozled. <laughs> that's, that's my last guess before tomorrow. I, mean, I got a farm. But I feel like Farina has to have more to it than just like, <laughs> Oh, I don't know, I'm just clueless. No, you're you're acting. You're an actor. I play the web event too, it made me even more sus. <laughs> this also an act. These kids aren't actually poor. They're very rich. See, treasure. I told you. It's over. It's time. Nerd, were you in on all this? Nerd, do you know all this? There's so little on this thumbnail. What else can I see? The city is flooding. I didn't even realize the it's flooding. It's over. Good morning, Pelines. Let's go. That's it. Let's go back to the Narcissan Coits. Wait, what? This? No, I was gonna say what? That's a different thing. That's a world quest. Another big lore, big boy, big lore, big in the bushes. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Neither can I, dude. I can't wait either. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can't either. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another commentary. Today we are back with the final act of Fontaine. I can't believe it. I feel like this area just came out, which it kind of did, to be fair. I feel like they could maybe spread them out a little more. <laughs> either way, I can't wait to see the end. The amount of stuff that's been teased, the fact that people said death sentence the fact that it's been there's so much talk about acting all the time i'm like have we just been in one big puppet box the entire time are we just are we getting memed from the start i don't know and i can't wait to get into it with this story quest right here nope this one <laughs> masquerade of the guilty what original sin does god of justice who claims to judge the gods herself bear one cannot make an enemy of the divine if the heavenly principles are not to be defied the answer shouldn't be to bow to one's head and wait for death Instead, let there be a spin, a hop, and a skip. <laughs> then let the sinner take the final bow. I, 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 I. And I really want to do this because I want to. I want to get to know her much more. I hope this involves her a lot, unlike say Ayeta's new area. There's that tower, awakening water, new boss, very cool. Anyway, let's go to this quest. Wait till the next day as the music absolutely pops off. Let's go. Paimon, what do you want me to do? Nothing. We just go back to jail again? I'm so tired of jail. You guys want to see one more thing I haven't shown yet? Bam! Holy moly. I got so lucky. First 10 pull. Zero pity. I got her. My ritual was nuts, though. 30 pulls later? Bam! I love her attacks, though. Perfect for the scenic thing. <laughs> I love it. I'll keep them in my party. Hopefully, we can clear most enemies. Although, it's probably going to be a Hydro boss. I'm going to be struggling. Let's go to jail. Hjellor. Ah, oh, this ain't the right floor. I don't even know what to guess. Because if this is actually the last story quest, so much has happened up to here. So many loose ends. How can you even tie them all together in one quest? You can't. You can't. It is legally impossible. Yo, besties, we back in jail. Some time has passed since the incident for the Smilopede and your sentence is almost finished. Hi. Oh no. Now for a little rest after breakfast. Oh, this is the life. You're just happy we're here because we don't have to do anything. Wait a sec. Isn't something important supposed to happen today? At our freedom. Oh, today's our big day. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, we've got to go complete the release procedures now. Oh, we're gonna fill in the papers with the lady. Whoa! Masquerade of the guilty. They they like this. They've been doing this lately. The little pan out into show title of the thing. Monklan is busy. Oh, you're joking. Can I please skip it? Oh, okay, maybe it's a quick one. Fuck. Monklan, my immersion is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just got scammed during a survey, but that's great because now we can move on. Yay, non-zero <laughs> achievement. Monglan, your name isn't even Monglan in here. You're just receptionist. Let's hear you. What you got to say? Please sign here. Mm -hmm. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and okay. you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. Regular channels. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and. And? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh no, not already. Stop, I'm not ready for this whole place drowning. Uh, what's happening? It's Jover. Are, are you okay? Take your time. I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. I, it's the end of the world, I think. Let's go ask the Duke. I think we just went from 2011 to 2012. It's over! A new life's beginning! Woohoo! Yeah! Wait, I gotta click it. Damn it, I keep forgetting. I always scroll and don't click. Arc Duke! Wait, why is it not queued? 
Arced deluge of wrathful tears. Wait. Who's mad at us? Why you want to kill us? Why wrath? Wait, I want to read the little, the little, the little thingies in between. There's nothing. It just says, it just says you're free. Sausage. Monsieur Saucisse. Monsieur. Oh, uh, good to see you too. Is there something you wish to see me about? Why did the earth just quake? Yeah, what was with that earthquake just now? Yeah, that. Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. Oh. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. That sounds worse. It's the Fatus. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. Uh-huh. Besides, the seal that Monsieur Nubilet set in place Sir. won't fail so easily. Well, I believe you, actually. So the fortress is okay? I don't know about that one, Chief. If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. Sure. Huh. You've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and ask about what happened. Well, we're free anyway. Uh, by the way, <laughs> do you know what day it is today? <laughs> by the way, do you know? Hmm, I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Oh, we're escaping through the pipes. Wait. Seriously? Actually, today is the day we say goodbye to the fortress. Ah, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Yes, that's what where we got tremors. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's you two. Siegeween. Uh, are you leaving now? Yep, it's over, Siegeween. And you didn't even put a single sticker on my back. I'm kind of sad about it. That's right. Today is our last day in prison. But now that Paimon says that... Oh, no. Here. Oh no. It's actually been pretty nice. We're not going to go everywhere and say goodbye to everyone individually, right? Because a lot of people have helped us out. Oh yeah, Paimon feels fond of this place now. It's jail. Well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. That's cute, Sijuin. Take care, bestie. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. Okay. The guards will escort you out. Alright. You're not going to see us off? <laughs> but sausage. <laughs> I knew you'd ask. Ah. Uh, All right, sure. Let's go. The pleading eyes worked. Well, you actually agreed. Uh, no worries. You <laughs> must be busy. Paimon was just joking. No, you weren't. Ah, uh, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> <laughs> After it's rare. Been down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking <laughs> companionship. <laughs> Shall I come along too? <laughs> so rough. Nah. Nah, you stay here. It's all right. It's not like we'll never visit again. Yeah, don't worry. We'll come back to see you. Uh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The <laughs> chefs sure do know how to make good grub. <laughs> I hope you won't be here as convicts good the next time I see you. No, of course not. We'll be... Uh, I'd, it's kind of weird to come visit prison if there's no one here we care about either. But yeah, sure. No. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Merrimede is finished. <sighs> That's the so end good. of another chapter in our journey. So good. And since Nervlet was the one who asked Ner us to come here. Yeah. We should go see him. We probably go report to him. All right. Here. Next up, the Palais Mermonia. Let's get it. You're going to see Monsieur Nervlet? Yes. <laughs> Please pass on our kind regards. Will do. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it would be the polite thing to do. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I wanted her things to I've go to heartbroken. The has been terribly busy these days. Yeah. Uh, tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. String of troubles? String of troubles? What do you mean? Deluge. It's still deluge. If you're concerned about things at the palais, why don't you take some time to go up and check things out? Yeah. I believe you should still have some vacation time to spend. But the people need tending to. <sighs> Thank you for being so understanding. <laughs> it means a lot. <laughs> It's been some time since I've gone to the surface. Uh huh. I must say that I've started to miss it a little. Really? Don't they live in the underground by default, though? To the palais! To the palais. Plessia! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get your attention there. Keep it up, Pless. Pless you. <laughs> Hello! Oh, there's a crowd. Yun. I still need to do Yun's quest. Why is there a crowd here? They're gonna stop us, no? Yeah. The Palais Marmonia sure is buzzing with activity Whoa. today. Are you okay, Paimon? Halt! Huh? Halt! Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies. It's okay. Monsieur Nervalet did say you'd be welcome at any time. Thanks, Queen. Excuse me. Would you mind Isadora. helping me take a look at this report? Huh? I'll be right there. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my hands full here. But you can see yourselves in. Oh, I've never heard that before. You can see yourselves in. I've only heard out. Someone ran away, oh, by the way. So busy. Seems a lot has been 
been happening. Uh huh. I wonder about what. Oh, the, the flower transition really gonna hit us with one of these already? Oh, we're spoiled. Whoa, it was so clean. I didn't even notice it. Nerd. Hello. Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment. Okay. As there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. Can we lend you a hand? In the meantime, please have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, <laughs> let the melusine outside know. A glass of water will do from Liwa. That's all right. We just ate. We did we we did we? Very well. Then. I guess we did say we would. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish his work. All right. Many couches. Anyway, this is going to be hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Yawn, Paimon. I can hear it already. <sighs> yeah. All right. I should wrap things up for now. What were you doing? Thinking? Are you done with your work? <laughs> he had nothing in front of him. Hmm. Yeah. This should be it. Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry, Chief. Thanks for, uh, uh, uh what do you say? Welcoming us? Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. Uh-huh. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. Uh-huh. That's right. And we came here to see you right away. Uh-huh. <laughs> you and Pine will tell Nur everything about what happens as a primordial sea incident, as well as your dream mm, regarding child. A massive whale. Yeah, he swipes and swipes and swipes, you know. Do you have any idea what that might be? Child. Alter ego. <laughs> Judging from your description... That cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, uh -huh. but rather something like the primordial sea. I mean, I was I was aware of that one. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tivat. That'd be so cool, though. Therefore, we can only assume that Child is presently immersed in primordial seawater. You know, it'd be crazy that this whale is the weekly boss, and we actually fight. Maybe we save Child from it. I don't know. I feel like Child has a closer bond with this whale. It's got to be an abyssal whale of some kind. And Child's is homie. Immersed in primordial seawater? What the hell? And is he okay? He's not from Fontaine, so he won't dissolve, at least. I mean, he could sh still drown, I'm sure. Most people no. wouldn't be capable of entering in the first place. Uh-huh. I'm not completely sure how he could have gotten there myself. So you're saying my dreams are not just dreams. You're saying it's stuff that's actually happened. There's something we'd like to ask about. Yes? What is it? What was that tremor we felt earlier? Ah, oh, right! Paimon felt it too! We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it! Since you're an above water guy. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. Okay. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. You could have told us. The source of the tremor was here on the surface oh. near Poisson. <laughs> he said After it pretty the well. shaking stopped, <laughs> the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. Uh-huh. The water levels rose? Yep. Oh no! What about all the people there? Uh oh! Fortunately, Let's the go. water Quick. levels only rose for a short period of time, and have already returned to normal now. Mm. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. They were testing the waters. Yeah, pun not really intended. They were like, they're trying to see if they can take over the whole ass city in one go. So this is fabricated. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, uh -huh. then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. They're all gonna dissolve, Nur. Navia should be in Poisson, right? I know. We need to go check on her. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, the HQ is there. I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. Don't worry, we'll wait we for you. We must immediately formulate there. disaster prevention plans for the surrounding coastal areas to avoid potential catastrophes. You know what my crazy bet was? That... Fanta made you immune as a Fontanian to seawater. Anyway, we should distribute Fanta. <laughs> I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. Be great first. marketing. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I finish things here. You say it way too well. It's not funny, Nur. Sounds like a plan. There's no time to lose. Let's get going. Let's move. Please be careful. Don't worry. I'm not from here, so I won't dissolve. Deluge of wrathful waters. Still. The two of you have my thanks. No worries, dude. If you need any help. Just let me know. Oh, trust me. I mean, we're gonna need your help for sure. But you're busy. You're a little busy bee, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, what did, this, what did I just do? Oh my god, let's go. I have a commission right there. Quick, we need to save Navia. You better not let Navia die. Sparkle. Oh, no. No. What happened here? Holy. I mean, it's just the bridges, actually. The rest looks okay. <laughs> All the buildings here seem to be in pretty rough shape now. There's nobody around. 
Were they all dissolved? No. Let's not assume the worst yet. They're probably inside the boat, right? Nadia should be around here, right? Uh-huh. We need to make sure she's still- Stop, stop. <laughs> If you kill Navia, I'm so mad. I'm so much more mad. Look for Navia in Poisson. What are you doing inside a fish? Hello? This is rough. This is already making me sad. It hasn't even started yet. It hasn't even kicked off. Navia! I mean, I, I, I think it makes sense if they fled. Honestly. Now. Disaster victim. M. <laughs> Sir! Look, are you okay? Oh! Watch your balance. <laughs> watch your balance, okay. Uh, all right. Just hurry. Are you scared of heights? That rope is gonna knock you in the head, you're gonna fall off. I thought it was uh I thought it was Malus, maybe. Or silver. Hello. Oh, Desiree's father. Oh no. How will I survive on my own? No. No. <laughs> Stop Why with the sad music. Sir, it just started. I can't start sobbing now. Uh, he looks pretty sad. He sounds it, yeah. <laughs> my leg. Oh no. <laughs> my leg. Oh my god, no. <laughs> How could this have happened? Whoa. It hurts. Yeah, yeah. Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. Oh, this is where the romance starts. This is cute. I love how they made her clothes actually, like, stained by the mud or whatever. I don't know if that's always been the case. I think it looks really good. Though. I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm gonna need to uh, talk about things to distract my mind from this, because this ain't it. Oh, I see her. I think that's her, right? Yes. She's alive! No! <laughs> Run! Oh, it's Navia! She's over there! Alright, big relief. She's alive. Hey, Navia! Are you okay? She can't hear us. She's conversating. Huh. Oh. It's us. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> That's not very happy you are here. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came uh -huh. as quickly as we could. She said it pretty well, too. Yes. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. Oh, uh, yeah. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god, don't tell me. Okay. Malus, so, no. There's a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported him to safety, but we've run out of medical supplies. Oh, no. I got plenty of chicken if you need. He's wounded? How badly? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. Oh, no. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified and eventually... Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> Stop. Jump down, then. Stop! <laughs> Find the leader of Squad 1 and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. Squad 1? He should know where to go. Squad 1 is definitely Malus and Silver. Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. Nice. All right. You'll be in charge. Nice. Let's go, King. I'm sorry. Where were we? In Poisson. Uh, this situation in Poisson? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, right. Allow me to explain. No, I, I hate... There's not a single bit of joy in the voice. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. Uh-huh. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. Mm -hmm. But before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere i might have done that during expiration actually the rushing water seemed a little odd uh -oh. almost like the unique color of primordial seawater mm -hmm. some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere right okay everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water oh no didn't have a chance to escape as the water levels rose they suddenly disappeared. Yeah. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, yeah. desperately trying to get to higher ground. Mm -hmm. Many were injured in the stampede, <laughs> and some, some people fell from significant heights. Yeah. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been a lot of casualties. Mm-hmm. 
Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. Well, I don't think the chaos comes to an end, because now you gotta worry about if this happens again in the future. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater, so the lower levels of Poisson are still hazardous. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. No one knows if this could happen again. Exactly. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. Yep. We still haven't completed the headcount, but we'll have some numbers soon. Yeah. How awful. And all of this just came out of nowhere. I mean, to be fair, if I was someone like from Fontaine. I'm not very attached to where I was born. Like it doesn't really matter to me where I live as long as I'm happy, right? When I think about it, I'm like, if there is a risk that there's primordial seawater anywhere around here, or even like a rumor or something, and there's gods that talk about it too, I would move. <laughs> I would move. I'm not staying in Fontaine. You just know, you know there's risks. I don't know. I wouldn't stay. It was quite frightening indeed. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. You know, your wish might come true. It might just be one big act. Maybe they don't even dissolve for real. Maybe they're just in a little party room and we're all part of the play. Is there any way we can help Navia? Yeah, we're here to help. You can put us to work. Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this. <laughs> you don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. <laughs> Wait, we're missing some people, aren't we? No. 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 Do not kill them. No. 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 No, 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 I thought they were squad one. No, <laughs> no. Demoiselle, we've got a situation here. Oh, God. It's squad one. They're dead. Uh, I'll be right there. There, nah, she's trolling. Don't say it. Sorry, I need to go for now. Why would you stall? You could just say dead or not. <laughs> now we think they're dead. And now she goes. Seems it might be a while before Paimon. take a break. How are you not? What do you mean? <laughs> no! No! Navi walks around, talking with many people and organizes various matters. Her de decisions are clear and reasonable. Okay. Couldn't the see the rest. are being tended to, and we finished a preliminary headcount. Okay. More support has just arrived, so... I suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Don't make me sob, please. Uh, of course. We should remain ready for anything. Mm -hmm. And continue doing our best to rescue others. Of course. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Yeah. Traveler, Paimon. <laughs> I'm gonna sob already. Can you accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? <sighs> Just, uh, yeah. Huh? Right now? I understand. Thank you. No. <laughs> no. The girls once wept. I'm weeping right now. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. I hope I'm not understanding. Vincenzo, I'm getting it wrong, right? Please, friend, stay. It's not the time to go to Poisson. So please come back. What? Oh, like, don't go in there? As you can see, the town suffered a flood recently. It's a total mess. The water's been receded for now. No one knows what's going to happen. Perhaps you also have heard of the prof prophecy. Anyway, the townspeople have already evacuated. No help is needed right now, so you should really get out of here, too. Um, you know, the thing is, it can't really get fully destroyed because people still have to explore here if they haven't, so. They're not actually... They're not actually gone, right? They're not actually gone. This is gonna hit me way harder than any other character gone. I cared about these two. What if they're just hanging out there? What if they're not gone? <clears throat> no. Nah, they couldn't be. Navia, you're not messing with me, right? It's a different time of day. It was a long walk here. Not a lot of people here, huh? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me there's gonna be more. The whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Right. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Mm hmm. Um, Navia? There's no need to push yourself so hard. <laughs> I'm actually gonna sob too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh. Sorry. 
I... I just... It's okay. A little moment of weakness. Malus and Silver. Oh. They won't ever come back here again. <laughs> no, stop. What should I do, Papa? Oh, God. No way they actually did this. Huh? What happened to them? <laughs> Fuck. I'm so mad. I'm sorry for your loss. Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still, I was the one who initiated it. I don't want to believe in this. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. What if they're not from Fontaine? And... And they were caught in the seawater. Yeah. <clears throat> no. What should we do? What do you want to do? There's nothing to do. I've known them for so long. And I know they weren't afraid. <laughs> but... Tim. I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. Mm hmm But as for Malus and Silver, they're just... Gone. I just can't... Yeah. Uh-oh. -uh. No. <laughs> Stop. Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. <laughs> I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. I can understand. Besides... The scenery here is <laughs> These are such goons. See, it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Damn. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be angry, would he? I don't think so. Ah, how could Master ever be upset <laughs> with you, Demoiselle? Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or later. No matter who you are. Yeah, I guess he's right. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope oh. you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. I don't like these talks. <laughs> they don't. They don't feel right. Hey, stop joking around. I know. I'm quite serious. That way, it will save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. <laughs> this dude. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his <laughs> other side? You're such a copycat. After all, besides you, demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered master's closest companions, no? Wow. Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. But this dude's so young, though. This guy, I understand. Like, this guy was this guy's age when when when, when the big boss was here. Callus, <laughs> right? are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Uh-uh. They knew. They knew. All right, all right. I'll remember your request. Uh, and now you can't promise it. But I'd or really prefer promise. not to talk about this stuff. I know. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey <laughs> even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. <laughs> I promise to let them rest in peace. Yeah, there it is. But here I am breaking that promise. Figured as much. <sighs> it's like you had a choice. I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. It's fine. I don't usually cry, really. Yeah, right. Paimon doesn't it's not a shame to, to cry. Feel better, but, well... She understands how you feel. You know, you know, if there's ever going to be like a big fight at the end of the game or something, I feel like they'd still be there. I feel like maybe they <laughs> maybe those I'm so coping. Maybe there's maybe they're still maybe they're still alive. I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. I know. Luce and Silver have helped me so much. Mm -hmm. But by contrast, I could do nothing for them. You gave them purpose? I'm pretty sure that's all they were looking for. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Yeah, we're here for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right now... <laughs> You don't know how much that means. I think I do. By the way, 
You can have a look at this. Oh, no. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Oh, don't actually scrunch up a piece of paper that I can scroll down. Obana. Okay. Khan. Burnett. Giverny. Francine. Stop slowly listening them. Marina. Daisy Ray. Yeah. Joanville. Mm hmm. Julianne. Esson. Mm hmm. As well as Malus and Silver. Ah. So, everyone else is safe. That's still, yeah. But still. I guess relatively, it's not the whole ass town. But as you say, still. It's okay. I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. Mm hmm. We were able to save more than we anticipated. Right. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. It's just such a rough thing to say. No one's sacrifice is truly necessary. Right. Don't think that way, Navia. One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. It's coping right now. <laughs> what else do you want her to say? We're not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes. I'm sure everyone sees it that way. You're right. Thank you, Paimon. <laughs> what you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> I'll remember your words. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Oh my, what are you, what? <laughs> what are you doing here? This is the single most r What? Uh, the knave? What are you doing here? Are you- have you come to pay respects? Ah, uh, is everything going well on your side? With their homies. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. Bro? All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated. Poisson. And we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. You're a queen for saying it that way. This- uh, okay. As for these sure. supplies, we have everything taken care of. Sure. I'm... There is no need to worry. I'm just gonna act like this is completely normal, because no one else seems to be shocked. Thank you very much. Wow. Wait, do you two know each other? It's more than no. Look at them. They're having a whole ass convo. We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm. Hmm. Usually, I would call this a coincidental encounter. <laughs> Quite fit this time. What? Besides, it never even crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui. Really? Which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Really? Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. I agree. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. That's wild. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. <laughs> I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. <laughs> oh, We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. Damn. Queen shit. My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. This can be either the biggest backstab in history preparing, or she actually is like, has been saying the truth and cares about the people of Fulton and always has. Either way, pretty cool. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand in any case. Right. As I've told this traveler before, I know this of traveler. the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. We've heard that. I want to believe you. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. Sure. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Mm -hmm. Perhaps one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Sounds cool. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Yeah. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. Damn. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. 
I know that I've only been positive about Father the entire time, and a lot of people have been like, Liz, you understand, in other characters' voice lines, they, sh they say she's insane, she's batshit crazy, but uh, so far she's only been reasonable. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. Hmm. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. <laughs> and they weren't the price paid for other salvation. What a shot. They chose to become heroes themselves. This is actual acting, you're right. This is acting! She's looking up in the sky, like, dramatically. We're in an act! I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding word. <laughs> but right now, Told you, it's there's coping. nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. Guys, they're gonna get a statue. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. They're gonna get a statue. I'm so excited. You're pretty sweet, father. Water is life to Fontaine's people. Mm -hmm. And it also spells disaster. Yeah. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Sure. Fortunately, I've never been one for such opinions. Mm hmm So, you're one who will try to change fate then? No, that's a banger. Of course. Nice. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some <laughs> things to take care of. What a name. And the children need my attention. Bouffe de Terre. This is- there's no accents. Ete means summer. And bouffe is like a term for food that you say- that's like not polite. Like maybe grub? Like summer grub hotel. The children need my attention. And there she goes. By the way, yeah. Chandler, Paimon. Yes? One more thing. Yes? I was gonna say, you ain't just gonna walk off like that, right? Alright, then we'll just- <laughs> this isn't right. Paima thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. <laughs> it's fine, they're allies. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, <laughs> which I do like to use when necessary. <laughs> but there's no need today. It would not hurt to have See? Miss Navia listening in. I don't understand how she's covering up this insanity so well. If she is insane, she seems really nice. I don't, I'm. I'm growing more confused. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. Yeah. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Mm -hmm. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede Sluicegate, yeah. and this time it was oh. the water levels in Poisson. <laughs> These are both signals. In Poisson. Yeah, yeah. So the time for our jolly cooperation has come? Indeed. Allow hey. me to share the latest intel hey. I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence I'm excited. network with you. Really? Okay. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. I see. The Poisson. ruins date back to ancient <laughs> times and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Okay. Judging by the dating of the ruins, I'm so they may be related to the prophecy oh. and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, mm -hmm. so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. Please be like a little cave entrance with smoke that leads to a to an instanced area, please. My people it's initially so came to prepare for ruin exploration. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. Uh -huh. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. Sure. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. Mm-hmm. Poisson. I wanted to take the children <laughs> along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Really? Okay. Linny told me that outside of the house, Whoa. the person they trust most is you. Whoa! Linny, I see you with your cute little top hat. Which is why I want to give you this task. I appreciate that. Are you sure this will be okay? Can you really trust an outsider like me? I'm not even from here, supposedly. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family, mm -hmm. but Linny, Lynette, and Fremine said that they also see you as such. I'm gonna even though sob you're again. From the house. Stop. Father, stop. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Well, if they say we're family, then it's pretty damn good, no? Oh, that somehow makes Paimon feel kind of happy. Yeah. The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Mm -hmm. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only now. <laughs> you are gonna make me pay? Nah. Nah. 
Uh, Pilot, I'll speak too quick now. Nah. Excuse me, but yes. may I tag along? I wish for Navia trial, but it's never gonna happen. You wish to join, Whoa. Miss Navia? Palma doing flips out here. But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? Yeah. You need to rest. No, she needs a distraction. Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back <laughs> and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. I love her way of speech. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. I know. As my father's successor, yes. I must live up to the hopes he had in Queen! Me. Queen shit. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. Mm -hmm. I need something... Hey! Distraction. what I tell you? ...to keep my mind off Malus and Silver. I know. Navia's strong, but she needs company right now. We can be that company if she goes to explore the ruins with us. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, Traveler? Of course she can come along. All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. <laughs> Here's the map. Thank you. Okay. So many Where queens in one shot. Wow. Okay, let's pack up and get going. Oh my god. Quadruple royalty out here. Delusion Wrath for Waters is done. Meeting is also parting. Shut up. Shut up. Don't say that. Yo, look at them. They're meeting. No, no, no there's no need to part. Well, there is actually need to part. You, you don't want to. Snap. <laughs> Run! I really like her, guys. I like that she has a camera, as I am also a big fan of photography. Speaking of, I took some great pictures. Here are some of them. Wait! Wait! This is insane, actually! My backyard is flooded! If you didn't know, I live in France. My backyard is flooded right now. This is so coincidental! I didn't even think of that. I don't know why I'm running manually. It's kind of a scenic walk. I didn't think of that! I'm living in Fontaine, and my backyard is flooded. I don't know if I can find pictures of it not flooded. It's not as pretty without it being flooded, but... <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Alright. To the ruins. I need to blow my nose again. Ugh, I have the itchy emo nose. Oh! Really? Yes, it is one of these. It is with the smoke. Domain time. So, are these the ruins the knave was talking about? Yep. Oh, talk about old. Well, I mean, oh, uh, sure. They seem to be pretty ancient, all right. Yeah, they're pretty destroyed. Is this Conrian? Let's go in and have a look. All right. Just be careful. Yes, I promise. <clears throat> oh, wow. The place of secrets, really. Look at this! Fatui intelligence indicates this place may be host to heretofore, heretofore, no idea how to pronounce that, unknown clues. No possible rewards and no recommended elements, so there might not be any fighting. I guess lore? It's not a picture of that. That's beautiful. I can take pictures. It's not. <laughs> Let's not touch the water. Actually, we can touch the water because uh, we are not Fontanian. So I'm gonna see if there's any extra loot. Oh, I thought. I really thought. This place is pretty, though. I will say. Architecture. Deep lore knowers. Honestly, this looks like, uh, looks like Sumeru underground architecture to me. But I might be stupid. Because this definitely looks more Fontanian again. <clears throat> boys! So there is fighting. Hello, boys. Uh, this is the only thing I can really do. Beep, 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 beep. Ow. Snap. Snip. Bang. <laughs> Get him, boys! <laughs> Snap, 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 snap. You're being perma frozen. You're so mad. I don't know why we had to kill these actually. Maybe we could just walk past them. You guys gonna follow me? <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so cute. I've never seen this. He's got a top hat on too. Okay, uh, enough distraction. This is gonna break. Yay. Yay. I know chest oh they got pictures on them no idea what it means i feel like she's good i feel like she's good i mean friends i mean it's instant so i can't keep it but trust me if this was in the open world that'd be scenic right then and there and i would keep it just keep an eye here maybe they are hiding more secrets from us maybe not but maybe not dialogue moment this is so cute this place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater yep yeah and a lot of it, too. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. I know. Oh, don't kill Navi. Hey, don't kill Navi, you know. You should go back to safety. Uh, she's fine. Uh, she does what she's right. doing. You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous, and it won't be any help for you to just stay here. Here's the twist. She's not from Fontaine. Paimon. Uh, don't get Paimon <laughs> wrong. We're not saying you're useless. It's... Wow, that's mean. No, you're right. 
I can't do anything in this situation. I'll leave this to you. Uh, well, from the look of things here, maybe there is no way back. Uh-oh. Was this a plan? A trick? That complicates things. Maybe the only way left is forward. Oh my, I'm not letting you die, Nadia. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? No, I feel like that's even riskier. Mm, the water levels here are unstable. And there's a chance the water will rise. I agree. So staying here wouldn't be safe either. 100% agree. I'll go together with you. Yes. Perhaps we'll find the nice exit cheer. just up ahead. Seems like there isn't any other option anyway. All right. Come with us for now then, but please be careful. Yes. Put on a hazmat suit, perhaps. Hmm. Thought of that? Okay. So. Keep moving. Funny you are. What are you on about? What do you mean it's a dead end? Give me this. It's not ancient debris pot that I can destroy. I remember these. They haven't done one of these in a while. This used to be so prominent, I feel, in Mondstadt. Even in the early game domains. Yo, what's up? Parkour on the painting? Whoa. <laughs> Anything else? I want more loot. Loot! Cabbage and tomato. This means people hang out here. I mean, maybe it's just the yellow trills. There's a lot of these pots all around. Open. Sesame. Whoa. 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 What? What? Is that the thing that, like, controls the sea level? I'm very scared if we touch it. Oh, uh, it's either gonna be Doom, and it's gonna flood everything, or we cancel the prophecy with it. Who are we gonna be fighting here? Whoa! What's this FOV? This looks amazing. I, I wish we played the game like this more often. If it's not the Fatui, there's no way there's different branch of the Fatui. Wait, there's something wrong oh, with this bridge. I ran back. Run for it! <laughs> Run! Eek! I'm dead. Door of Resurrection activated. <laughs> oh shit! We're cutscening already! Navya, please don't die. You're so fast, always. It's fine, we grab your hand. It's fine, we grab your hand. Don't! Oh, holy shit, we're diving in. But now what? I'm gonna fly? No! <laughs> Stop! Stop! I, the worst part is I actually did fail it, too. Is this a special cutscene when you get the bad ending? What? She's back home? In Poisson? No. Don't tell me she's wild. No! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! Wait, Malus and Silver? Huh? Maybe... Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I hadn't come to get you? Oh, is this a flashback? Or are we... Are we in Waterworld together? Maybe she just wants some time to herself, Malus. Are you real, Navia? Or are you... Oh. Uh, was I... Was I sleeping? <laughs> We're definitely underwater. Yes, it would appear so. Oh, um, what? Uh, I must be tired. S stop this right now. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Listen, what I remember every time, you know when the dude dissolved girls in, in like the second act, I believe, or the third act? And then at the end, he got like scared to death by seeing all the people that he dissolved trying to find his his girl. Like he was trying, I don't remember the guy's name, but there was a whole act about him, right? And I'm like, they were in some kind of world together. So my guess was at first that everyone that gets dissolved goes to a certain world too. And maybe we're in that world now? Oh, right. I nearly forgot. I did forget. <sighs> it must have slipped my mind when I dozed off. <laughs> I haven't had a nap today yet. <laughs> have I? Is there people that have naps every day? This is a familiar feeling, yet something is a little strange. You better not be dead, Nav. Is something the matter, demoiselle? Yes. Oh, uh, no. No, I'm fine. There's big matter. I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. Oh. She's already, like, cracking the clues? Do you remember Mr. Giverny? No. He'd requested our help before with foreign merchants who had a debt dispute with him, and we'd resolved the matter not long ago. Okay. We were headed to see how things were going with him at the moment. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, right. Yes. I remember now. 
Okay. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Wait, you're the guy... This is, like, long in the past, though. No? She helped us. She gave us clues, because he worked together. <laughs> I'm sorry, the head made me laugh. Selling out her dad. Uh, how have you been? Wasn't that it? I've been great. But then Thanks regretted to your help, it. Those bothersome merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even the guarantor for that person. Okay. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obuna, was getting fed up with them. Yeah. Sometimes force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what you have to say. I feel like this sentence is going to be important later in this quest. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? What is it? Oh, oh yes. One moment, I have it right here. Huh? Miss Navia, these are some flower, flower seeds, seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're a very good variety, and they'll become very big and beautiful once they bloom. Just like you, Navia. I don't know oh. what we would have done without <laughs> your help, so this is a little token of our appreciation. I hope you won't refuse. I... Ah, did you cultivate them yourself? This is... Thank you so much. Something. I'll certainly take them. Malus, we do still have some empty flower pots at home, right? Yes. Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Indeed. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's flowers. She just realized. Very well. Something. Wait. Yeah. Something seems to be off here. Yeah. Excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett, correct? <laughs> That's right. Is something wrong? <laughs> Stop tilting the head. <laughs> uh, no, it's nothing. This is the first time we've ever met. But your name seemed familiar to me. I must have heard it when I was discussing things with your husband previously. My husband? I've no. heard this name before. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. Uh-oh. And why are there so few people around here? <laughs> Where did everyone go? I don't know. We must mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. She's cracking the clue, though. Maybe she's gonna crack the clue about the primordial seawater. Huh? We do? Like what? Well, now, did you forget? Yes. Miss Navia, here you are. Melissa. I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Your trial is about to begin. Trial? My trial? <laughs> Wait. Well, why would I need to go to the Opera House? What a nightmare. Yes, she's right, demoiselle. It's just about time now, so we should get going. Explain. Oh? Uh, all right then. N no, really? We're just gonna go? What? Bring us back to us, please. Not this. Look, it's what? Navia. She's here. His son. He died. And her two attendants are with her. <sighs> Goodness. She also died. Everyone's finally here. You can only be here if you were primordial sea watered. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly. Excited about something. Uh huh. I even know some of these people. Yeah. Kalina. Desiree. I know. Joyville. I know. Jolien. Uh huh. Essen. Why are so many people here? <sighs> and why do I have no recollection of this case? We're in Waterworld. And as for the judge. Uh, huh? Where's Monsieur We've... Nervillet? I don't know. Who would be the judge in Waterworld? Please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry. Silver and I shall accompany you. Guys, can you not just tell us what the, what the frick is going on? All right. But are you sure you can stand behind me? Poke them. Are they real? Typically, it wouldn't be allowed, but today is an exception. Why? <laughs> hey, what kind of place do they think this is? Come on, do they have any idea what they're doing? Seriously. What? <sighs> Enough with the whispering! <sighs> There's Could someone, four people! Please, tell me, where Monsieur Nervillette so is? Many? And why I'm standing trial? My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. Okay. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor. Uh-huh. The head of the Spina di Rasula. 
Someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. Oh, okay. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Sounds pretty positive so far. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates. Nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought for the well-being of those in Poisson. Okay. <laughs> Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Wait for it. <laughs> yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. Huh? You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. <laughs> why is he being a weirdo? We are one big family. All of us who are from Poisson inextricably linked. I hear water. And with you being so important, we couldn't possibly do without you. Okay. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. What? Are they aware that they're in a different universe in Waterworld? Huh? What are you saying? So you could just leave Waterworld? Uh, everything you have said is correct. I have indeed done a lot for my hometown, and I would be willing to be with you all, but what is the purpose of having me stand here like this? What is there to discuss? <laughs> oh, well, if that's what you think, then I have no further cause. <laughs> What's going on? How wonderful, Miss Navia! <laughs> uh, everyone seems happy. I know all these people. Why are they the echoey laughs. Yeah. Silver. I seem to remember now. Yes. Yes, I get it. This trial is... An act. Fake. Wait just a moment. This isn't right! It... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Malus? Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. <laughs> What's Let's going court on? Let's judge her now. She's guilty. Stay here, Navia. You're one of us. One of us. One of what is going on? No. Mademoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. In Waterworld. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. Mistress Ronville, you only know of Navia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. Navia, Navia. She was born a free and independent spirit. She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. Silver. Her Silver. actions cannot serve as proof <laughs> that she identifies herself as part of any group. Yes. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Merlus. Merlus. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. I'm cheering for them. Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. Mm -hmm. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro. But aren't the people in Not Waterworld that too? Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Mm -hmm. Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kindness. So you're telling me there's just a, there's just the exact same. There's just another society in in dissolved waterland. Everything is measured here what? in the nation of Hydro. And in the end, everyone shall meld together. Thus, e. when a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents justice. Yeah, sure. Now I speak for everyone. I guess it's kind of democracy. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. We and Navia are one. Oh, I don't like this speech. And you would call this justice? Preposterous. You oh. are merely jealous that Demoiselle still has a chance to exist as an individual. Oh, this is cool. The way he's wording this. Have you forgotten how much you all once longed to become individuals? To become independent? So we are just water right now. But we're like the free minds inside the water. But we're still one inside the water. And Navi still has a chance to go back. I don't know why she would and the rest wouldn't. Do you e! Stop! Not the tiny eyes. I hate the tiny eyes. Flawed, then why should we acknowledge it? Oh. 
As you said, we can also have our own justice. Yes. Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle. Let's go. And that is how we will enforce justice. Bam. Ugh, my head. It hurts. Silver and Malus are saving us. Demoiselle. It's fine. Swim back up. Silver, it hurts. My head is spinning. All I can see is stars swirling in front of me. It's Paimon. It's Paimon's cloak. We're carrying you out of the water, Navia. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Uh-huh. Karina, Desiree. I know. Joyville, Jolien, Essen, and Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Yes. Even They're Louis dissolved. And Silver. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Stop! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> don't be afraid. And don't admit guilt. We will protect you to the very end. Absolute kings Absurd. out here. Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? Crispy ass. We are the majority. And in the nation of trials, the majority is absolute justice. We are the will of all. Bye. Don't let them escape. We shall keep Navia here with us. You can't. Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver. Must you be so stubborn? Hey, he flashed to real life for a second. How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the collective? Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Whoa. Navia Look. belongs to us. He became uh he became Hydro Hydro Eidolon or whatever. What's it called? After all that happened, there. she should not be left alone in Poisson. Whoa! Shocker. What are you saying? What are you saying? No more excuses. Everyone's water boys. She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? Hey guys. What's with these people? I, I, they're sad. They're mad. Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us, Miss Navia. She. Navia, run! Give me a cutscene where Silence. she runs again. Nur? Nur? You can go into the water world? Are you real? Yeah, you're real, Nur. You could just go in water world. Uh, that's... That's right. That's what it is. Nur. Uh, Monsieur Nervillette. He's real. <laughs> no? <laughs> Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense Nur. and cannot constitute a proper trial. My king. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. No. How are thanks, Monsieur Nervillette? Monsieur Nervillette. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. Yo! What? But... King! Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to you leave fade this it out. Place. What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Say so you love them and leave. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. What a king. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that this <laughs> shall be our last goodbye. I'm super happy we got to see them again at least once, though. At least Lewis. once. Silver. Say you love them. Say something. Quickly, you must come now. Come on! <laughs> goodbye. Demoiselle. We'll miss you. Fuck, they're caught for real now. Farewell. <laughs> No, not the farewell, Silver. Not the fade out farewell, Silver. Nur is Nur carrying her out? Just a second. No. Navia, you're you're alive. Fuck yeah. Uh, Navia? Sorry about that. I ran the wrong way on the bridge. You're awake. He did save her. Good. Nur. Holy shit, what a guy. What a guy. I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were no, still no. alive, and they were... They were defending me at some insane trial. Mm, that's Waterworld for you. It looks like you're all right. <laughs> Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. Dude, that's cute. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. Yeah, okay. Wait, really? Okay, Nur? You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Transformed into a dragon. Hmm? What is it? Oh, uh, sorry, I can't tell you. I think I saw two Oceanids protecting Oh! You. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second. Yo! But they gave me the chance to retrieve you. <laughs> Malus and Silver! Were it not for their intervention, 
My kings. I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. I miss them. I miss them. Wait, did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? Vache, that's what I was on about earlier. So the people that are dissolved became Oceanids? Perhaps those we knew two this. Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I always told them that they didn't have to protect me. <laughs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. Yep. <laughs> Please come with me. All right. I'm back to sobbing a little bit. Malus and Silver, man. What Never legends? Back. Are you okay? Tell me. Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps there's something we could chat about? Sure. Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? Let's hear it. Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? No, that's the other way around. You're the one that felt like that. He was just sitting in silence in his office the other day. I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Yeah. Huh? Why didn't you just say so then? Don't you think it's even more awkward to call us over like this and then have nothing to talk about? No. Hmm. I suppose so. Uh, by the way, Sijuin sends her regards. Ah, oh, Sijuin. <laughs> I hope all is well with her these days. <laughs> he was her so excited. The fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No, but she has vacation. She, she can come and she can come and say hi if she wants to. No way. Don't worry. She's doing fine down there. She's an amazing head nurse. True. The knee hearse is also pretty good, though. I see. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sijuin would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity, just as I have. Uh huh. Oh, and the Duke also says hi. Even though Siege we made him do that. <laughs> he hopes that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. He's like, all that's happened? Thank you. I have indeed been busy uh. lately. And I also hope that everything is going well in the Fortress of Meropede. I don't know. Uh, he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh, let's chat about something else then. <laughs> Why is this such a problem? It's really not that awkward. You're the expert here, Paimon. What should we talk about? So, never let... Probably quite the swimmer, huh? I actually can't swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's try something else. Okay. Um, how did you find these ruins? Did the knave tell you? This used to be my lair. Yes, in fact. Huh. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I arrived, Poisson. I discovered that the Fatui were helping the residents evacuate. They had even transported a large quantity of supplies to the area. Yep. Amid my astonishment, I ran into the nave. And we had a chat. Yep. She informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here. She actually seems good. Or she's going to lock us all up in here. <laughs> and then she's done with a big part of the resistance. Yeah. We originally planned to meet up with you, but we thought you might still be busy with all those official documents. Sure. We didn't think exploring the ruins would take very long, and who would have thought you'd wrap things up so quickly? And save Navia's ass. I hope Navia can get back on her feet. Well, she's back on her feet right now. She's not sitting. Love is destructive. <sighs> I'm sorry to, to have kept you all oh, waiting like that. That explains. I'm feeling much better now. It's okay, Nav. I guess we should get going again. Yeah. Will you come with us, Monsieur Nervillette? I hope so. Yes, if you wouldn't mind my company. Of course not. Oh, right! Another one joins the party! Let's get going then! Dude, it's weird because, you know, it started now. I'm gonna look around for chess, by the way, but I think it's a good moment to have a little a little recap, a little, a little think about everything that's happened so far. So, what I find super interesting is that, of course, we're kinda addressing the issue, like the big issue. But this whole thing that's happened so far hasn't really... Um, it could just be build up for something, I don't know. But it's not like... Whoa. It's not like it's been concrete. I don't know how... Oh my god. I'm not... Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Wait. Sorry. I may be ruining lore. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh my god. Did I just ruin the game? Run! I need to be down there, though. I need to be here. I'm sorry I ruined it. <laughs> no! I ruined the game! 
Okay. It's fine. These don't seem to be able to break. I can just slow walk over them. But I need to mash F and open that door ASAP because I've soft locked myself. F, 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 F. I can't. I've soft locked, soft locked myself like an absolute idiot. Maybe if I plunge, I'll get down there quicker. That's what I get for wanting to explore in an instanced area. <laughs> I need to exit and come back in here, I think. Oh, nice. The stairs are completely fucked now. <laughs> oh, okay. They're back. Nice. Lovely. <laughs> I've made an intense thing lame. Um, Hopefully, I didn't ruin some lore, guys. What is even falling in here? I... I... Stop. I've truly done something crazy here. You can't come out. That's right. Stay in there. I hope we didn't really... Whoa. Ow. Oof. You almost did. I hope I didn't miss out on any lore downstairs. I'm sorry. Ow. <laughs> Fuck. At least I documented everything. <laughs> the guy got locked out. Everything's just... Everything's going sour. <laughs> I've really made a big mess, guys. Okay, nerd diff. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm back, let's move on. I've had some lunch, because uh, it's probably gonna be a big boy, so I should be ready for more stairs to fall down. Let's go, I hope I didn't miss anything earlier. It's it's all right. Oh, and now they're throwing shit at me too. All right, this is a bit more intense. If we would've had someone scream. Why are you so casual about the fact I'm being like casual murdered right now? We made it. Have an egg. <laughs> Have an egg. Another exquisite chest, incredibly pretty. Uh, what's funny is that this scenery right here, I believe, is the same as in domains. When you farm for artifacts. Alright. More big boys? What do you say? Maybe small boys. No, definitely big boys. <laughs> definitely big boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully Nurk and Solo. Oh, the big bot's waking up. I'm a bit worried out, because this team obviously isn't very good. Bimbo bobo. Ow, maybe I should take it slow. Focus one at a time. Get it over with. I have another question actually about this. I'm probably gonna cut this whole fight, but do you guys like seeing these? I mean, I'm not really... Nothing really exciting per se happens during it, and if it does, I'll keep that in. But do you guys want to see fights and such? Do you care about them? Because this, like, didn't really have any implications, right? Alright, start. What's gonna happen? This does give very... Oh... It's an elevator. It gives very Enkidamiya vibes to me for some reason. The depths, perhaps. It's actually canon. <laughs> it's actually canon that Nur is with us as well. Alright. Uh, it looks like I didn't miss out on all too much. Whoa. Why is no one saying anything about the giant dice looking thing on the top there? Maybe they would have at the bottom. <laughs> and I ruined it. It's alright. It's alright. I'm sure it wasn't that important. Right? Guys? Right, more enemies? This looks like a more enemies place. Door of Resurrection, again. Hey! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Investigate the space head. This is beautiful as well. Alright. Look at this little gang. Looks like we've reached the end. Uh-huh. The end of what now? <laughs> the end of our lives? This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. Okay, sure. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. Right. There seems to be something on the wall. I'm gonna go look at it. If you guys want to follow. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. It seems like they were put here as an offering. An offering? Uh, could we take them down and have a look? What? Take them down? Offering? How are you seeing any of that? What am I seeing here? There's a chunk of land. And there's a circle of people either trapping or protecting. That's Nura right there, isn't it? I'd say. And then Farina's in the middle. And Farina's sitting here on the throne crying. Uh, perhaps we should just leave them be for now. Oh? Hmm. There are four locations in total, but only three stone slates. Uh -huh. The slate that should be in the first empty spot is missing. Yeah. And the surrounding walls also show signs of damage. Yep. There's something written below. Let Paimon see. Whoa. Uh, reason Whoa. dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. Uh, say what? <laughs> it feels what? like someone left these <laughs> slates and these words here for a purpose. Yes. But 
Does he mean that Fontaine should be destroyed? That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. Indeed, the slate's contents correspond to it. Mm. Take the second slate, for example. Mm, it's time travel. That's where we're a traveler. We're time travelers. I don't like this arc. There's a person <laughs> kneeling here. Oh, I see. So dedicated. The Archon? And there's a I'd whole assume. bunch of other people behind her doing the same. They believe in her. She's facing this... Uh... What is this? Some yeah. kind of island in the sky? When I saw it initially, I, I thought of Celestia. But then I was like, it doesn't look that big. There's a small hut on there. <laughs> and is that Lady Farina in the third image? And that's Nerd. Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? And is oh. that a ring of people around her? Paimon doesn't quite get it. Are they all in the water? One of us? Maybe they're the people that will that were dissolved and they were like, you're one of us now, Farina, you're staying with us. The fourth image. I know this one. This yep. exactly matches the content of the prophecy. Yeah, we've seen that before. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, yep. weeping on her throne. I remember that too. They do seem to match. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I need to know. That's you, right? Whoa. Oh, the memories, maybe. Maybe? Tell us. More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Uh -huh. Most likely due to us missing the first slate. Is I'm it not a message of someone in the dress? It's okay. There's no need to apologize. I really thought that was him, though. But maybe not. I guess he doesn't really have that. Kind of dress. Don't blame yourself, Monsieur Nervalet. Yeah, Nerv. Deciphering ancient stone slates isn't one of your duties. It's okay. Ooh, Paimon's getting the chills just looking at these slates. You know that I, I was so I took a little break after I thought I broke the game. Coincidental. <laughs> and I had some lunch, and during lunch I actually I was like stressed out about the story. This says that it's the history of the future, right? I'm worried. That means the prophecy's sure to come true. I'm stressed out. History of the future, yeah. I really hope it doesn't mean that. We're gonna change fate. It's it's the knave. It's father's, it's father's take. We're gonna change fate. Still, Paimon feels like these images are kind of weird when you look at them together. The loom of fate. Let's look at them again then. Uh -huh. Hmm. Now do you say that, Paimon? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I get what you mean, Paimon. The issue is the order of the third and fourth images, right? That's right! If the images are in chronological order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third, where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? Maybe she sacrifices herself to save the people. This isn't in the water yet. She sacrifices herself and everyone's like, no, don't do it, and they're trying to save her. And then she gets absorbed, and then she's in Waterworld by herself, and then everyone else lives on because of her sacrifice and that's why she's sad she's lonely in water world and yet the order is reversed here <laughs> the second image is also quite concerning what sin are the people in the images confessing to if we go by timing lady farina only emerges in the third image mm -hmm. that means that the person in the I thought so image too. might be the previous hydro archon yeah she definitely looked a bit like she looked older i'd say egeria then egeria i had never met her but her appearance here does match the record. She looks like the one on the Statue of the Seven, right? I think that's Egeria. The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. So it might actually be Celestia. Did she herself commit that sin? And if not, why would she be in such a posture? <laughs> also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Mm -hmm. Judging from their contents, <laughs> Could this place be the origin of the prophecy? Maybe. <laughs> Does that mean that someone, or some people, once saw these slates? I'd assume so. But who would have created these slates and left these words here? Our sibling. <laughs> I don't know, the abyss? I don't know. Hmm. What is it, Nur? You know. Do you know? It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. <laughs> Okay. In that case, there's no time to lose. Really? There's nothing else to be gained here, so let's head back first. Really? Yeah, we better get somewhere safe for now. I feel like for the first time in this nation's 
story arc, we are going to have like a, a serious conversation one on one or like more direct, more about Farina. I know nothing about her, I feel. Honestly, who created the slaves doesn't matter now. The real question is whether things will truly play out as the prophecy foretells or not. I guess so. I guess so. Leave the ruin. Can we have a look at them some more? Dude, this is probably the sin that she's done then, the first slate, right? That would make sense. And then Farina had to pay for her sins, maybe? That's my guess. I mean, maybe it doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe maybe she's just crying because she lost everyone and uh, it's still flooded. We'll see. I'm, I, 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 I'm so excited to see what's going on. Let's split up here. I'm going Aww. to check on what's happening with the Spina. Okay. You know how it is. Mm, I know There's how it is. There's some you just need to be there for yourself. Sure. You still have energy for that, Navia? Paimon's already beat! I mean, we were really scared for your whole life. <laughs> just head back to the Flivsandra and have a rest then. Flivsandra. Thanks for keeping me company all this time. Hey, thank you for joining us. I'll depart as well. Thanks for your hard work today. Huh? Rest well, everyone. But we're... I'm, I'm not gonna knock on Farina's door by myself. I'm scared. Traveler, I will go talk to Farina tomorrow morning to ask about the stone slates. Okay, so we're not even gonna be there. I'm sure that you're Sad. concerned about this matter as well. Of course. If you have time, drop by my office. I'll <sighs> share the results of our discussion with you. All right. See you tomorrow. Are you really gonna talk to her about this directly? Will that be a problem? Uh huh. Uh, Paimon's getting a little scared now that it's come to this. I know. She has long been it's harboring stressful. secrets and will not give them up easily. Mm -hmm. Which makes it all the more my duty to ensure that she understands the present situation. Damn. All right, we'll leave it in your hands then. You're probably the best person to talk to her anyway. I'd say so too. I will be carefully considering my words tonight. Mm -hmm. Traveler, Paimon, our safe house at the Flip oh. Sandra is always open to you as ever. So please don't think you're an imposition. Okay. All right. I'll be on my way then. Ta-ta. <laughs> I'm a fan. Navi and Noviette depart, and you and Paimon head to the Spini Drazula base at Fleuve Sandré. Ah, we're finally back! <laughs> wow, the Echo is still here. Welcome back. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. Aw, uh, huh, sus. The boss! You did great as well, Paimon. <laughs> Ooh, okay, everybody yes. looks nice. nice. Hey! Oh, wasn't this the rare cake that Farida could only get like 15 slices a day of or something? Oh, Paimon's already starting to forget what happened today. Uh, mo Mona? What? What? Hello? What? <laughs> In the main store? What? Oh, that voice. Is no way! Is? No way! Huh? Mona? <laughs> I want to see the reaction. It's you two. No way! What are you doing in Fontaine? What are you doing in Fontaine? That's so cool! Dude, I miss Mona so much. Mona? No way! <laughs> Lady Magistus! Dude, did the stars not tell you that we were going to meet right here? Seriously, nobody just uses a scry glass whenever they've got time to just see who they'll meet on the road. Well... Still, we didn't expect to see you here. Uh, wait, you're not a Fontanian, are you, Mona? Hope not. Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. Wow. I was just out for a stroll when I bumped into you. Quite unexpectedly, if I might add. Why are you strolling down here? Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a mom's dad or surname? I don't know, you're Hydro. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other uh, Come on, tell Either us. Way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple <laughs> that the first step to being a great astrologist's pupil was to change that name. No, it was it? Cute Moni or something. There was nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now according to her wishes. Really? To my surprise, however, Magistus is not the name of some ancient house or clan. What is it? Uh, it isn't? What is it? Nope. I don't hear any Although sus music yet. Although it is yet. used by us in place of surnames, it generally just means great. Great. Magistus build, dude. Wow! Imagine! 
in, including a boast in your name. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna have to put that into your genealogy as well? Yes. I reckon so. <laughs> in any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if I were to take one. And may I ask what your master's name is? Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. No, lovely. Barbaloth. Whoa, that's a long one. Does it also mean great or something? It means the evil. My name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old <laughs> hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Right. Just take it as a title specific to astrologists. No flexing here. Thrice as great? That's so petty. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just how she is. She used to call herself Magistus, actually, but when she took me in, really? she changed her name to Tris Magistus. So much ego. Talk about excessive. Uh-huh. Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so I to see. speak, which makes it about the same as a surname. Mm -hmm. It's all right if you don't get it. You can look into it further should you need to study astrology more deeply. How about Triple Strength Traveler or Triple Appetite Paimon? This is terrible! <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. Uh oh, she's from Conria. Well, I was born in Mondstadt, yes. Uh -oh. My parents migrated to Dorman Port, and I traveled with the old hag for a while. Dorman Port. After which I settled down in Mondstadt City. I wonder if we're ever gonna see this as a name. Maybe it is a thing already. I just don't know. So please don't, please don't die. Oh, that's a good thing then. At least we know you won't be dissolved by Fontaine's waters. But she said she was born in Mondstadt, but what if both her parents were Fontanian? Fontanian. Mm, speaking of that, I'm sure you're aware that a bunch of things have happened here in Fontaine, right? Mm hmm I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. Uh, don't worry, we, we're familiar. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. This is so interesting. I can't believe Mona's here. Did you come to Fontaine because of the prophecy, Mona? That was the main reason, yes. Just a while oh. back, the Steambird invited me to take part in a panel and wow. speak about the circulation of the prophecy as an astrologist. Interesting. The invitation was sent quite early on. I don't think anyone expected Fontaine to be in this much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that prophecy, Mona? Just tell us what you think as an astrologist. Your word would go a long way to make things more certain and less... Scary. Or more certain and more scary. What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. And that this prophecy concerns the fate of Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Even that of all Tevat. Yeah. Ascertaining this is akin to reading the fortune of the whole world. Yeah. I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone can do. You need to be a triple magician for it. If I could it. do it, you would no longer call me an astrologist, but a visionary. Do it! But on the flip side... The prophecy is so huge and powerful, mm -hmm. but it must surely come from a powerful visionary. Right. Its contents involve the fate of the world. Disregarding it would be a mistake. We've seen stone slates. A visionary? Sounds really powerful and all, but does such a person really exist? I don't know. Of course. The old hag could do it. And I bet there are others amongst those Hex and Zerkel oh, colleagues of hers who could do something again. similar. I need to ascertain the accuracy of the prophecy. Could you help me get in touch with your master? Please! Huh? Uh, are you oh sure? Oh my god, yes, please! Hmm. Oh! Alright, I'll help you. It isn't often that I see you with such a serious look on your face. Uh, I'll tell you once I hear back from her. I thought, you know, we'd, we'd like talk to her, but like we usually have with characters we're not allowed to see yet through like a communication device and you can't see them. Which I thought was gonna happen here, but we might not even hear we might not even hear her voice. Thanks, Mona. You're amazing as always. True, true. Oh well, this is something only I can do after <laughs> all. <laughs> so yes, your praises are quite welcome. <laughs> I missed her, man. I wanted her so bad, and then I finally pulled her, but then so many things happened. I've never been able to build her correctly. She's still in that build from a video from years ago. That's the greatest of astrologists for you. Mm -hmm. It's true. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, oh. I came to see what all the commotion was about. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to inform the Spina di Rosula. Give her a play, too. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Guess we were getting a little too carried away there. It's all right. Well, 
I'll go tend to my own business now. Okay. If I receive any news, I'll be sure to come find you two again. So, once again, there's more delaying of things. We need to wait for Nerna. We need to wait for Mona. I can't believe she's here. Where she runs? She Quick as rushing water. And here she we didn't even with become a puddle. Guy giving us suspicious looks. Well, we were making a ruckus. Try to keep it down next time, Paimon. <laughs> if Paimon hadn't spoken for you, it'd be you getting all the weird thoughts. <laughs> huh. The thing Paimon does for you. Alright, alright. Thanks, Paimon. Hmm, that's more like it. No, 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 no. Mono's smug is rubbing off on you. I don't like it. After conversation, you decide to get a good night's sleep to replenish your energy. Stop yawning, I'm gonna yawn too. I don't want it. Go back to bed. No, stop. Yeehaw! Whoa, that was a quick end to my stretch. Where's the... Where's the cookman? Cookman? Where are we? Where? Tertro, here it is. Do you have anything else to say? Problem? I can solve it for you. You can solve anything? Theoretically, I don't believe there's any problem that can be solved by false. We had a speed of ruler act. I'm certain we'll be able to resolve your issue with minimal harm. Lovely dude. Shout out to you. Ugh. This man is nameless. This lady is nameless. Finally on the right path. Finally on the right path. Yeah, it took us five acts. Can you believe it? All right, to Nur's office. Guys, why does the plot keep getting thicker and thicker? I thought it's supposed to be thinner and thinner, but they just keep adding more layers. Like onions. Hey, queen. How's it going? You're here. Finally. Uh-oh. What's up? Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Gervalet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. <laughs> really? Please go see for yourself. Okay. Oh my. Oh, they're just standing. It's fine. She's kind of like pissed. I said, I've already explained everything. We don't believe you, Lady Fur. And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. This is nice. Nice little heated conversation. It is not my intention to offend you, but please tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fossilor, are you not? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. Yes. <laughs> yup. People have died. This is blood on your head. No, I'm just kidding. Y you mean they're all... Yeah, they're very much gone. We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster, and I will not have it happen again. She... I love this conversation. <laughs> Let's hear it. Come on. I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Please. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? When he's angry, he says it better. Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. Ah. Uh... But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? Yes. That's correct. Oh, Which is cool why shot. I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three featured different images that seemed to correlate to the prophecy. Uh-huh. <laughs> the prophecy? Uh-huh. The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Oh my god. Do you know nothing of this either? <laughs> I don't. I've never seen such slates. Alright, let's take you there. I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? How does a new Archon get chosen, actually? How does that happen? My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. Yeah. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. I, I guess so. Or the people she was apologizing to, but we don't really know the people in the sky, I don't think. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? It is a little bit strange, you gotta admit. I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. Whoa, what? There are several indications that you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. Okay. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. What? You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be. 
nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior <laughs> is very inconsistent. <laughs> this, the way he just worded it is how I've always wanted to describe her. You've never been as superficial as you have presented, presented yourself to be. This 100%. Like, it, she couldn't have been. Yet your behavior is very inconsistent. That's very true. <laughs> what a, so what a freak. You've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. Uh, okay. <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait, don't go crazy now. Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. Oh my god. I... Is it... Did she sign a contract in Liyue? Is she not allowed to talk about it? What's going on? There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Oh, this is unbearable. Tell us more. Just trust in me. You're Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. You know that I, I want to believe her as well. But at the same time, I'm just like, why would you not grab a helping hand if it's there? That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. That's wild. Oh, <laughs> the opera's about to start. <laughs> Toodles! Toodles. <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> What the hell? We didn't learn a single thing. We didn't learn anything at all. Oh. Why is slow mo? What happened? What? Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? I don't know. Wonder what's up with her. Maybe she's gonna go cry. She was smiling. Oh. Huh. She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. Yeah, she seems deeply troubled. And definitely deliberately hiding something i i i, I want to know been outside for a while now i want to know what's up with her so bad i want to like her and maybe she's gonna save the whole thing but just this kind of behavior ain't it for me oh you noticed seems farina didn't even realize we were here yeah she was in a great panic though i cannot discern the reason our discussion reached impasses time and again. Yep. A state of affairs that we cannot allow to continue. I think maybe what frustrates me about this is that I've had, obviously not this kind of <laughs> world-changing conversation, but had conversations with people like this that just refuse to elaborate. You know something's up, but they just refuse to tell you what. And it's it's so frustrating, even if what you're doing is trying to help. And I think that's why, why I find it annoying. <laughs> Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding. So why did she keep refusing to engage? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm afraid asking questions alone might not suffice. We need to make her understand how dire the situation actually is. He showed a paper with deceased people. Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. Mm -hmm. The issue is her attitude. I know. I fear that she <laughs> will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. I know. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no really? choice but to speak. Really? Oh? Like what? Sacrificing someone. Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Uh-huh. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. S -s I, I doubt that's gonna work. But Farina's seen so many trials, and I know. she's really good at dodging questions. This. Questions. That. I'll make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets. That's another thing, it's like, when Nur asked her something, she was like, why do you always do this? Or something like that, without answering the question. I think that's so, it's so exhausting when you have a conversation with someone and that happens. We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. If at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. I know. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. Yeah. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. Could have just gone to Nahihi. <laughs> In that case, we'll need help. Hmm. But who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? Wait. <laughs> oh, I think I know who to call. Ghostbusters is Hu Tao. It's Hu Tao. A few days later on a boat somewhere in Quiet Poisson. <laughs> well, that's everyone, huh? Give me a second. I don't, I've... Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding here. <laughs> what? Poisson was just involved in the a disaster. Nets. Okay. So it's presently devoid of people. 
that naturally makes it the best choice. Okay. And here you are drinking tea like it's the most natural thing <laughs> in the world, huh? Yeah. That's what family should do. Sit and enjoy a leisurely time together. I'll just father? <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know? Care for a cup? I'll take a cup. Hit me, hit me with it. Um, lend me your ears, everyone. <laughs> hmm. Or perhaps one of you oh. might like to start us off. How about you, friend? <laughs> uh, me? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. We are going full circle. I love it. Hmm. Then, how about you, good sir? Nerd. I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. <laughs> Well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. <laughs> Wonderful, the spotlight at last. I guess I'll be facilitating things from here. Okay, I like this. That hey! long-winded, don't you think? Yeah, it was, but I like it still. Oh, <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, <laughs> to cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss something. Yeah. As for what that is, well... Uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create crazy. a series of traps. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, this I, I've never seen the movie, but it's um, Home Alone. Is that what it's called? The Christmas movie with the kid? Oh, how intriguing. It's kind of. It sounds kind of fun like this. <laughs> well, it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned from Clorand. Wow. And used on the spot. Nice. So, let's invite her to explain the detail. <laughs> A round of applause, please. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? <laughs> oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a good chance to practice. You might even pick up some fancy oratory tricks to impress <laughs> your boss with in the future. <laughs> I see. And what does my boss say? Go for it. <laughs> he is glad that you consider him your boss. Do go on. <laughs> I like it. The, the good vibes here. It makes me happy. All right, let's hear it. In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Yes. Not that I recall. I actually hunted a bunch. I still have two bear traps or whatever in my pocket. Fremine and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. As for Lynette, um... Oh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Why sad music? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Does that count? Kinda. Uh, I'm afraid not. Kinda. You may or may they try and heard, flee. But Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marachaussee Hunters. I, I farm their set on the daily. Though that was their name, they did not hunt animals but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Okay. Today, Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly. Mm -hmm. So the hunters have blended back into society. I see. Taking up arms in other lines of work. Right. They even left a unique methodology of hunting in their wake. Okay. A trap comprises of the following components. Bait, a trigger, mm -hmm. and a containment device. Of course. Sometimes a lethal implement will also be necessary to deal with the prey. Sure. So, if Wait. we were to build a trap together, <laughs> right now, what would you choose to build it with? No lethal consequences, please. <laughs> For me, I would prefer something basket-shaped. Pigeons and rabbits will see the bait and naturally enter the snare. Oh, well, we're trying to catch a human. So, it has to be a theater, I'd say. Our line of work requires a deft hand, and we're some of the best in the industry, so... You can count on our techniques. You guys can fill the theater with, like, tricks and stuff. You used some of those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? Oh. My subordinates mentioned that you even performed some magic for the bawling children. Oh. Yes, and I even managed to gather some intelligence in the meantime. <laughs> I'm quite the multitasker if I do say so myself. Quit flexing. I'm afraid I can't claim that as my strong suit. I prefer more stable methods. Like placing bait in the water mm -hmm. and waiting for the fish to come within reach. Yeah. That's the kind of method I would count on. You think we're going to blend all? How about you, Lynette? <laughs> Calm and steady. Exactly the kind of person who would catch loads of fish. True. And I can be their assistant. Yeah. Classic. With discretion, I'm sure. <laughs> hmm. 
I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Oh. Papa once bought me some small clockwork squirrels, That's a good idea. mice, and such. When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. She wants to play with the cats. Do a cat cat bait. I remember that you liked those too, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> I did. And that would be a good way to go about it. Mm -hmm. If they're realistic enough, animals of the same kind will follow them all the way to the trap. Oh my god. I got it. Farina is a cat. Fur. It actually makes sense. Holy. What we found it you, out. Monsieur Nivellet? What about you, Nur? I fear I do not have any related experience. Hmm. Well, you jail people. Hmm. That makes sense. Forcefully. You usually solve problems directly. Exactly. Use of any such <laughs> exactly. But I do have one more question for you, monsieur. Oh, very good, monsieur. If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? Mm hmm. Hmm. Would like for it to be effective, but See? bring no harm to the prey. No lethal. A more gentle trap would be ideal. Then it's uh, the the classic net net rope trigger uh, pull up on leg. You know what I mean? Hmm. <laughs> kind as always. However, our intention doesn't necessarily change the containment device and the type of implement we need. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However. That also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained. Mm hmm Wait, why is that? Because they're going to try and escape. Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it without harming it. Sure. The line that divides life and death is often exceedingly thin. Oh. Well, I thought it was just like, if you capture it without harm, she's going to be like, hey, get me out of here. And just She's an archon, she probably teleports. <laughs> but sure, this makes sense too. So, are we going hunting together? Weirdly enough, essentially yes. Huh. We hadn't thought of seeing ourselves as hunters. It kinda works, but maybe it's still not the best metaphor. Uh-huh. If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor is actually quite accurate. That's what I'm saying. But we shall require much more courage than any hunter to judge a god. Mm-hmm. Being whose seat is an exalted throne. That's right. Listen to what the man's saying. Oh, so that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Sounds very interesting. <laughs> Chlorine's hunt metaphor was just that, a metaphor. You will not call this a hunt because that is not what you should do at present. Nor has the relationship between you and Farina reached such a dire stage. What you need is simply the secret she is keeping. Attempting to take her secrets is an act of sacrilegious disrespect, but must be done to prevent Fontaine from sinking to the waters as foretold in the prophecy. There is neither hunter nor prey, but there must be a trap. That is what you will need. Really? Really? The stage of fate. Hunters, prophets. Go to the Spina base. I, there is... It's just adding layers still. It's just adding layers. Uh, I do. Mona, my queen? Mona, my queen? Get me in there. Mona. Huh? <sighs> it's been a tough no few here. days, hasn't it? So much has been happening. Those meetings sure did make me hungry. <sighs> I didn't me on a the diet. Meetings would go on for so long, <laughs> but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Yep. Paimon thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Nope. Well, Fremenay was, now that Paimon thinks about it, but yeah. everyone else just looked a little surprised. I don't know if frightened is the term. Do you feel more confident after the meetings, Paimon? Uh, well, it's hard to say. Paimon <laughs> doesn't have any experience with this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But with you around, Paimon sure will do great. I get infinite retries, so that's great. Maybe not. I hope so. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? Huh. Is something wrong, Paimon? Uh, did you just pour some tea? Paimon didn't notice you doing that at all! N no, I didn't. Th then what's that? <laughs> I don't know, Have Lynette. Have you never seen that cup before? What does it look like? Does it look like father's? It kind of looks like father's aesthetic, black and red. Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. I Wait. merely refrained from saying anything till now. <laughs> uh, but there's no one here! Yet! Ah, have you forgotten me already? I have. When did you speak to us again? The only time I remember a voice was Nahida in the archipelago. Hey, you are familiar. You're the 
the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. I don't remember this. Can we have a flashback, please? <laughs> the voice from the sky, hmm? Mm-hmm. I fear that description is wrong. Though, not completely wrong. The fact that it's echoey in here makes it sound like she's definitely some kind of godly power, though. <sighs> You're feeling lost now. Just as you were feeling previously. Right. I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Okay. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. I love that we see the cup here. I, I think that this is just, this is probably just Mona's teacher then, right? Did we know back then? Who are you and what do you want with us? We wanted something with her. Mm, consider me a passerby. Yeah? Just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. There you go. She's from the Hexen Circle. Friend's disciple? So, this is one of the friends of Mona's master? The enigmatic N of the Hexen Circle? Allow me to ask you, will Fulton's prophecy come true? The prophecy? Yes. What has been Whoa. prophesized will be fulfilled. <laughs> you may view such things as the history of the future. Uh-huh. Of the future. What? Then is there any way we can stop it? Well, it sounds like, no, it's gonna happen. But maybe it means small scale? I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. See? I thought so. Can everything in Tavat so easily be changed? I don't know, Mage N. I don't know. There it is again. Fate. Can there really be no exceptions? Ah, so you've caught on. No, I haven't caught on, lady. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods. Mm-hmm. Could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? The abyss. Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? This has to be about the abyss. I don't know. Hmm. Thinking. What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but it also sounds kind of scary. We're deceiving. Well, not we are, but... Our sibling's definitely deceiving the gods, siding with the abyss, doing everything in the dark. He's changing fate. I still stand by the fact he's gone through this world once before, and he's like, he has to change how it's going. Maybe we're the key, and maybe that's why he refuses to talk to us all the time. I don't know. I wonder what the Hexen Circle's doing, though, because they would have been in this world when our brother came here, too. I don't know. There's too many, <laughs> there's too many potential things. <laughs> the tea in the teacup is just about gone as well. I believe that you understand, right? No. Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're speaking riddles, and I'm tired. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. Okay. All you need to do is to play your part. Fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. So we say fate is what the gods intended? Only guide Tavat, oh, you need to play your part. Here's the play your part act thing again. Hmm, this was good tea, by the way. I'm glad Thank you liked you for it. Your hospitality. No worries. Well, that'll be all for today. Hope to see you soon, like actually see you someday. The voice, it's gone. Yeah, Mage N. Is this the clue you're leaving for us? Well, I guess so. The unexpected news leads to complicated feelings. You're not in bed for a long time. When you wake up, someone seems to be outside. Oh, I would have brought hey. that cup. That cup's legendary. I, want to hear someone talking. I hear you talk in echoey. Oh, all right, all right, coming. <laughs> you're getting more diligent, Paimon. Hey, it's you who's getting lazy, okay? <laughs> well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Classic. Mona! How have you been these past few days? Fine, just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. Oh. It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. You got some news for us? Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. Okay. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come would be wrong, mm -hmm. and that they should make their own rescue preparations. Okay. I agreed. Charlotte. So we had a brief chat with her. <laughs> Charlotte. Uh, did she have to stand by any <laughs> Perhaps? Why, yes. It was Charlotte. No way. You remember her, right? Of course. A daredevil journalist. Yep. I'm in full support of her view. <laughs> Prophecies are very important. Mona the politician. How can people allow their lives to be commandeered by just a few words? Oh, I like that mindset. That's right. 
Paimon's glad to hear something sensible for once. Ah, oh, Mona, you know, uh, I understand why I've always loved you. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. Mm-hmm. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. Yep. I'll try again tonight, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. About that, someone already came. Huh? Yeah. You tell Mona about your mysterious guest. Please enlighten me, I'm so Goodness stupid. gracious. Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to us. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? Well, if we're talking about the Archons, that is definitely not true. But also, this uh, maybe I took it way too far with my thoughts, and this just means that Farina can be blind to some things. The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. Uh-huh. As for the mage named N, mm -hmm. the old hag has mentioned her a few times. Yeah. She said that N's sense of direction is incredible, mm -hmm. and that she loves guiding those who are lost. But, I mean, she did say that herself, too. But I've never met her. And if she were still alive, she'd be... <laughs> well, wow. suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and <laughs> N's been around for longer than that. <laughs> Whoa. It's kinda cool. Circle sounds like a scary group. Hell no. But they must really stay in shape to live so long. The Hexen Circle sounds like the coolest thing. Genuinely. I mean, I've always said that I was fond of wizards. That's why I originally loved Mona, because of the hat. I love the hat. <laughs> the Hexen Circle, I need to know more about it. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Right. Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. I really tried. I, I actually did, but... Yes, she was quite cryptic, but... I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. I got that far. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... <laughs> Just keep believing. <laughs> Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. Ah. True. Her words were meant as a helpful hint, but... When will we realize their value and meaning? Was that the best answer that my question could have gotten? Traveler, Paimon, are you two all right? We're lost in thought, Mona. Oh, we're fine. We're just a little down right now. <laughs> what? It kind of feels like the end is coming, you know? I did have this feeling, and I hate it. I don't want the, I don't want the end of like. Imagine in a few years when the story's gonna end. I'm gonna be so sad. I see. I feel that same sense of desperation too. What about though? I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. Yeah. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. Yeah. But even so, I still hope for mm -hmm. and believe in yeah. miracles. Yeah. Astrology is eternal and rational, <laughs> but fate may not be. Yep. It is cruel, mm -hmm. but it can also be beautiful. I know. <laughs> I love Mona. Perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Uh-huh. Oh, not there's to the lose heat. heart, Told you. and to believe that what you are seeing playing out before you is not yet set in stone. Right. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Even if this is all futile, I still wish to help everyone. If we don't struggle to the last, then how can we face the end when it comes? I agree. Huh. You do have a point. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking still. <laughs> There I go, talking about astrological principles again. I like it. <laughs> Sorry about that. The Don't apologize. I start talking about work-related stuff. I, oh, I need to get going. Ah, uh, she runs off. Don't worry about it, Bona. And thank you. It was worth trying to comfort you, even if only a little. That's cute. I believe that you'll help those who are struggling in the same way I did. You're a queen. I suppose that might be why we always seem to meet by coincidence. <laughs> I love her. Okay, you know, I really want to build a Mona better. A lot better. She's gonna run off his- Oh no, Quiet Walk, wow, a surprise. Paimon feels kinda moved by what Mona said. But also kinda sad too. No, I'm motivated. Hey, Traveler, I'm motivated. Paimon suddenly feels like going outside for a walk. Let's go. Okay. Wow, Let's walk going for the city, a walk. Shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. Going for a walk, Paimon, the world is ending. What the actual fudge? Can I just say, with all due respect, what the fudge? Diri. Quartier Narbonnet. Bonjour, Cécile. Ah, oh, it's your favorite bookstore. By Hubel. Uh, huh? Uh-oh. Our names are written in this newspaper. Uh-oh. Uh, what's going on? It's the trap. It's the trap. Maybe we're famous. Let Paimon see. It's, they gotta be working on a trap. The underwater stronghold.
stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has continued in its noble autonomy. Uh -huh. But that does not mean that others cannot interact with it. Oh, Charlotte's Peace, maybe. My recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. <laughs> huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Yeah. Thus, did an Outlander friend become the focus of this report? Oh, no. A blind adventurer with their white fairy legend <laughs> trailing in their wake. It is said yeah. that this mysterious traveler once visited the underwater fortress. It may be true. So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors, mm -hmm. do not fear, for the tales of the traveler contain oh. surprises in spades. Yep. Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet, the Traveler's Trail, wow. World Walker. That's pretty badass. Huh. Charlotte took so many awesome photos of us and we never even noticed. Yeah, she's a bit of a she's a bit of a creep in that sense. She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us as the subject matter instead. Sure seems to be the case. Ugh, seriously? Well, fine. <laughs> headlines and photos do look cool, so Paimon will forgive her this time. Only this time. That's it. That's her little walk. Oh no, we we get to walk more. This is I don't know how to feel, guys. I I feel like we're not even close. We're probably not even at the middle yet of this quest, which is. What's the craziest to me? Oh, is this the restaurant that father was on about? Right here! Oh, hungry. Should we go in and get something to eat? Yeah, let's do it. I'm all for it. Father's gonna be in here. Na 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 na. Dee dee dee. Look for objectives in the area. I'm looking. I'm peeping, all right. There's that lady still. Hello. Hey, quick. Whoa. Look. Yeah, father, probably, right? That's the limited oh. edition of the <laughs> Wow, it hasn't already sold out for the day? Dude, we had this downstairs, too. It was so delicious the last time we tried it. Despite the tense situation we were in, let's give it another go. I'm sure it'll be great. We can't let anyone get ahead of us. Quick. One no. Of cake, please. Quick. <sighs> Someone showed up after all. Quick, buy one. Hurry. Oh, wait. You're the one from the Palais Marmonia. Hello. Yeah, it's for Farina, but... Oh, are you here to buy cake too? I got it. <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. I got you it. You really can eat. We're gonna trap her. My shoulder pops, sorry. We're gonna trap her by saying there's no more cake. She eats cake like every day. There was a thing that she was so sad she didn't even eat the cake one time. We used the cake being all gone as a bait, but how, how do you get her in jail for that? <laughs> the trap is no more cake. That's all I'll say. Wait, did he really say something like that? Of course he did. That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. Oh, you just came for yourself? Oh, that's my theory drowned. I shouldn't say drowned. That's not good here. Do you come here often? <laughs> no, what a good chat. No, the weather's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Okay. Every day? Every day. It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. <laughs> I shall have my cake and coffee. <laughs> I like her. She's funny. Uh... Why are you thinking? Then what oh, if someone told what the you one day thing? that this place would be closing soon That's and so you cool. wouldn't get to eat cake here anymore? What would you think? Paimon, you're you're cracking the case straight up. This is how we're gonna get Farina. Look at this coconut head man doing some mixing. That's so cool, some stirring. But why would it close? Well, Paimon doesn't know either, but maybe maybe <sighs> the waters will rise tomorrow. She you know, like in the prophecy. Yeah. Oh, the prophecy. Um, to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. To no. be honest, I don't Still, really care. Even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some today. <laughs> I like her. No, no. It's the same no, no. for eating in general. Uh -huh. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry on. Mm -hmm. That's what people call survival living, instincts. You know? Yeah, no, you're right. You're right, Sadine. I, I didn't say anything. I think you're doing great things. Huh. Oh, she's right. Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of Aww, cake to go? You're so cute. These two slices are for you. You're so Ishui cute. said that this kind of expression you're making is what humans call being sad. <laughs> oh, you know Sea Tree? This is so cute. I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface to teach us things about humans. That's incredible. She said that humans are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, mm -hmm. and you can only yes. lift their spirits by feeding them delicious food. <laughs> only? Please try the cakes here. Is that the only way? Wait, so you have to be depressed when you're doing a diet. 
Wow. I've got something else to do, so I'll be going now. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, all right? <laughs> Bye. You know, your your good mood's rubbing off on me, though. I'm, I wouldn't be sad. Your cuteness is absolutely helping. Don't forget your cake and your coffee. As she hops away. And there she goes. <laughs> yep. All right, let's dig in. I'm unsure this cake will be delicious. I think she's actually so cute. I love her so much. You share a glance with Paimon and snarf down the cake. It's more delicious than last time. Snarf down. And the flavor gets even better with a sip of tea. Mm. It sure would be nice if we could come again tomorrow. We could. Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. Yeah. All right. Very dark. Very dark words to say. Leave the hotel. Hotel de Beau. So it's not the same one. Um, I want to... Look at these dudes. I've never seen them before. They're so cool. I actually really like how they look. They're really cool. Weather's fine. You actually made a weather reference. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe it. Sanguinetti. Good day, customer. How can I help you? Oh, there's new things. Boudin noir au pomme. Really? Boudin noir is like pig sausage. It's I don't like it a lot. Tripe du porc. Tripe is another, usually the kind of meat that you wouldn't eat. In France, they really like to cook it though. Tomates narbonnaise. All right. Tomatoes from Narbonne. Consommé. Cassoulet. Oh, cassoulet is a classic. A grand classic. Did they sell anything of it here? They don't. Those are new recipes, though. I'm pretty sure they got brought in later. Anyway, no one cares, I'm sure. We're here for the story. Listen, if we were trying to get our mind off things, I think this was the right thing to do. Oh, we're near the Steambird office. Yep. Let's go look for Charlotte and have a chat. All right, all right. I feel like this is very, very casual. Oh, and she happens to be right here. I feel like this is very casual for what's going on in the world right now. Oh. Hello. Have you seen the article I wrote about you? Sure did. Ha! You got some nerve. You just used up to make some quick more. <laughs> Can we negotiate a profit split? Are we that bothered? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I mm -hmm. sent you a letter to discuss just that. Right. It appears you didn't receive it, though. Where am I supposed to get your letter from? It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. Really? I've even set the table with some food. We just had cake. Really? Paimon, we just ate. <laughs> You're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. I know. If I were a journalist with ulterior motives, you'd be in trouble now, you know. You'd be in deep, deep trouble. Big, big trouble. Oh, Paimon knows you're not like that. Mm? Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? Were you looking for me? Yes, actually. When Mona mentioned you, we thought of coming to see you at work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. It seems you've already bumped into Mona here in Fontaine. Mm-hmm. So she mentioned me? What did she say? That you had pink hair? She said that you're <laughs> a real daredevil of a journalist. A daredevil of a journalist. She did say it like that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> In which case, can this daredevil journalist nice. dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary traveler and Paimon? Uh, maybe later. Huh? So your article in the paper today doesn't count? More and more. Think of it like that, Paimon. Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like live photography. Oh. What I'd like to do is dive deeper and ask you to talk about the things you've seen and experienced. You seriously want to interview me? Yeah. Are we even qualified enough? No, we're not. Why not? If I say you're worth an interview, then you're worth it. Thanks. But not right now, of course. Oh. I'll need a few days to prepare. Well, by then, Fontaine will be flooded, so see ya. Oh. In that case, we'll just chat when you have the time then? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yes. I can feel it. Oh, splendid! I'll tell the editor in chief immediately. <laughs> I'll have to apply for lighting, a venue, some props, and. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna be the post quest chat. Oh, so much to get done now. Talk to you later. See you, Charlotte. Take care. Wait, Charlotte. Paimon's still got a question for you. Oh, is she hearing it? Mm -hmm. oh. And what's that? She is. If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow. The same. What would you do today? The exact same as what she's gonna do. Huh. That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I do hear about it often, but I never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. Paimon is saying it's gonna be tomorrow a lot. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Oh, but I'm still really? a journalist first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reporting from the scene. And secondly, <laughs> I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. Oh, I would. <laughs> Tell, tell between the legs, I am sprinting out of here. From what I've seen, most people Except don't if know I can make what a change. they do should the worst come to pass. 
In truth, it might be better just to behave like normal rather than worry over such an end. That's what I was thinking that she would say initially, just like not care. But I'm dead serious. If I can make a change, I will try. But if I have no influence about what's happening, I am leaving. Home is where the heart is. I have it with me. I'll be fine, no matter where I am. So in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. I knew it. I know what you're thinking. That sounds a bit sad. No, it doesn't. In the contrary. That it's best to do what you enjoy. Exactly. That's, it's the, it's, it means that you've been doing what you wanted to do all this time. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, mm -hmm. but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview <laughs> with a truly unique person, uh -huh. then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. I'm glad you see it that way. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. That's pretty cool. I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic. Mm. But I do love my job. Mm. And I'd be proud of leaving such an article behind. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say that I was born to be a journalist. I think you're both a dreamer and a workaholic, but you also do love your job. But anyway, that's my answer. And on that note, I'll get back to my preparations. You look sharp. Take care. That's so nice. All of a sudden, Paimon actually kind of envies her. Nah, we'd also do the same, Paimon. What would you do? Ask yourself the question. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? The sea? I feel like that's the, the thing that would give you the most worries right now. Let's go look at the threat right now, shall we? It's like going to the look at an erupting volcano. Can be a pretty soothing combo, huh? Usually it would be, but with our current situation, I could assume it's actually kind of stressful. Mm. This does look like my backyard. <laughs> Not from thinking. up high, of course. What is it, Paimon? If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tevat that would be destroyed tomorrow, mm -hmm. where would we go and what would we do? Jay Chamber. Set up a family and live with Ningguang. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably fly away. Go back to my mainland, which I definitely know where it is. Just go to the stars somewhere, who cares? No, Paimon should ask if you could choose. What would you like to do? I don't... I, I just sort of don't know. The same. If I could choose, huh? Hmm. It's just like Charlotte said. Suddenly, trying to consider what to do is pointless. We've always been moving to the next destination, so we haven't spent much time thinking about these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. We didn't have to either, with us always being on the road and whatnot. Yeah. Well, until that moment comes, I think I'll keep journeying on. You mean... still traveling? Yeah. Cherishing every single moment that I have to look upon this world. Huh. Wait, isn't that what we've always been doing? Exactly, so we're doing the right thing. The banter goes back and forth between the two of you. As time slips by, as night falls, you return to your accommodations and end this busy day. The next few days are just as calm. Charlotte comes to find you and conducts the interview with the Spini Rezula safe house at the Fleuve Sandré. Really? Navia, having finished her business in Poisson, even drops by to take a photo with the two of you. All goes well. That's it. That's the end of the quest. <laughs> it just never happened. It just never happened. Feels like you'll grow mold if you stay here long enough. Yeah, it's kind of nasty, huh? But it's still better than the Fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. Yeah. It's not only damp there, but salty too. Ah, <laughs> oh, so the two of you are still here. Hello. Wonderful. Oh, Isadora, you're the um, you're the messenger. You've come look for us here before. You're from uh from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, you're from the Palais Mermonia, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I'm Isadora. Uh-huh. Monsieur Nervilev sent me to look for you two before. Uh-huh. I heard that afterward you went to the Fortress of Meropede. Uh, so are you under the impression that we might be wanted criminals? <laughs> Not at all. I'm okay. well aware Good. that you're friends of his. Nice. Actually, I'm here to pass along a message from him. All right, let's hear it. Yes, inside the Opera House. The Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small-scale riot. Okay. A riot? This might be good for us. Well, that the bait. said, I don't personally think it was that serious. It's set up. Lady Farina was watching a performance at the Opera House. Mm -hmm. And while she was resting during an intermission, some other audience members suddenly started harassing her. Ooh. Loudly accusing her of doing nothing about the prophecy crisis. I don't even know if that's the bait. That might just be normal people. And before or like she citizens. could respond, others started to join in. Oh. The crowd continued to grow, and protests against the Hydro Archon started to break out. Damn, okay. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. 
guess they finally found an outlet for the pressure they've been under due to the prophecy. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense that she's the one that's being put under pressure. <laughs> it's not like normal people can do much about it. At least that's what it seems like this way. And since she's not sharing anything about it, it's not like we can even help if we wanted to. I agree. People will naturally rely on gods, as is customary. But the moment people feel threatened, gods are also the first to be blamed. But that makes sense, no? So what happened after that? Is Farina okay? No, she also just jumped in water. <laughs> She's gone. Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control and that further argument was pointless, she claimed that she'd gotten tired of this hmm. and left in a hurry. Sounds like her, all right. The Marisha safe phantom had their hands full maintaining order and did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. Okay. Only when things had stabilized did we realize that she had gone missing. It is my task to go find her? So... You mean she's still missing? You think she's the final boss? <laughs> That's right. The Mari Chose has dispatched many people to search for her, but we don't have any leads yet. I'm going to say she's in those ruins. That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. Yeah. She is a god after all. Sure. Even if she were to fall into the hands of rioters, what could ordinary people do to her? 200 years of experience. I mean, I understand the situation. Good. Monsieur Nervilla sent me to tell you about the situation, but he didn't say anything else. Farfetched joke if you get that one. Don't worry, this is more than enough to go on. Yeah. Thanks for keeping us informed. Yeah, thank you, you're actually a queen. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Well, alright then. In that case, you two take care. I'll be heading back to the palais now. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Why are we so smug? We know? We know? Uh, sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson then. You sure caught on quickly. So I was the bait. If we know Farina, she won't try to fix things in this situation. Mm -hmm. Instead, she'll look for a place to wait out the heat. So that's our that's our trap then. And as we also know, she may be loud and dramatic, but she doesn't have a heart of stone. Yeah. When Nervale was talking to her in the Palais Mermonia, and she heard about Poisson, mm -hmm. she couldn't hide her sadness and remorse. I know. It would be hard for her to ignore being accused by the public today. Sure. Paimon thinks Farina's probably taken the opportunity to slip away to Poisson and try <laughs> to relieve the sense of guilt that she's feeling. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, what do you think? Paimon knows the answer, of course, but Paimon can do the analysis to back it up, too. <laughs> cool, huh? I see becoming a detective's done you some good. Looks like those detective novels have had an effect on you. In that case, there's not a moment to lose. Poisson, here we come! Here we go! Poisson? Hunter's Profits Complete. Find Farina in Poisson. What's this quest name then? Apocalypse. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, I'm max resin. I'll condense real quick. I spent it to condense it instantly. Then I forgot to condense it this morning. And here we are with capped resin and angry you guys. It's okay, don't be mad. Look, bam, there you go. It's condensed now. Saved. Alright, we move. This place looks deserted. No. I guess all the survivors must have evacuated already. All that's left here are signs of devastation. Yeah. Could Farina really be here? Yes. Let's try to find her as soon as possible. Alright. I was waiting for your dialogue. I didn't want to walk too far forward because then it skips it and then I'm mad. There she is. Easy find. Why are you standing in the... F Ow. Falling water. Hey, Lady Fur. What's up? She's gonna get jump scared. <gasps> that's Farina right over there. She really is here all on her own. Shh, stay quiet for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I just No. Up? Don't do it. This is all meaningless. Is this is this is the third frame where she jumps in water? What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. Right. She I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Talk to us. We can help. Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. I... <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. I... But what can I even do? Other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over. Yeah, let us help. Let us help. Is there a curse? Are you not allowed to talk about it? Farina. <laughs> Who, who's that? Boo. Farina, it's just us. Hello. 
<laughs> oh my god. So it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Listen. Why, I almost thought you were summoned from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. You don't have to keep up the act with us, Farina. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? <laughs> the tear stains on your face are obvious. You don't have to keep it up. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Oh, I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. It's okay, dude. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. <sighs> they even dare to doubt their archon. Don't you I think it's fair, teach though? Them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. Why the act? I want to know why the act so bad. Oh, she seems and I'm fine. I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marish to say Phantom are freaking out right next to them too. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough, Farina. You're actually beyond devastated right now, aren't you? I, uh, of course not. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there! No, guys, we were cr finally ge getting somewhere and now you're ruining it again! Quick, after her! No! Okay, we protect her, I guess. This is where we gain her trust, maybe. Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you! Please don't kill them. Uh, they are? <laughs> They're just some rabid bandits nope. who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? They sure are not. Mm, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Okay. She's gonna beat them up. <laughs> hey, Farina just ran off. Oh, she ran, okay. Quick, we have to catch up with her. Ed. Ed, she ran. <clears throat> Hilarious. Wow, she's running so fast. <laughs> Another scene. <laughs> Where's the Benny Hill music? <laughs> Sorry, I don't this doesn't feel very deep to me. It's very funny. Where'd she go? She's so fast. She must have gone this way. Psych. Idiots. Run! To the house. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Paima before the rest of them catch up to you. Uh-huh. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Are you gonna... Oh, you're a town's... You're a town's people. You're a town lady. A folk... A local... You're like a little... You were... Wait, was that in this game? Oh, no, that's in Star Rail. In Star Rail, someone, like, comes from the slums and has been picked to, like, reign over. Maybe she is from Poisson. Hurry, they're almost here! Maybe this is her old house. Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. Well, we're right in front of the door. Walk up. Queen, literally. I hate it, because she seems like such a no nice girl, but then the act is what pisses me off. That's why I want to know why she seems forced to. Spongebob looking ass house. <sighs> I was exhausted. All that flying. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I totally thought they had caught me. Yeah, you weren't counting on the super traveler and assistant's help. Uh, no, I mean, I nearly gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. And right. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to act like this for the gods up there. Maybe that's what the cup of tea was talking about. The cup of tea was talking. There was no one there. It was just a cup of tea. That might make more sense. She has to act this. We have to get her somewhere where the gods can't see her. Thoughts? Then she can talk. She can't. T she's looking like up. I think she's scared of the people on the island. She has to suffer the consequence of the previous Hydro Archon. Thoughts? I'm coming up with like a million theories and none of them make sense. This place is not what I'd call soundproof. That kind of... This thing kind of sounds like it ties into what I said, too. Also, how is this thing in the board? It looks like it's not sharp enough at all. Okay, sorry. You might want to lower your voice to stay hidden. Uh, you're right. It's okay. Yep, that's a good girl. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No, 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 no. Uh, what's happening? The ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Another disaster just struck, I suspect. Yeah. A quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? Poisson. Yeah, well, that's why we should get the heck out of here, because we currently are in Poisson. I don't know if it's waterproof. It can't be. It's happening again. They're testing the waters again. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nouvellet's made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I hope you're right. Hey, real you. I love this you. But the people of Poisson, they've already... Not all of them. Has Serena finally reached her limit? Now that she's talking about her actual feelings, she's starting to look far less stiff. You begin to talk amongst yourselves as Farina slowly calms down. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. Hundreds? <laughs> I once had informants all over to VAT, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. Okay, what happened? I've tried all kinds of ways too to hold back the sea. Anything to keep the coastline from advancing. I need to know why she suddenly just gave in. Because if she's like this, she's completely fine. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. What is it? That it's just gonna happen? We cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way. Yeah. And the prophecy shall be fulfilled. But even then, you still haven't given up, right? <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. Mm -hmm. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. But that would also mean that all hope would disappear. Indeed. I've thought about giving up so many times, mm -hmm. especially after we almost lost Poisson. Yeah. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it has sometimes. no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true. Mm -hmm. And so many people have already lost their lives. Yeah. I mean, fate's all, fate, I, it's so interesting to look at fate like this. But if fate is a thing, it's like, it's something you can only look back at after it's happened. How do you, how do I word this? It's such an odd concept because it's just something that happened. Fate is just the past because you're like, your fate will be this. So in that sense, it is the future, but you can only say it has been fate after it's happened because if it doesn't happen, then it wasn't fate. You know what I mean? I'm talking out of my ass, perhaps. But Wouldn't be the now, first time. Pretty it skillful, all though. It became clear to me. <laughs> I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. Yep, it's a big burden. I get that. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. That's the mindset. Don't worry. I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. But say this to them, instead of the act. <sighs> Farina. Well, that's enough for now. She's I back. I the impulse She's to back. play the stricken maiden. No. But honestly, <sighs> considering my no. rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> I don't like this. Don't take any of what I just said seriously. How could I possibly let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy? I, I hope this is some kind of curse. I hope this I hope this is the curse. You just you're not allowed to be normal. This isn't a choice of yours. Come on! Prima could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. She was. But now she has to keep up the act again. We're running out of time. We can't just go back to square one like this. I have to get more information out of her. Farina, Farina, you might not have to shoulder this burden alone. Although, I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone. Your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Share my burden. Real horse back for winning. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. We can change fate. Even if your burden doesn't need to be shared. You can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you'd call a witness. A witness? Huh. Yes. I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, you never belonged here. Essentially. The gods already hate me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a variant. I'm pretty sure they don't want me here. I'm already an enemy of the state. She's like in the middle now. She's between between her real self and this like act. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, there then it is. you're just a spectator. There's this metaphor you? again. I'm so scared. If that's the case... Cutscene? Give me a cutscene. There's no time left. Please, Farina, just spit it out. Oh yeah, gimme. <sighs> gimme. Uh-oh. I... She can't. I don't think she can.
See, every time she wants to speak, this happens. Maybe that thing... What? Oh. <laughs> oh, it is part of the plan. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell? It was this thing all along. Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. this concludes my nice opening teleport. performance. This is so cool, actually. Dude, <laughs> what the hell? Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. I still don't have that viewpoint. Ah, so, this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. You think they could hear it outside of this box or no? Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice. <laughs> the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? This is, I, uh... May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? <laughs> In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend oh. your honor through a duel. <laughs> Please take it. You you would draw your blade against a god? Yeah, of course. Dude, she's so badass though. Holy okay. shit. I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. Alright. Alright. I am still waiting for that. I mean, the Archon is the one, but I'm still waiting for that one character from Fulton. I just am not fond of it all. It hasn't happened yet. I love all of them. She's fighting. She's taking the fight? No. No, she's surrendering. Paimon can't believe it. She... She just surrendered! Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a... A human? <laughs> wow. How utterly humiliating. No, she... Dude, she can turn this so positively. She doesn't want to injure one of her own people. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Puzzled audience member. Uh, I... <laughs> it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands oh, is not okay. always an indication of surrender. Is it not now? Looking for excuses again, huh? <laughs> I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. <laughs> no duel shall be necessary. Right. I will admit that I've been oh. running away for a long time. Real her? I'm sorry everyone i was unable to protect the people of poisson it is my duty to stand trial for my crimes okay you are not the only ones to be disappointed in me i too am exceedingly disappointed in myself right <sighs> but now it is time for the hydro archon to show you her courage and resolve all right i farina We'll use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice. I I can't wait. This time, I will protect you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That's cool. Applaud and rejoice. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera epic play. The fifth, is the now final. Unfolding before your eyes. All right. Mark my words. Ooh. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. Wow. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. Oh, now we're making history. Wait, is you? Yeah, I'm same. <laughs> same. How? Feel like Farina just took over the whole thing. I don't like, know. Come on! Didn't she just get forced to stand trial for her crimes? I guess so. Also, even though she's still acting super dramatic, she is taking this seriously this time, right? I got to hear a piece of her mind, and she said she will protect them. So I believe so. All right then. I think she's always Who taking will it seriously. Be my opponent in this trial. Me. The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Hey! <laughs> uh, thank you, Your Honor. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Very well. 
Then please speak, witness. On stage? That, my accuser and fated opponent. Fated, you say? We were so close to getting her to tell us the truth, and it still turned out like this in the end. It's okay, though. As long as we can defeat Frida in court, we still have a chance to figure everything out. Oh, never mind. We are still going to our own stands. Damn, we're the accuser this time. That's new. New experience for us. Bang. Also, please allow me to ask as a final question before the trial begins. I was sincere in that box. Just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Lots of it. <laughs> well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. Yep. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. <laughs> the president of the Spina di Rasula. Listen, it's in your interest that we get you here as well, as weird as it sounds. We've put a lot of work into getting you to be able to sell, say the truth, but I still think I... The cup of tea can't have just been talking random baloney, right? Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning this were my so subordinates. Cool. Yeah, I knew that much. They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members waiting for the perfect opportunity to incite insurrection against you. This this seemed like The people's resentment against their Archon has been building as more and more of the prophecy is fulfilled. This a spark so was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Yeah. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Poisson by yourself. Mm -hmm. So... We arranged for a second group to lie in wait there. <laughs> Those were the chasing ones. So, you mean... The ones who scoured the settlement for me were also from the Spina. You're right. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant <laughs> magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontaine. It's history. actually... Look at that. It's actually for your own sake so you could participate in it. Congrats. That's right. That house was a magic I just saw box, someone rather than someone's residence. I just saw someone in the crowd. I think it's one of the hex and circle people. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used super when I ultimate. first performed at the Opera Epicles. Damn. The volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude. Whoa. And the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Uh huh. Its cargo, of course. Yeah. Was an archon instead of a human. I was in there too, though. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an extraordinary performance. Scratching my head. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> of course, this performance was only made possible with Look, father's support. That's so cool. The House so of cool. the Heart spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. Look at this. We had to select a location, construct a giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. It was a lot of work for all of We're us. We're working together with the Fatus. That's so cool. So, Such in pretty art, too. The earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box was just a normal tremor from the transportation of the whole house. Oh, this does ruin my theory of her every time she was almost speaking up that there'd be a quake. And that, that's gone because it was apparent. Well, the first one was real, right? They weren't already digging, were they? That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. Sorry about that. We deceived you back there. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. Can you, though? You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready <laughs> for a fight. <laughs> this is so cool. Also that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yes, that is correct. Well, nice Florian, I must commend you for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a <laughs> duel with an Archon without flinching. Quit the act, dude. Thank you. Oh, this, why is every, everything seems kind of nice still? As for you, Traveler... I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. I was genuinely interested when I found you in Poisson. You'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the stage. Nope. You guess wrong. Oh? <laughs> my mission was to give you one last chance. 
Oh, that's so hurtful. That's so painful. I feel I feel secondhand pain. We hope that you'd share your secret with us before the magic box arrived onto the stage. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. <laughs> well, maybe one final, final chance? Go ahead. It's fine. It matters not. What's done is done. No, that's not true. The stage Fate can be is changed. already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the very end. Is Palma gonna put on the mustache again? Yeah, the only thing we can do now is to judge the Hydro Archon. Yeah. Still, I can't help but be a little bothered by that conversation earlier. What did Farina want to say to me right before we arrived on the stage? Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. Okay. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you during the trial. Wow. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Thanks, Charlotte. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, <laughs> so she's here too! Hey, Charlotte! <laughs> Why is it so casual? No. Oh, let's wait and see. Uh... Isn't this the exclusive interview that she did with us before? Uh-huh. So she's already finished it, huh? Maybe it's the proof of the truths we've we've got. <gasps> Our evidence. Wait. Then that means this document yeah. is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine. Exactly. So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence mm -hmm. every time nice we use something from our journey as evidence for an argument it's super practical gift i would never have thought of using it this way let's quickly confirm the information in it just think of it as a refresher oh right? here's the act five recap you defeated the hydro archon in the very first duel you took part in at the opera house true that's one for the history <laughs> books all right murder case unfolded in the midst I i'm gonna read all of it you can skip if you want in the midst of Linnea and Lynette's first performance at the Grand Opera House, though they were cleared of their accusations against them, their identities as agents of the House of the Heart were revealed. I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom of the case I'd been following all this time. I guess you could also see this as a happy coincidence. Yeah, coinky dink. The truth behind the serial disappearance of young women's case. It turns out that Fontaine can be uh, Fontanians can be dissolved by water from the primordial sea. Over the years, Vachet kidnapped and dissolved many young girls for his experiments to try and find a way to bring back his wife who had been dissolved. This is the first this. time Monsieur Nervi There's been nothing about this yet. Opinion with the oratories. Yeah. Even the Hydro Archon can't figure it out. This is wild. This has like barely been touched on. The fact this child thing, and it was such a huge cliffhanger at the end of the last thing. It's 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 crazy. Child's conviction. Though Neviet believed Child to be innocent, the Oratrice judged him as guilty in the end, and even Farina didn't know why. A Fatui Harbinger. Yeah. She's an extraordinary person. Uh -huh. Her instinct must mean something. The meeting with the knave. During the diplomatic meeting with the knave, she revealed that she had already prohibit, uh, probed Farina on her own, and believes it is possible that not only is Farina not really the Archon, but that she's actually afflicted with some sort of curse. I think this, this I've been using this a lot, I, I think there's something to it, yeah. The fortress of Meripede was almost destroyed in a single day. Yep. That I didn't witness that scene personally will always be a source of professional <laughs> regret, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the intrusion of the Primordial Sea into the Fortress of Meropede. The end of the Primordial Sea is sealed beneath the Forbidden Zone, the Fortress of Meropede, and recently the Primordial Sea is nearly broken out. It was only temporarily pushed back by Nivyet's power. According to Monsieur this, Nuvelet, this is wild. both Child and that whale should have been in the Primordial Sea at that time. Yeah, you saw Child floating in the sea uh, in a dream, as well as indescribably massive whale. Un un indescribably Ruins. I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia, <laughs> to be honest. That still gives me shivers. Same. It was a crazy scene. Navia falling to the seawater. While exploring the ruin near Poisson, it began to collapse and Navia fell into a water containing primordial seawater. Only the protection of the dead members of the Spina Rosuda prevented her from dissolving. Dude, this is... That sentence, it, it, it's icky. Tea time with N. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch mm -hmm. can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens to you. Sure, tea time with N. N communicated with you by connecting your consciousnesses. Really? She believes the prophecy will certainly happen, but you needn't give up all hope. Wow. We're so not far. The end recap is gonna be like an hour long too. I'm, okay, let's go. I'm ready, I think. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. Yep. The trial shall now begin. Good luck. <laughs> oh, come on, nervy lad. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legal leads. It adds. Just fast 
forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. Mm -hmm. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, yeah. I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. Sure. Of course. It is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. Mm -hmm. However, you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. Sure. That's true. Oh. My charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. I'm back. Yo, we're talking more and more. This is so cool. All right. This is also a really cool sentence to say. Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who has never been the Archon in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what, that? what? Lady Farina's a fraud? What? No. Hey, I came here thinking that we were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking her duty, but uh -oh. did I hear that right? She's not our Archon at all? I hope. I sincerely hope she yeah, is actually the Archon, but like we're gonna have her prove that she is the Archon herself and maybe she could fix it. If she isn't, that's wild. Charge accepted. <laughs> He's in cahoots, though. He's with us. Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? I'll uh, just say yes and it's over. <laughs> Lady Farina. Hello? I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? I don't know. There is no way that I, Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a de member Fontaine. of the Seven and the oh. Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine, could be anything other than your true Archon. <laughs> wow. Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine. Yeah. Even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? We'll see. Yeah, I've never questioned her identity either. Sure, Lady Farina can be super irresponsible. I, but, this, But this. what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? I don't know, let's hear it. I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Mm -hmm. Many of the members of the audience have known empty me chair. as the Hydro Archon ever Someone's since they were there. born. The there would be no fooling their memory. Right. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. <laughs> Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? I'll give it a shot. Sure. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the god of justice uh -huh. that you will not have to face trial for making a false accusation. Okay. We will treat everything that's happened as a dramatic spectacle and move on with our lives. What do you say to that? It says to me that you're scared to do this trial for some <laughs> reason. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? You have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. Yeah. The people only see you as their Archon because that's their long-held belief. Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. Mm -hmm. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, mm -hmm. then what manner of being do you think I am? We also gave you a final chance. I guess we're both on our last ends now. And if I was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? You're an Eidolon. I've got to think carefully. What do we know to be special about Farina exactly? Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. All right, all right, all right. This is definitely a good a good starting point, I would say, because she definitely probed her, and nothing happened at all. The intrusion, irrelevant, irrelevant. The tea time. Believes prophecy will happen. You can give up hope. It's it's gotta be the meeting, right? I think it's this. Let's go. First of all, you may be a member of another <laughs> long-lived race. Which sure. would allow you to naturally possess an extended lifespan. Uh -huh. And second of all, even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. Such as a curse. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? <laughs> You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. It doesn't matter who gave us the information. What matters is the veracity of the claim. You see, this is exactly what I mean. She's like using something that has nothing to do with, with what we said and like trying to ricochet it off and just start a different conversation. No. A curse. 
I once thought it possible that the aura of an Archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. Right. But in light of this claim, perhaps what I sensed was oh. not true divinity, but a curse Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, real? You sensed it too, huh, Nevelet? So, Farina, instead of an Archon, could you just be a cursed human? Lady Farina is actually a human? <laughs> Well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just uh -huh. by looking at them. It's not impossible. She's gonna have to do something dramatic and drastic. Here there she is. She, this, this girl right here, she's one of the witches. Ooh, really? Part two is done. Well, two more. Uh, don't start celebrating too early now. Mm -hmm. Even if I have been carrying a curse, like you said. Yeah. How does that prove that I am merely a human being? Uh, you really haven't done anything that shows you have any kind of power other than order. Besides, everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god no, is the no, 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 of no, authority. No, 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 no. Gods can do what humans cannot. That's why they're worshipped as gods. That's gotta be the biggest L take I've ever heard. For centuries, manifestations of my authority have cool served truths, the you know? nation of Fontaine. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. One need only to turn their eyes towards the oratrice mechanique de Annalise Cardinal in this <laughs> very Annalise. opera house. Or consider the endemidium that is used in every aspect of life. It's just Annalise, guys. Wait, that one trial proved the opposite. Farina actually has no control over the Oratrice at all. This, because she didn't even think he was, uh, she didn't even understand. Easy. You tried to reference the Oratrice, but weren't you as confused as all the rest of us when the Oratrice declared child to be guilty without any proof? Mm hmm. Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. Well, that there would say you're a no human. There is no need to provide an explanation. You were also confused. Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. Yes. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. Mm -hmm. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the <laughs> defendant in this trial. She... You will prove yourself <laughs> unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information oh. against the rules of the court. Ooh. <laughs> I never thought you'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. Oh, you have to. It's the law. That was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. Yeah. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. I know. The rules that all should respect and follow. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Uh-huh. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been made by the real Hydra Archon, <laughs> haven't they? <laughs> Who's this gonna be? The real Hydro Archon. Well, now you're really losing me. I... E it is I true don't that understand. I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. Uh-huh. But the Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally. Uh-huh. And it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. Okay. You can't... You can't argue just that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. She didn't say that she made it, though. I don't... She's it's like, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it felt like she said it's not her creation. And now she's saying the creation of a god is flawed. The god behind it must be no god at all. Well, you're not the one who created it, right? <sighs> she's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Mm -hmm. Seems like she's confident that we won't be able to produce proof that she has no power over the Oratrice. Sure, we can put the Oratrice aside for now. But then, Miss Farina, could you give us a brief demonstration of your power as an Archon? My power as an Archon? Yeah. There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. Mm -hmm. How can I just carelessly demonstrate the formidable power of an Archon? I don't know, like summon a big sword out of your chest? Or uh, build a cathedral of Dendro? Maybe drop a comet? Or some kind of tornado? I don't know. Every other Archon has some pretty cool things. If that poses a concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Hey. Um... <laughs> You don't need to go that far. A brief demonstration of your power over Hydro should be quite harmless. Surely an Archon can at least match the capacities of a human with a vision? I... 
Oh god. Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? That'd be bad. Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! Uh-huh. The Archons derive their power from the faith of the people, and I've converted the people's faith in justice into Indemnidium! Really? Okay. Thus, That's also I bad, though. all of my divine power to provide everyone with energy for their daily lives. <laughs> Have you ever seen a more magnanimous god? But then who protects them? <laughs> Isn't that a huge stretch? <laughs> I'd say so, too. Yeah, no matter how generous an archon can be, how could they give up all their power? I don't can know, a god dude. with no power even still be called a god? Well, in her definition, yeah, it's just influence. <laughs> It seems like nobody's buying Farina's excuse. Yeah, I kind of, I'm starting to feel bad. There's got to be a reason, Paimon. She can't just, she's not just doing this for fun. Hey, come now, everyone. Please don't stare at me as oh, if she's I blushing. was a liar. I'm sorry. I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? <laughs> the one that you loved. <laughs> Shouldn't you want to believe in me? They do want to believe in you. You're just not giving them a lot to, to go with. To believe me. Uh, we might be ruining something here, guys. If what the prosecutor said is true. She really has committed a grave offense. Mm -hmm. Did she deceive all of us? Thinking and all of our parents and grandparents too, and then all of our ancestors, ever since they were born. But she can't. She's not just doing this as a meme. There has to be a reason. Enough. That's enough. Okay. Tell me then. If I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? Bro, is there even another Hydro around here? I can't think. Maybe it's a Melusine. If you <laughs> have no evidence of another Hydro Archon's existence, mm -hmm. nor can you find anyone who can back up their claim to be such, then what grounds have you to say that I'm not actually the real deal? Well... <sighs> I guess it's one of those innocent until proven guilty or guilty until proven innocent moments. Because we haven't, like, she hasn't shown that she is at all, right? But I guess we, I, mean, I don't have an idea. Do we have an idea? Wow, she came up with yet another argument. Uh, how can we refute her now? Seems like she really doesn't want to give up. Yeah. If we can't prove that she's in the Archon, we can try to prove that she just is a human. And if she's only human... Okay, if she's only human. I don't know, I was, I was straight up was going to say she has emotions. Things can be dissolved by water from Mojo Sea over the years. Young girls. Well, are we going to try and dissolve her? So, I mean, this is about dissolving. This is about dissolving. And this is about Nur doing the Archon's tasks. Why wouldn't she do it? Is that maybe what they're trying to get me to say? I wonder if we're going through this. No, okay. <laughs> Who can be used as compelling evidence to build our case? My bad. It's because you don't have the mustache on. It's only these four, isn't it? Yeah. It has been ah, okay. We are gonna try and dissolve her ass. What the hell? From the primordial sea. And that means. Uh oh. Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method <laughs> wait, you can use wait, right here and guys, now to eliminate all wait. suspicions of you being the latter. Listen. Listen, it's very interesting because recently I was talking, I think it was on stream, and I said, you know how people used to, it's funny because the Hexen Circle, Hex means witch in Dutch and probably German as well. They used to like throw people in lakes with heavy weights if they thought it was a witch. And if they wouldn't come floating back up, it would mean it was a normal person. As you can imagine, no one ever escaped it. There were no witches. But this feels very much the same. Like, this is a, you die or you prove you're a god situation. This is nuts. Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. <laughs> Though you act in partnership with the prosecutor, you must still adhere to proper procedure. Yeah, calm down, Nav. Uh, super sorry, Mr. <laughs> Chief Justice. I swear this really will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. No, it won't. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. Damn. As everyone knows, a mass of blood struck the area not long ago. Taking many lives, Aww. including those of some <laughs> of my closest friends. No. So, Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? 
<laughs> oh my god! If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no effect on you. Mm -hmm. All it should do is strengthen your case. Right. But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. She's gonna touch it and die. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, <laughs> nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. <laughs> I agree with her. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose the simpler path of admitting guilt. Yeah. Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. <laughs> I guess her suggestion is valid. Agreeing audience member. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Would she really dare to try? I don't know. Here she goes. Oh, a cool transition. <sighs> don't do it, Fur. You're a cat. You don't like water. Uh, Farina? Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, oh, this you is cool. possess the right to decline participation. Damn, and if she still goes with it, though. <laughs> Alright. Well, of course you had to tell her that. But refusing to participate is basically the same as a confession of guilt. Yeah, I mean, sure. Is this a really good thing for her if she can prove that she is? She's just I guess. staring at the water without saying a single word. Yeah. It really does seem like she's quite terrified of it. Wait for it. That could only mean... Just wait. What's going on? Is she really planning to... Uh, that's not what we thought she would... I hope she doesn't do something stupid. <sighs> Maybe it's gonna like show her real form? <laughs> She's just a hydro blob? Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... Sh <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh god! She's in! <laughs> yeah. She didn't dissolve. Hey. She actually is okay? <laughs> Are you all right? I I'm fine. Look. Look at me everyone. <laughs> My head oh, is God. still here. I haven't been dissolved. I'm Okay. Will you believe me now? I really am your archon. <laughs> A normal human who would fall apart as soon as they touch this water. Really? Was this not the most obvious thing in the world? This is odd, because she she didn't seem convinced that she was the Archon herself. Miss Siegwing, if you're present, Miss oh. Siegwing, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Oh, if there's any health things. Siegwing? Oh god. Oh god. Don't be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. Hmm. <laughs> that should be enough. All right, let's hear it, the verdict. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Siegwin. This is huge. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. Mm -hmm. These indicate that. I definitely, I don't know if I said it or not, but the breathe in, breathe out, I definitely thought hyperventilation. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial sea Oh, water. God. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Aye, 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 aye. Thank you, Miss Siegwin. Ay, ay, ay. You may return to the defendants. There's state. no way she's not the Archon. Oh, wait. What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? <laughs> no. Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. Okay, so it's very little. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated yeah. enough to dissolve an actual human. Thank God. After all. On the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur. Such as this. We don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. See, they care about you too. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you uh -huh. secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. <laughs> this is insane. It's a great thing that Wait. the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have... It's not child, right? Child is... No, there's no way child's the Hydro Archon. Fuck off. I can't believe you tricked you again. But what's really going on here? Farina can't have known the consequences of touching water as a human. Can't not have known. 
Uh, this is too unlike she usually acts, unless it's actually more important for her to keep her facade than to save her own life? But how did she give up on everything a long time ago? Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! I think if she gets, like, proved to not be the Archon, something bad's gonna happen. She's... there has to be something why she's doing this. She's just trying, like, they're close, and she just has to get this last bit of time. I don't know. Think about it! How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? And this is where Zhong Li comes in. Zhong Li, come in. Also, <laughs> also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> oh, no, stop. Nope, they don't buy it anymore. They don't buy it, Farina. Everyone, anyone, just listen to me. I swear, I really am your Archon. It feels bad. Damn. Oratrice, do your thing. <sighs> oh. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. Is this the wizard? With all the that things that have about? been said, Simon <laughs> doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. Wait for it. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. Wow. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. Bang. I'm 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 actually I feel my tummy aching. I'm so worried. I feel bad too. Oh. I don't think anything she says Uh-oh. What now? Maybe this is how we unlock her. She has become demon mode. Oh. Oh. Where are you, In lost my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. Wow. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... I'm gonna sob again. Guilty. Damn. <laughs> oh god. So silent. It's not a noise. We shall now turn to the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. You gonna flip? Never yet's been wrong once before. Oh, dude, this looks like a pool, honestly. Five star, five star. Guys, my tummy aches! Let's see it. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique <laughs> Journalise Cardinal. <laughs> Not this again! Is... This pause is killing! Not guilty. Just say not guilty. <laughs> yeah, just hmm? say just say not guilty. Well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? <laughs> it can't be. Did the Oratrice just declare Farina to be innocent? No. The Oratrice also oh. displays a guilty verdict. Oh, God. Isn't that correct, then? He really wasn't hoping that'd be real. However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon. Guilty. <laughs> what? So, what they're saying is, Farina... Farina isn't the Hydro Archon, but the person that actually is, is guilty. To be punished via the death sentence. No way! No way! This is what I heard! There's no way! <laughs> what? Uh, the, the death sentence? It's a bit much, maybe, no? That's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a myth. Nah. But I feel like I still want to believe. <laughs> I still think she is the Archon. Some someone's got to be plotting something with the Oratrice or something. Chow still ties into this somehow. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice. What the hell? What an unexpected twist. What? Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? <laughs> we just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? 
I don't know. This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences. What? Is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Well, if you think about it, someone acting like a god for multiple hundred of years, but it, it just depends of why. There's no way she's just doing this for fun, guys. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I like how she says that because, just in case you don't remember who Vache is, this is what I was more about. What's more strange is instead of Farina, the Oratrice rendered the judgment on the Hydro Archon, which we supposedly proved that she wasn't. So she doesn't die. The real Hydro Archon is supposed to. No. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive. The very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? The actual Archon's guilty of something. That's what it means. Cutscene? Give me a, I need a cutscene, please. Um, excuse me. Oh? If I may interrupt. Wow, Frim, proud of you. Speaking up like this? Is... The trial's still going? Yes. Well, no, actually, the verdict just happened. Fremenay, oh, you finally made it. I assume oh. this means you've completed your mission? Okay. Child, please tie into this now. Mm hmm. Any mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I can't wait to hear. With some help from the other Fatui, Fremenay brings a stone slate. Oh! Is that the first prophecy slate? I guess so. There's a lot of people. The Hydro Archon. It's like, is that Vache? Or something? Because there's all the Hydro boys and girls. Well, girls in this case. I have no idea what it's supposed to depict. I can only think of Vache when I see this. Huh. So the knave privately arranged for Fremenade to try and find the missing slate. How and where? I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. Uh-huh. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous stretches of water. Okay. But has the trial already concluded? I guess, kinda. Then... Doesn't <laughs> that mean I've come too late? <laughs> oh no. Father will be disappointed in me. It's okay, don't worry. The mystery hasn't been resolved yet. It's not too late for you to shine. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. What? Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Okay. Hmm. What does it say? <laughs> Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. Yes. I would like you to come here and confirm their contents. Sure. I'm on my way, watch this. Bada bing, bada boom. Huh? So what do you see? What is it? That, this looks like... Yeah. The previous Hydro Archon releasing her divine power, turning Oceanids into human beings. I believe I have now made sense ah. of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not Vache at all. Well, actually, Vache was doing the reverse. He was transforming them back into... <laughs> into Hydro uh, thingies. Would that mean the real Hydro Archon isn't dead? Like this one? That's crazy. She's just hiding somewhere? What if she's just the Oceanid? That's what they're called, Oceanids. I've been struggling with it all the time. Okay. Just guilty of deceiving her people. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and mm -hmm. we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. Exactly, so the Hydro Archon's somewhere and she's alive. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real Hydro Archon we've been kind of talking about? Yeah. In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point can be traced back to the contents of these stone slates. Okay. However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. An association between the contents of the slates and the events in real life. Okay, let's try to recall the So there is more of this. I thought so. We had way too much evidence. To help you remember. I remember. I remember. There was her in the middle of water, there was her on the seat, and there was on the far left, it was one on her knees, praying for forgiveness, essentially. Select to check the descriptions of the stone slates to extract key information. You can find scenarios related to the stone slates contents and the instance recorded in the interview notebook. There you can verify said content. As the verification process continues, the fountain water level 
the fountain water level in the menu interfere will rise. When you have finished verifying all the stone slates, the truth behind the prophecy shall be revealed. Holy! The real events related to her prophecy. prophecy. Stone slate describes what you just said. Uh huh. It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her divine power, and then the Oceanids turn into humans. Right. I would never have figured that out from that Does picture. That mean that Fontanians are transformed Oceanids? It sounds like it. Oh, Paima wasn't expecting It would explain that. the dissolving. But if Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process can be reversed as well. Yeah, with the water. The second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky. It is Celestia. And the Archon and her people worshipping it together. Mm -hmm. But the heavens still brought judgment down upon them. Yeah. This must be the point when the Hydro Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Yeah. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydro Archon sin are the same thing? I'd assume so. The third slate shows the Hydro Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. Can we say Farina, not the Hydro Archon? Oh. That reminds Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Stop. Stop. You don't mean Navia, right? Well, the first slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. Yeah. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydra Archon crying on her throne, and so on. Uh-huh. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? I mean, but after I guess that not. that incident, it was just a question of when and not if. Yeah. Are we not scared that if this fills up that... It is gonna drown the place? Okay. The real events related to prophecies Hydro Archon singing to the sea surrounded by many people. The former Hydro Archon using divine power to turn Oceanids into people. Verify truth. Turning water into people. Punish your deaths. That's insane still. Can be dissolved. I think it's this. Uh, like the re the return effect. Uh, my guess for this is that you can also turn them back, right? Is that? Judge him as guilty. Entrance to Primordial Sea. Nah, that doesn't matter. Connect your conscience. The prophecy will certainly have you. Needn't give up all hope. I th I, I'm gonna guess this. It just makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in Primordial Sea water. Yeah. And the first stone slate tells us that long ago the Hydro Archon used her power to turn Oceanids into humans. Right. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. Yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Dude, that's the Vache moments. See, that is what, that's what I saw in the, in the, I don't know, maybe I was just crazy. Okay, Celestia floating in the sky, Hydro Archon and her people worshipping it together, but the heavens still brought judgment upon them. I don't know that one yet. Hydro Archon sinking to the sea, surrounded by many people. Well, Paimon hinted at that Navia, the same thing happened to Navia. I just don't see how they correlate, though. It began to collapse, Navia fell into sea water. What? Navia is the Hydro not Archon. As simple as falling into the sea. <laughs> when Navia fell into the sea... Her consciousness was subjected to judgment. The right. stone slate ah. showed the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. Could that be alluding to the same thing? Whoa! Your consciousness gets judged? I... that's... it's so hard to understand. Scene basically identical to the scribe of uh, prophecies circulating throughout Fontaine. Fontaine's will eventually be dissolved into the sea, and the Hydro Archon will sit alone on her throne and weep. Maybe she's just sitting there because she has to die. I don't think this one. Though Neviette? Yeah, okay. A prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society, but not many people believed it at first. Right. The fortress of Meropede was nearly flooded with primordial seawater, yeah. which we know can cause Fontanians to dissolve. It seems increasingly likely that the prophecy may come true. If yeah. we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have gone very badly. Mm hmm Okay. I thought so. I wasn't sure. And then finally, Celestia floating in the sky, Hydro Archon and her people worshipping it together, but the heavens still brought judgment down upon them. I mean, this is the punishment, but it's not on her, right? Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. Oh, not the true this. The sin of the Hydro Archon that Nervilet mentioned. Nervilet. And the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, as recorded on the stone slates. Mm -hmm. That's bad, though. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea, but won't cease to exist. Mm -hmm. Their essence will flow in the seawater, converge, and take the form of an oceanid. Uh huh. The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Right. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Okay. Navia fell into. 
into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of Pascal <laughs> in a court within her. Just country. thinking back, how did it make someone a song? I was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. Yeah. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass, no matter what. Right. The prophecy's contents can all be verified by recent events. Mm -hmm. If we combine what we know together, loads of truths should come to light. Okay. More? <laughs> verification complete. Oh, we were. That was the verification. Okay. I. It's rough out here. Trying to come up with silly theories that make no sense. You can make sense of it. Uh huh. But then it feels like we're going to have to share some truly shocking revelations. Yeah. Let's hear them. <laughs> the first slate reveals that Fon Fontanians are not real humans. Incredible. Linny, did you hear that? <laughs> we're not real humans. <laughs> Oceanids with visions? All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon. With Oceanids as their basis. Uh huh. The evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater. Right. And how all the girls Vache dissolved were also turned into Oceanids. Right. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. <laughs> all of them in the shape of Oceanids. This is hell. Indeed. The second slate reveals that the crime of the Hydro Archon was a creation of Fontanians from Oceanus. Yeah, and it follows Boop. from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. Right. That could also explain why the Oratrice judged the Hydro Archon to be guilty. It's to account for that ancient sin. Right. The Hydro Archon's true sin was creating us? Seems like it. And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. Yeah. The twists of history are often the most unexpected of all. You can say that. As for the third slate, I'm still convinced that it should come after the fourth. Yeah! Isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? Uh-huh. So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? The fourth slate depicts the fulfillment of the prophecy as it's already widely known. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Why would it be the wrong order though? I think what Celestia would want is for her to be sad and then join the other people in the sea, you know? And just go back to being... but uh, I don't know. Did Paimon get all that right? I'd say so. That's all we got after it. We're, everything we found out anyway. You've made some keen deductions. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. What do you mean? <laughs> you know more? However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, okay. they've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information <laughs> using a different power source. Okay. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. Mm -hmm. But since we only had three slates at the time, Let's go. I was unable to come to a full conclusion. You think the Hydro Archon was already trying to fight against Celestia? Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt Please. to decipher the narrative recorded Give within. us a cool cutscene. If everything goes well, we should finally be informed of the unadulterated truth. Let's go. Please, Nur. Lights, light, light up, light up my world like nobody else. W well, <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? Shine some light on us. I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. Okay. I will try to briefly summarize it for Can you. Can we get a cutscene? Your hypotheses uh. regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. Okay. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. Really? Okay. Little boys. Boys, what's up? 
The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings. Oh, wow. Wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. Mm -hmm. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon, as one of the seven, yeah. did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Fair enough. Not one to give in. She eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars wow. by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. Really? She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. <laughs> oh my god. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and yeah. return to the sea. I see. As a result, no pun their forms would collapse, and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. All right, Farina, transform them back. Uh oh. Of course. He's sad. The Hydro Archon <laughs> never received permission from the <laughs> heavenly principles to create a new human race. <laughs> cool use of the idol. I love it. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the primordial sea. Wow. Celestia don't want none of that. They just want to wipe out the people. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. That's pretty cool. But now my question is, what the heck is Farina? So you... I... <laughs> we were all Oceanids before we turned into human beings? Uh-huh. That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. <laughs> Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death? After all, her only sin was creating us. Uh-huh. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian. <laughs> but it does answer a lot of our questions. Sure. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. False. The slates' respective positions are, in fact, I thought correct. so. So, they are in the right order? What is the third slate supposed to represent, then? A key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans rather than Oceanids. As in, they care about the Archon. Also, humans. Is there any human Fontanian? They have not been dissolved. Which implies that the water depicted oh. in this slate is not water from the primordial sea. That's a better point. A nice usage of your brain there. The nation of Fontaine is the this nation of Hydra, me as well as the nation of <laughs> Trials point. and Justice. Instead of being the literal element, the water in the scene symbolizes judgment and justice. Uh -huh. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded by that of many others who intended to hold a trial to determine her fate. Yeah. Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is uh -huh. that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. <laughs> Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It can't be. Yes, it refers to our present situation. It's gonna flood. I think I'm following now. So what you're saying is, even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the prophecy. We have been fulfilling it. In truth, everything we've done has happened exactly as the prophecy foretold. Mm -hmm. So now it seems we're the ones making sure it comes true. We definitely, I, I, the, the reason Farina wanted to fight so hard to keep this identity, which we all believe she doesn't have now, is definitely because we, we set off some domino effect. Well, what should we do? I don't know. It feels like there's no way out of this. Don't worry, the cup of tea said there was. Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. Apparently. Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? Mm hmm If that's the case, does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled soon? Maybe not soon, but it will be. Traveler, I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. Please enlighten me. About the fourth slate, you probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass, yes? Well, yeah, sure. And the thing in Poisson. However, Perhaps. I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far worse to come. Stop. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. I, I have? Wait, 
could it be? Child, finally. The ultimate proof. Just what is the true source of this the catastrophe? Is just a small warning of the things to come. Uh huh. We must find the root cause of the disaster. Okay. Really? That's that's it. Oh, disaster will spread from here. Murder case unfold. Afflicted with some curse. I'm thinking the whale. <laughs> I'm thinking child the entire time. It was both dream and reality. Uh huh. <laughs> Stop. If we're talking about a true culprit, oh. there can only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? I hear it. It's going. Dude, no. The truth, the original sin. The trial and the root cause of the disaster. Everything was the whale. <laughs> That's the hard hydro archon right there. Oh god, it's turning purple now. Ooh, we don't like that. We freed the abyssal power. Cutscene to child. Oh shit! <laughs> we cracked the code. That's what we shouldn't have done to make the prophecy come true. Run! Holy shit! There it is! Damn, it looks kinda- of Nerd teleporting out! Balls! Bruh. Eat shit, whale. Oh god, he's breaking it. Don't worry, Nerd, I'm helping! Is he dead? This thing looks so cool, by the way! Uh oh. He's gonna swallow us to the void! Save him! <laughs> oh, child? He's just been fighting this thing the entire time? <laughs> that is insanely cool. Man, you can't... It's so hard to dislike this guy. I've really tried. They did it. That's it? This is so cool. Tell me this is the weekly boss. Well, we only stopped it temporarily, guys. Gotta admit, looks like a Hilatro mask, you know? Hey, child. Thumbs down. No! <laughs> Back to the abyss! Are we gonna dive in? Jump in. Jump in! Yo! That was way too close! Holy... A, a portal oh, through the was that the huge abyss. You saw in your dream? That's right. And I'd wager it's also the one that child saw when he was young. This is nuts. This is completely nuts. I'm gonna say it again. I I used to be a, a child hater, which is why he's still level one. Because everyone's like, no, but he's not kind of cute. But people liked him because he he did he did stupid shit. But when he does things like this, it's pretty hard to dislike him. Still, he's definitely growing in my esteem. <laughs> so we've met it at last. Yeah. I understand very well why it is chosen to make an appearance here. W you know what it is? That whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. Mm -hmm. It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. I see. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. What does that have to do with, like, I feel like it has nothing to do with why this whole prophecy thing happened. It wasn't even punishment then. Or have have Celestia sent this big whale on our tail? Feels like something st straight out of Star Rail. And once it has finished consuming all of the energy contained within the sea, its next step will be... The land. You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, mm -hmm. she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Yeah. Precisely. That whale finds the blood ah. of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. I see. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, this is it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. Yeah. Uh, we just barely managed to push it back, right? We. Oui. In that case, <laughs> won't it come back to target the people again once it's managed to recover its strength? Not if we go after it. Let's jump in. That is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that harbinger for buying us some time. Oh, I know. <laughs> Without him, the whale would have likely come onto land far sooner. Oh, I know. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the creature for quite a long time. Yep. Yeah, very respectable. That's insane. This is crazy. I actually have to say, child, very cool. 
That battle maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that wheel, but mm -hmm. we definitely didn't expect it to help us out like this. Help us out. Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster recorded in the prophecy, all we need to do to stop the prophecy would be to find a way to beat it up, right? Sure. It is too late. Too late? What do you mean? It had already absorbed too much of the primordial sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, it has become practically integrated with the sea itself. Do you know who I am, Ner? Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. I hear the Bratrice. That, that's not something I will accept. <laughs> Let's go, Queen. We've already done everything we can. Yes. And we even found the true culprit. Yes. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. Thank you. That's just not fair. Thank you. Indeed. That's not how a grand performance should end. Kings and queens. I'll fight it to the end. No matter what. I love them. So the prophecy I'm gonna will be say fulfilled it. no matter what, huh? I'm gonna say it. I love child. <laughs> oh, where am I going? I'm deep in thought. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. <laughs> uh-huh. You may view such things as the history of the future. Yeah. So she's also saying it here. Prophecies are also past. What I was saying about fate. After everything, it still turned out like this. We couldn't fight against fate. Wait, but if this is all about fate... Just as prophecies are usually <laughs> only the future, as seen from the perspectives of the gods... Uh-huh. Could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? The abyss. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tevat's future. Uh-huh. All you need to do is to play your part. Let's go in. Could it be that even if the prophecy will be fulfilled, there will still be a way to save everyone? <laughs> I'm going in, guys. <laughs> Did I miss something? I don't know. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Wait, I forgot about Farina. What was it that she wanted to say at the last moment in a giant magic box? She's ran off, hasn't she? Hasn't she? What is her real secret? Is she up there still? More? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening with the oratory? I heard it clanking earlier. I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. You're joking. Save her. Now she's gonna fight back now. <laughs> Run up, do something. No, I still need answers. We are climbing up this jump. <laughs> you knew it, didn't you? I'm gonna take it. I'm face tanking it. What's in this drop? The truth? Give me that. Oh, I'm gone. Am I dead? What just happened? We're in stasis. Oh! What? Real Hydro Archon? Oh, like, her but mega form? What just happened? Who is this? Is this her, actually? But in her PJs, about to get murdered. Why are you so happy? You. Have we freed you? What's going on? <laughs> uh, Farina? <sighs> she sounds much older now. Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. This has to be the original Archon. You are not Farina. Who are you? Ah, uh, the sweet Folk sound alarms. of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know, the god. My attempt to deceive everyone. Well, I guess I had that read with all this theater shit. <laughs> I had that. Fosalor, why did you deceive us? Oh, wow. Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving right. the heavenly principle. I thought so. This, this, seemed, this seemed like what the 
teacup told us. Deceiving the heavenly principles. Yeah. It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? This is so Everyone odd. doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. Uh-huh. One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the okay. former Hydro Archon Egeria. So you are you. It hardly gets more disastrous than a preordained national catastrophe. Now does it? This is so cool. It it was obvious that it couldn't just be haha <laughs> for fun, I'm clueless. I Got bits and pieces right, but definitely not this. She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. Mm -hmm. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. Mm -hmm. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible Very situation bad, yeah. that I found myself in. Very shitty. I like her a lot, though. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. Mm -hmm. And I was almost growing <laughs> barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. Uh huh. I had to outwit the heavenly principles. Yeah. Allow the prophecy That's so to be cool. fulfilled, ostensibly at least. While saving everyone at the same time. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> I can only Shut assume up. that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Yeah, you could carry the big burden. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Right. Between the it's task rough. of saving the nation, mm -hmm. the quotidian duties of the Hydro Archon. I mean... And not to mention the original sin of creating a new race of humans. Yeah. I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. Definitely. Definitely. What I will say, Nur gave you a good hand with the quotidian duties. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. Uh-huh. I did not choose this. Any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. Right. So you were also once one of the Oceanids. That's insane. Transformed into a human by Egeria's hand. The Archon is an Oceanid. Yes, I was. That's insane. I always dreamed of becoming human. And I still do. Yeah. Even now. Mm -hmm. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. Right. Please don't make this big sword fall on your head. As the final execution. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and ah, spirit. Okay. Leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. Okay. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human wow. counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. That's so cool. So it is kind of like, you're going to be mad at me maybe for this comparison, but like Egg and the Shogun, kind of. Not very much. <laughs> she could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Mm -hmm. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess. Right. As were her shortcomings. Smart. I like this fit. Do we unlock this fit? But Please. in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. The perfect bait, yeah. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. That's insane. Anyway, so then I cursed her. <laughs> yeah. All part of the plan, of course. Yeah. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. That's sick. <sighs> yeah. Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? Mm -hmm. The Hydra Archon alone, weeping on her throne. Yeah. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress. I know. To play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Oh, I know. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, yeah. continued to exist, she could not die. Mm -hmm. 
But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Yep. Instead, she was forced to drama. take the stage in the opera house to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy. Yeah. All to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. Yeah. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. I mean, not only that, but all the other theatrical hints at everything. But Farina is only human, isn't she? <laughs> Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. She's definitely been, yeah, abused in that sense, emotionally. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. Yep. It must have been torture for her. Mm -hmm. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. Right. It's been 500 years. Figured. <laughs> Figured that amount. And all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, yep. unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm definitely, I was already convinced of her being good when she stopped the acting. And it made sense that she had to keep up the act the entire time. I was hoping for a twist like this, because there was no way she was just being annoying as hell the entire time, just like that. That's cool. Very cool. So now what? What did I witness? I came into contact with Frina's tears? If I remember correctly, tears often contains a being's strongest emotions. With sufficiently strong hydrosensitivity, I can form an emotional connection, just like I did with that oceanid at the Fountain of Lucene. Wait, could this be... Farina's inner world? Farina? What is she doing on stage? Wait a moment. That probably isn't Farina. That most likely is a reflection of her inner self. If I can directly speak to that self, I might be able to easily get what I wanted to know. I came here for answers. Either way, the opportunity is not to be missed. Let's try talking to her. Damn. Damn. This is insanely cool. Wow, hello. On the spotlight. Very respectable. I liked your older fit more, not gonna lie. Oh, who permitted you to come onto the stage? Now, I understand <laughs> your admiration for my august self, uh -huh. but I must ask you to keep to the rules. I now fully respect it. Look at her shadow there. What is this, some kind of hint? Uh, Farina? All right, all right. It is not my don't intent me, don't to look reprimand me. you. There is no need to what? state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. Okay, I think she's right. If we are in the real world, we can't we can't let the heavenly principles see anything, so we have to roleplay. I don't see an audience here. <laughs> oh, do not Just let the stage lights go off, please, if only for it. one second. Is this my thoughts? Or is this her thoughts? I, if this is real Farina, she wants to, to talk like a normal person so bad. I am Fosalor, the eyes that way of I can become myself again. Are upon me. Yeah. I must at all times display the utmost elegance and nobility. Damn. Something's off. There's no getting through to her. Even in her heart of hearts. She's still playing the role of the Hydro Archon. We're still being watched. What sort of resolve must she have that even her inner self and subconscious would have such an, such an impenetrable defense? I have to find a way. We have to shut off the lights. Or something. Yeah. This is very interesting. Dear audience, oh. the performance is experiencing a technical difficulty, but <laughs> worry not. <laughs> the guards shall resolve it soon. She's Hydra, this is bad. Snap. <laughs> Listen, I have to. I have to for my Instagram. Summon the folks. That's crazy. A cry without a echo. Shackles. I hadn't even seen that yet. Get him, crab. I wonder, can Nurse suck up these? Whoa! That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Nur and Nur and Lumine working together. I'll I'll keep the front light for last. That's kind of cool. All right, who's gonna spawn hey, this time? What gives? Chains. The audience is still watching without end. me. You know, guards. Wait, where are the guards? There's guards! no one here. <laughs> There's no one here. 
Give me more bubbles. Ow, ow, stop. I can't die. Silence without end chains. Yeah. All right, the final light. Be yourself. Watch Farina, what? I saw the spotlights turned off. In Farina's heart, they must have symbolized the eyes for the people on her. Speaking of which, I think I just received some sort of signal. Was that her true voice? Hmm? A ticket? When did that end up here? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh. Take seat. It's my seat. The empty seat? Either way, it looks like the show is about to begin. In that case, show me how you truly feel, Farina. I want to cry. This is very French. Scene one, before a mirror, Farina. Told you about a mirror character in the Explorer. Oh? I'm her? Slow walk. <laughs> I... I... So much has happened. And so much still needs to happen. It's crazy. Farina. Farina. It's you, talking to you. Huh? Who is that? Who's calling me? Where are you? Look in the mirror. Be not nervous. Be not afraid. <laughs> I am before you. Wow. Wait a moment. You're mirror me? Uh huh. How can this be? Long story, dude. <laughs> <laughs> mirror you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. Uh. Let's go with that. I feel honest. Obviously, I feel bad for her, but it is kind of cute. Mirror this scene. Me. What do you wish to say? <laughs> She's very innocent. The prophecy. Have you heard of it? <laughs> what prophecy? <sighs> Wait. I know. I think. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. Uh huh. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon it will happened. remain, weeping on her throne. It happened. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. She sat on a big chair, and she dropped a tear. We touched it. I guess the final slate has happened then. Are we released of, of our sins? Oh, <laughs> very good. You know it well. Wait, is she actually, like, tall or is she standing on the thing? What's going on? I can't seem to remember anything clearly. The only thing I know for sure is this prophecy. Will it really come to pass? I think it's done. <laughs> yes, it will. Or is this in the past, maybe? And that is why I've come to you. Disaster will come to Fontaine sooner or later. Things will develop just as the prophecy declared. There is no escaping it. Right. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? You would. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world <laughs> precisely to give people a chance to turn things around. That's such a cool sentence. It is the reason why you met me today. It's probably why I had a cup of tea with an invisible person, too. I will tell you how to save everyone, but yeah. you may have to suffer somewhat. Damn. I guess this is the start of it. Oh, oh. so there's still hope after all. <laughs> Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. Normal her is completely fine. Her act one was so annoying though. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was, why do I have to be the one to suffer? Yeah. But if the prophecy will come true, I'll also yeah. die anyway, right? True. So, if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, mm -hmm. if there were scales with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other, yep. is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? That's very respectable. <laughs> you truly are the perfect human. My <laughs> ideal. Yeah. 
I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't worry. You'll understand in it's due time. Nothing. Listen well. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. I need you to play a role. Mm -hmm. That of the new Archon. Mm -hmm. Play as... a god? Yep. That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. Damn. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. Mm -hmm. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. That's insane. But should your identity be revealed, yeah. then all hope will be lost. So when I said that she had to hide it, it was hiding it from the heavenly principles but it wasn't because they told her to they actually had to believe that she was but how will i do this a human assuming the role of a god without being exposed how what is she gonna say here good luck don't worry what you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god yeah you simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be right being a human yourself, I'm sure you already know what such an entity would be like. Mm -hmm. Remember, your true challenge will not be pursuing divinity, but contending against humanity. Damn. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but I'll try. Damn. I'll try to do this. Mm -hmm. So... How long am I going to have to play this role? To Forever. accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. Wow. But I promise you, all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Was it this and one? Everyone will be saved. Or is there another step? A trial, huh? How exciting! Ah. I'll be looking forward to it. She's very cute, like this. Not gonna lie. Scene two, a session speech. Farina. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. We're just reliving what the, the 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 events in history. I guess this is where she becomes the Archon officially. Maybe we'll see. Is nurse somewhere? Nope. Yeah, don't worry. I saw. <laughs> I saw that one. The spotlight was. Big time on it. I don't really see anyone. There's also no oratrice yet, is there? I can't. I can't jump this little thing. I have to do the scenic walk all the way around. Just so you guys know. <laughs> I cannot jump very high. Here I am. <sighs> the Maison Cardinalise has announced my accession. But this is my first time facing the people. And this is where she makes up the character? What should I say? Arrogance. To most appear like a god. Yeah. To be honest, I still don't know. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should first try to act natural. Summon courage. Uh -huh. uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Opera Epicles. <sighs> I'm sure you've all heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Farina de Fontaine, <laughs> your new Archon. Appear earnest. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new god, but it will be my honor to guide you all. Right. As the god Fosalor, the god of justice, I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness and justice. Close politely. Once again, thank you all for coming. If you should have any questions or suggestions, please send them to the Maison Cardinalis. <laughs> the future of Fontaine will require us to work together, after all. Oh, that's a great speech. This should do it. Yeah, that was a good, good trial. Let's see with real people now. I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was able to convey my thoughts just fine. Nice. Okay, and next. Next. That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? Aww. I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more... Yeah, here it comes. Assertive. The arrogance. Hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. 
It's insane. So basically what they're saying is that she was so open and like ready to be even better. She was doing the dream Archon. The best possible Archon that would actually help the people and take their suggestions. But instead are like, huh, this one doesn't even seem like Day of Power. And then she had to turn arrogant and annoying Shouldn't because of them. Be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between what a, her and an ordinary person then? What a dog water audience. If you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Damn. Wait, what's going on? Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? And here starts the arc. Oh, this is bad. If I get exposed here, there'll be no saving the people from the prophecy. Come on, queen. Right. Mir me said that I just need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Say it. Psych, you're all my losers. Listen to me. You don't get a say in anything. Calm down, Farina. Yeah. Think. Think. What do the people want? How would they imagine a god to speak and act? I love real Farina. Assertive. Like this one. With a strong sense of presence. One who can dispel all doubt. That is the character I'm fated to play. Yep. Which doesn't seem her personality at all, so it's even more painful. Summon courage. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Very good, my people. Only ones such as you are deserving of my rule. At least it's incredibly talented how she could do these two characters just like that and be convincing. Now I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come onto the stage and claim ownership of this opera house, would the children of Fontaine follow them? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it seems that you would all see right through them. <laughs> Having passed my that's test, smart, that's you smart. are qualified to witness wondrous trials alongside my august self here <laughs> in this opera house. Woo! You may consider Everyone my previous act a Treat us like trash. <laughs> I thought it was a debut that suited the atmosphere. Very, very impressive. Now then, let us be reintroduced. Yes. Ah, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? Impressive. Her personality. It's quite shocking to be honest, but I suppose it's a better look than before. You people are awful. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. <laughs> this is so cool. All. So cool. It seems I've turned them around. Best follow this flow and restart my accession speech. Okay. Resolutely with conviction. My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether she did you walk trust off me or nay, this I say to you, Keep faith in your ardor for justice. We have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. <laughs> this well, is a real us. I say that justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. Turn up the drama. The scales of justice should not <laughs> I feel so awful for her already. Of its God. On one side, it must carry fairness and justice. <laughs> and on the other, praise and applause. Yes. May law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us <laughs> light the fires and drink to the future of Fontaine. End the speech. Emphatic, empathetic, emphatically. There is no trouble in this world that <laughs> justice cannot solve. Uh huh. All that is needed is for you, my people, to believe in it, heart and soul. Yep. So long as I, the Archon Fosalor, stand within the Opera Epicles, so long as I stand before the Archon, nice dance. That's got me. I shall even judge the <laughs> gods of this world. Whoa. Whoops and cheers. It's gotta be an idol, I thought. Woo! Whoa, yeah, that dude in the end. He's like, let me just add another scoop. Let me add another layer. Act three. Scene three. Opera House. Farina. Oh, I can run. No, I wanna walk. Oh, I just got out of bed. Cute little bed. Very cute. I can't walk, by the way. I tried. Um, I'll sit down and do the work. Psych. The Udex will do all that for us. Lady Farina, 
Here are today's case reports, as well as a summary of the follow-up for your perusal. Oh, God. <sighs> Come now. Was I not just at the opera house in person? <laughs> Leave these kinds of things to Nervalette. <laughs> Besides, none of these trials were the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Yep, you're gonna have to wait 500 for those. Um, if I may be so impertinent, what kind of trial are you truly looking forward to? Who are you to ask such questions? Leave my office at once. A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. <laughs> A trial to end all things. Uh-huh. <sighs> How could you hope to understand? Right. That's true. I fear I lack the ability to grasp your divine thought, Lady Archon. <laughs> For fright, and do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now, do your duties. Mm -hmm. The Toodles. trial I await, it will come one day. Yeah. Damn. This scene is cool. They, I, I see this often. This kind of uh, way to display actions, like in Lady the order Boy, it happened. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing to see me. <laughs> no need to thank me. Or rather, thank your own sense of perseverance instead. Long have you stood in line to meet me, have you not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's just an inevitable consequence of my divine charm. <laughs> Alright, she's really good with your arrogant acts. Oh, she deceived me, anyway. Alright. Deuteria, is it? How is your son's illness? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You remembered me, yeah. and you knew of my family, too. Uh-huh. He is doing much better now. In fact, he is far more of an ardent believer than I. He was the one who forced me to seek an audience with you, and to bring your words back to him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, good. Very good. If this should happen again in the future, she is still please kind do here. not hesitate to come and tell me. Going down to citizens' homes every so often, while not usual practice, should serve as a fine change of pace. I think she's gonna realize she can't do this, oh, or something. You're such a gentle and wise god. Thank you once again, on behalf of my son. That's cute. That's cute. I don't know, I feel like this isn't what the- this isn't what the heavenly principles would want or something. Like, you're not keeping up the acts. I don't know, maybe she's just farming positive- positive reviews from- the people, Fontaine. Well then. Lady Farina, here are the latest hydrological reports. Ah. Uh -huh. As for the specific parameters you asked to take note of, I'm afraid things still don't look good. Is this when she started researching the prophecy? I see. It's as I thought then. This is the real her again. As your god, oh. I did already expect this, but I wanted to see how far your human wisdom would allow you to analyze it. <laughs> Not very smooth. All manner of signs indicate that the prophecy will still come to pass. Mm -hmm. Forget it. <laughs> That's not something you need to worry about right now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as I understand it, uh, the Fontaine Research Institute is also trying to find a way to counter the rising water levels. I wonder how that's going. Really? Uh, have they found anything? <laughs> I'm afraid that they haven't found any effective solution thus far. Oh, I knew that. <clears throat> oh, is that so? <laughs> well, no wonder. Uh -huh. This issue has reached the realm of the gods after all. Yep. Still, their spirit is praiseworthy. What are the odds we bring like a bunch of Archons again to fix this? Actually, we're going to bed. We're going to bed sad. Are we going to be sobbing, perhaps? The day is finally over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. Yep. But it's good to see that everything's getting on track. Mm -hmm. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Yeah, you're doing good. Maybe this is fine. I just need to keep going. Five and everyone hundred. Will be safe. Years of this. All right, Farina, don't think too hard about this. You need rest. Tomorrow's a new day. You know what I find very interesting, and I kind of want to hear your guys' takes on this. Some of you were like, "Oh, I don't get you don't like her. I love her so much, and like how annoying she is, and whatever or her behavior." And so now that you can see there was just a facade that she's like this. Do you still like her? Do you like her more? Do you like her less? Because I like her a lot more. Now that I understand that it was all an act. 
But I can imagine if you liked that personality, you're like, ah, I don't know. The real her is amazing. I, I like her a lot. All right, volume five or scene four, five, four, Opera House Farina. Is there going to be a different act? Some Lady different Farina, actor? here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> there'll be no need for that. <laughs> I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before. Uh-huh. Wow. Lady Farina. The nave. Oh, never mind. I I've waited so so long for this chance to see you in this manner. Mm -hmm. Indeed, my dear loyal citizen, this joyous moment is an honor for us both. I think we're gonna get to the point where she breaks and she's like, I can't handle this anymore. I don't, want, I don't care anymore. Lady Farina, we're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near Poisson. Oh God, Understood. this was recent. Keep monitoring. Keep me informed should anything come up at the Institute. Damn. She was trying, though. I don't think I let anything slip today. I must show the people that there is nothing to worry about. I wonder if she was researching it to see if, like, it was getting closer and that she would, like, the final act for her would also get closer. Or maybe it was just, like, she wanted to try and fix it as well. I don't know. She definitely had to try and keep the people calm. I just don't know when these days will end. Yeah. I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today, too. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is volume five. Scene five, the opera house, Farina. It's very, uh, very much the same every time. Apparently you spell five, one with two leaves. <laughs> she's working hard, she's grinding. She's upstairs now, back downstairs, sitting on the floor, sitting on the chair, thinking. Scratching your head. <laughs> Does not work a typewriter. That was it. Volume 6. Whoa. Oh, volume 900 or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dark. Wait, I couldn't see. Farina, it's, oh, it's like a dream being able to speak with you. This is where she snaps. Like yeah, yeah, get it over with. I've heard that the first member of our family who was honored to receive an audience with you wow. was Madame Deuteria almost 20 generations ago. And her son did wonderfully. <laughs> and what a She's fine so exhausted. family yours is indeed. It brings me great joy to meet such a faithful believer. A descendant of a line most ardent. I think she's just sobbing because it's like... It made her aware she's been there for 20 generations. <laughs> Surely you exaggerate, Lady Farina. No, I trust. Uh, um, my lady? Mm-hmm. Hmm? What is it, good citizen? Why are you sobbing? Can it pan? It's not gonna pan yet. Uh, yep. Are you crying? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> really now? Yeah. I didn't even notice. This must be incredibly frustrating. You gotta go nuts. This must be the overflow of hydro from my person. <laughs> well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters, can I? Very nice excuse. Uh, no wonder. No wonder. A manifestation of your power, then. <laughs> oh, Archon, I am honored to have witnessed it. Honored indeed. Wow. Don't touch them, though. Don't touch them. They're filled with memories. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Farina. <laughs> yep. So lonely. Mm -hmm. Just how much longer? It's getting kind of close, I promise. Hundreds of years must have passed by now. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the show must go on for hundreds more. Yep. Imagine that it would hurt so much. <laughs> I, I mean, it's easy to say now that we've witnessed it, but yeah, un insufferable. Have I reached my limit? You can do it. No, perhaps I reached it long ago. You can do it. Today, I didn't even notice my own tears. Yeah. I want to tell someone, anyone, yeah. about this. But would that not destroy 
destroy all I've done so far. It must have been incredibly difficult. She was about to tell us, and then we put her on the stage. She managed to hold out long enough to, to not ruin it last second, which was mad impressive. I've conducted so many investigations across the centuries, but there's not even a sliver of hope that we might break the prophecy. Yep. All I can do is keep heart. I must maintain this act. Mm -hmm. It is the only way to save Fontaine. Yeah. Please, mirror me. You have to succeed. But was it a coincidence then? That mirror, mirror her, or like Folklore's, managed to find a fix at the last second? Or did we just actually... I had to get here and get to the point where we almost expose her. Was that also part of Folklore's plan? Could she not have like acted earlier? Volume 6,259,182,376, Opera House. Farina, end. Oh. This was today. Farina, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. She does. <laughs> this must have been so hard. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Mm hmm That's my voice? Is this scene from when we're within that giant magic box? Yep. This is great. <laughs> I didn't think this scene would replay in her inner world. Surely, uh, I found out what she wanted to tell me this time. Share my burden. Well, isn't it obvious what she would want to tell? That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. I was very ignorant. I'm sorry, Farina. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Mm -hmm. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. And then when she heard witness, it scared her away for sure, because then like, yeah, the heavenly principles are witness. A witness? Huh. Yes. I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator. Aren't you? Aren't they hinting at way more than just this Archon quest with this sentence? <sighs> if that's the case... Yeah... She's right. I could confide in her, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> but if things don't play out as expected... Yeah. The people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. Mm -hmm. No, Farina. You shouldn't be selfish. Very impressive. <sighs> This must have been the most difficult trial. After 500 years being so close, being like, no, I, I shouldn't, I can't. But what if... What if it's really all right? Yeah. Farina, you've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first for once. Just this <laughs> once. Is it such an outrageous thing to do anyway? To find someone in whom you can not outrageous, your no. frustrations and sorrows. Surely it could not hurt. I think you were smart to not tell me. If you let this opportunity slip through your fingers, it might never come by again. And then the next sentence we say is we gave you a final chance. We did, we made it so much harder for her. Think about it. Long and hard. And by the time it happened, the box opened. Oh, she was gonna, maybe. <laughs> and box open. Boom. No, I have nothing to say. I am Farina, the Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. <laughs> All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. Well, let them fall. Chop, chop. <sighs> yep, still nothing. Excuse me. We're just staring into each other's Fine. eyes. Fine. I don't care anyway. <laughs> I didn't want to know. <laughs> Fine. Bye. Rough. But the next act, it just happened.
You saw Mirror Me again. So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You've never mm, once really? let her in on the full plan? <laughs> that... Wow. Yes, it had to be done. To deceive the heavenly principles, yeah. you must first deceive yourself. Wow. She did very well. Yeah. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, five centuries. Fontaine would have been doomed to the most tragic fate. Yeah. It seems that trusting humanity was the right <sighs> decision after all. That's deep. That's really deep. That's the Archons versus the Heavenly Principles coming up. Um, what I was thinking of is that she, quote-unquote, sacrificed one for the good of many. And I think it's interesting because that's it links back to the start with Navia and Malus and Silver. And when Paimon said, you shouldn't see it like that. You should see it like a hero. So, uh, Farina's a hero is what it comes down to. I believe that I understand how your deception works. But that is only half the truth, is it not? I'd say so. How would you build on this foundation to save the people of Fontaine? That is the most important thing. I don't know how she's supposed to fix it either. Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the issue. Hey, just so you know, I'm not the Udex, but I also pointed that out. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine, yes? Yes. I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. That's always bothered me too. It now seems that that person was you. Hidden uh -huh. within the machine all alone. Am I right? <laughs> and then I became one with the Oratrice. Taking uh -huh. Fontaine's Gnosis with me. There yes. it is. It would seem so, wouldn't it? Oh, but it's not that. Alas, your understanding of this device Dude. still lacks sufficient depth. Yeah, well, how do you expect us to know anything? In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the god of justice. I was worried about the thing spinning above her head. Is this it? You're not actually gonna die right now, right? Not now. I beg your pardon? This is the end of the prophecy. She dies. Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the God of Justice, uh -huh. it will also take down the Divine Throne upon which she has been placed. I see. <laughs> I mean, did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose while Farina suffered? No. My work over these last 500 years has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the oratrice. Look at that. Enough to kill a god? But really, some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. Uh-huh. The rest is to kill a god. The vast majority has been, mm -hmm. had to be, accumulated. To enact this death sentence. <laughs> what the f What? It was all a part of your plan then. Both the trial and the sentence. So we had to wait 500 years because we had to gather up all the power. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, yeah. could have sustained Fontanians for millennia had it only been used for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Almost all of it has now been stored within the oratories. Which is some of this massive ethereal blade above my head. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne. Yeah. Shaking the rules established by Celestia and breaking through the institution that is the Seven. Really? So the oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor. But for the Hydro Archon. <laughs> it's a political statement. The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand your intent, you must be. Returning what's rightfully yours to you. Oh Lord. my god! That's insane! In other words, this was all done to return Yo! the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. 
Nervalet buffs. Insane. But yeah, now you have to to carry those burdens. No butt snur. Hug moment. Handhold moment. No, oh, what? Getting sad again, are we? <laughs> The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more, O oh Hydro Dragon Sovereign. And this is the face you make. <laughs> he will have a huge target on his back, no? All you've done throughout the years is just so you can sacrifice yourself at the very end. Seems that way. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Hero moment. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start sobbing again, too. <sighs> there it is. Hydro dragon. Hydro dragon. <laughs> Don't cry. I must say, oh, he didn't take had it, it been within my <laughs> rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Yeah. Were they not guilty of essentially the same crime? Yeah. Egeria stole the power of the primordial sea. Mm -hmm. And the heavenly principles stole the power you ancient dragons possess. Yep. I, for my part, am the god of justice. And is it not just that your original powers should be returned to you? <laughs> it's good logic. Speaking of justice, I have always believed that justice lies in the process of pursuing human existence itself. So, if the theft of the primordial sea's might was Fontaine's original sin... Uh-huh. Then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians as humans and their right to exist in this world would be Fontaine's original justice. I... yeah. Yeah. In other words, existence was Egeria's justice. And to me, justice is the continuation of that existence. I see. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on. That should be the justice enthroned over all others. Yeah. At this point, we, whether it be myself or all other Fontanians, have shouldered the burden mm -hmm. of this sin for far too long. Yeah. Yeah, we don't hear a lot of good things about the heavenly principles. Not gonna lie. All right. Udex Nervilet, the highest judge in our land. When you regain He's gotta save us. power as an elemental sovereign, what verdict shall you pass upon us? This has such huge implications for everything. So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Udex, <laughs> I see now that that was your idea too. You also been bamboozled. At last. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. I think he finally, he has the thing too we talked about in another quest where he was like, I, I, I don't understand my purpose. And now he finally has an answer for that too. In the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living alongside them have gradually brought about mutual understanding between us. That's so cool. And I have even attempted to feel as they feel. That's so cool. Yeah. Put the differences aside. You are a devious one, Fusalor. <laughs> yeah. Things being as they are, surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. <laughs> Damn. Is this it? It is, isn't it? <sighs> Goodbye. The hour of my execution is almost here. It's insane. Listener, the curtain call has come. Insane. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Who wouldn't? Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. Yeah. She looks so cool like this. I hope there's a skin someday. <laughs> Farewell, <laughs> Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. <laughs> What's. But what now? 
Don't actually show this. I just little dance. It's so cute. <laughs> really? Here it comes, I guess. Is someone like gonna save her or something? Wow. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> oh, more, more balls, lots of them. This is crazy. Bit more of a meaningful, uh, meaningful one. This one. <laughs> Thank you, Farina, for all you've done. From this moment on, please live happily as a human, just as I wished we could. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, Nudex Nuvelet, hereby declare <laughs> People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> How about the rising water? Not gonna happen anymore at all? He can fly and everything, man. He's actually buffed. Maybe the rain that he summoned is actually the one that's gonna flood the place. <laughs> wow. What just happened? Has the death sentence been carried out? I wonder what the hell happened in the real world, yeah. Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? I have a feeling that something huge just happened. You'd be right. But since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. This is nuts. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. <laughs> Can we go in, please? Hey, didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? He has his powers now. I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. <laughs> through certain means. I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. That's crazy. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. <laughs> you obtained power just now? This also reminds me, it's kind of like, will he not tell us about it? And it's kind of like where the, the Dendro Archon, we weren't allowed to know that, well, we do, but the rest of the world doesn't. Even the Archon herself doesn't supposedly know. There was an Archon before her. I don't know. Traveler, now that the Oratrice can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. Y you mean me? The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Uh huh. Its name is the all devouring Narwhal. <laughs> come with me, traveler. The hour of execution <laughs> has come. She. She. Let me change teams. I'm not. I'm not ready for this. Holy. It's him. The weekly boy. Ah! Shut up. <laughs> oh, not this team! No! Okay, it's fine. This is probably you don't actually have to punch it, right? Maybe you do. Reach the power source. Reach the power source. Unless we can find a way to attack it from within. Okay. I shall share a part of the ancient dragon's power with Oh, you. really? We shall look for an opening together. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. We're not fighting this regular way. Okay, I'll leave this all in uncut. Me trying to figure this out. Maybe it's obvious. Oh, within. Silence. Should I maybe have gone inside the tummy? Sorrow turning into hostility. I see the waves and they worry me. 
I see a big ball on its head. It's like charging up something as well. No, not this. This reminds me of Age the High, the worst boss in the world. I'm being sucked. Destroy the Isle of the Males from effectively. The all devouring oh, I got it. Cannot resist its instinct to devour. Oh God. Continue to trigger its hostility. Chance will present itself. Okay. Trigger its hostility. Well, it's almost full. I need to suck up some health here. Hey, it's eating! It's eat. Oh. It's eating my balls. I can't have said that in a nicer way. I think it consumes the balls I make. We want to! Eat me up! <laughs> Whoa! Visitor from the far side of the sea. Who are you? Yeah, he's a scary boy. Stop it. Whoa, it's dubstep! <laughs> my team is so bad, but it's, it's RP at least. It'll be a cool fight. Granted you my protection. Okay. Do not fear. Seize the moment. Use my power to suppress its root from within. How? How does one do that? Wipe out. Wait, I should totally just summon this. It'll help. Yoohoo! <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. Uh your head. Kunuma or Osea. I think I think I did it. I think. I don't want to use my burst. I want to save it just in case there's a crazy phase at some point. Okay. Oh, that was big damage. We sliced through him. Return to the real world. Oh, cutscene moment. Oh, it's the second phase, guys. We're gonna see this every week. Every week we shall see this. At least a part of it. It's far from done. Don't believe. Half of these balls. Uh oh. Holy. Is that good or bad for us? Did you buff it or did you nerf it? Nerf! It's becoming shrimp! From narwhal to sh. sh who are you? You! What? And child? Who is this? We're not fighting instantly, Thanks right? We can have a talk. With the She's so cool. Should have been my job, but oh well. No way this is where they link universes from Hoyoverse together. She looks like a Star Rail character or like Honkai Impact. It was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. We've heard of this before, haven't we? Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. But they what? bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. She's so pretty. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. <laughs> disciple, your master's pet, who are you? That power. Who are you exactly? Yeah, from what Skirk. You said yeah earlier, I, I thought so. Skirk? Skirk, right? We've heard of it, I remember it, but... It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the less talkative person. <laughs> I simply what? did not have anything to say to the weak. She's so cool. But you, on the other hand, managed to defeat the all-devouring narwhal without using power from beyond this world. You're so cool! So you may speak to me as equals. What sort of person would take an all-devouring narwhal as a pet? I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. Uh-huh. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. <laughs> and I have more important things to do with my time than uh, pet sitting. Yeah. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. Yeah. All sure. in all. It fails as a pet. I agree. It does look kind of cool, but it's kind of awful. Uh, Miss Skirk? No, uh, it's fine. The point. It's fine. The point being... <laughs> the point being that it must be a monster because it's devastating worlds. Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. <laughs> so what sort of person is She's so cool. Look well, at this. Oh, right. 
So you don't know him. I don't think so. Sorry, I assumed you did. I swear if you say something crazy right now. His name is Sir Tologi. Oh, Sir Tologi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you say that, of course. Who? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with that name. This is a Genshin Impact 2 moment, guys. Huh. So Master is insufficiently famous. <laughs> hmm. How should I describe him then? Have you heard of the name The Foul? No. The Foul? Oh, wait. No. <laughs> no. I was gonna say, when I heard The Foul, I thought it defiled. All I could think of is the defiled statue, but I don't think so. She has one of the cool finger things. I always like the finger. Still nothing? Well, oh! how about the visionary? Better fall near then? No. Or gold? Yes. Yeah, that one. Ooh, that one we've heard. Prime Doctor's part of the Hexen Circle. <laughs> Still famous farm, right? Oh my god. Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. Wow. I don't actually know them either. That's insane. She is so cool. I'm not over it. I don't think I will be able. Please become playable. I want to be a Skirk main. But I suppose you understand now, yes? Yes. My master is likely a similar sort to Ryan daughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. I see. They're also creating life, by the way. They should also get heat on their booties. You know what I mean? Like, the heavenly principles will be mad at them. Wait! Didn't you also mention a visionary person? Paimon didn't quite catch their name. This is the teacup. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you. Uh -huh. That the all-devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Okay. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. Uh-huh. As such, the fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. Mm-hmm. That's pretty bad. In other words, we complete the a prophecy. prophecy that you've been fretting yeah. over should now be in full swing. We've still not managed to clear it. What? Yeah. No, there's little to be surprised about, Paimon. It is natural, after all. The prophecy will surely come true. We knew this and accepted it. However... Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. We're probably like... Is everyone in a little bubble being protected? Show what happened in the real world. In she the is end, so cool! The people will all be dissolved I'm sorry. into the waters. And only Farina will remain. Was this it? Weeping on her throne. Holy sh- what? <laughs> what? Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh. Feels oddly similar to Leela again. We're coming back, baby. We're coming back. Hey, they didn't die. Hey, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Save them. <laughs> I love, I love the collaboration thing. You know how they always say, human's strongest thing is collaborating or like working together. As much as we don't do it in the real world, <laughs> it always is the fix. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is it a big? Oh, it's the big boat! Of course. Wait. <laughs> All hands, initiate emergency rescue. Did he know? Did he know too? You think? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what the hell? This is so cool. It's flying, by the way. It's not a boat. <laughs> it's a plane. I, I completely forgot about this. This is so cool. I... Uh, bubbles. Hey. Wake up. Come on. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> This place. Oh, 
Farina. Are we going to see Farina's Farina's moment? She's slurping it all up. We didn't dissolve. The prophecy was wrong. That garden's still looking nice for seawater all over it. wasn't initially that's what I mean you can only say if it's a prophecy after it has or hasn't happened what a dumb term I need a moment <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know if it's cringe or not but this shit hits hard Poisson <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know what my present holds right now. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I need a second, guys. Wow. What? We just went to like another dimension as well. Killed some... Some space whale. Met child's space teacher. Who said that they had a master. Who's the person that made Albedo? Maybe we do get an Albedo event this December. Old soil can still give birth to new <sighs> I hope so. Hope is like seeing a small cookie when you're starving late at night. <laughs> you just need a little of it. So true. I'm, I'm gonna say one more thing. I know it's like all philosophical and shit and all like humans working together thing. Although I do believe it being true. I uh, one day heard someone say, and it pissed me off so much. And I might be a dreamer. I don't really care. But they said, hope is just like extended disappointment. <laughs> and when I heard that, it made me so mad. So I like that. Fortunately, most people don't think that way because I think it's bullshit. I think hope is the most important thing. Yeah. Skyship winglet, food or bay this is so cool. Research Institute. <laughs> Look at this thing. The various disputes that have arisen on account of Mr. Edwin have suddenly become a shield over the Institute, with Jurier turning out to be a once overlooked hidden gem. <laughs> always call the first researcher mad, but yeah. we don't know what to call the second. Yeah. And should that latter person achieve a miracle, <laughs> we would find it all the harder to find a word with which to classify him and his team. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow! I'm not really ready to the people in the report. Are those really Jerry or Navia? <laughs> they sound like real big shots. <laughs> we look so happy. <laughs> look at how satisfied we look. What the hell? They might have been real big shots from the start. We just didn't meet them in that capacity. What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? Still sobbing, dude. idea was pretty simple. Uh huh. With the disaster just having passed, we would print a free edition packed to the margins with good news to calm people down. That's, that's smart. That's smart. That's cool. Reminds me of Harkmon, but that's a story for another day. Your your printing place didn't get destroyed though. That's pretty impressive. It must have been real the waterproof. Value for these big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-ups. True. We'll publish further reports and go into the stories behind those people. Very smart, Charlotte. Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true flying ship. Yeah. While Navia is leading people in the reconstruction of their home. <laughs> I'm sure that these stories could draw even your well-traveled eye. Yeah. These articles do make me curious about how things will play out. I The future. And that's exactly why Fate. I want like you to come conduct interviews with me. You're the best incubators of news, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Yeah, also, we have. You around, I'm sure I'll get to see that Duke. Dude, uh, he just sure? popped Has in. He turned you down several times already. Yeah, but this time he can't. Oh, this time will be different. Come on, let's head to Poisson uh. and then make a trip to the fortress. Uh. There are some things you'll only know when you get there. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> for a better tomorrow finale what is that thing i got finale go to put oh tear tears among the stars it must be from the whale it's another boss thing. this is so 
freaking crazy. A drop of water obtained from, from within the colossal beast who coveted the primordial sea of life. A philosopher in the faraway land, world once posited that where there is life, there is death. Naturally, where there is death, there is life. If not, then the fleeting lights cannot resist the eternal darkness, and all withers into nothingness at the end of time. The rules among the stars dictate that nature must be conserved, but the laws of the universe have never been conserved. In a sealed box, destruction always overpowers new life. Millennia upon millennia of prosperity are but an instant in a span of a billion years. Yeah, true. The greatest of achievements, the proudest of accomplishments, in time all will tarnish, decay, dissipate, and ultimately fade into oblivion. It's kind of a depressing thought, but it is true. Thus, there are things floating among the stars. Once adorned with countless prestigious titles from innumerable civilizations, shredding tears from their ordained demise. Yeah, I've been weeping. Their tears stream down, out of desperation, out of hope, because all desperation and hope alike will be utterly extinguished along with the innumerable stars. Their tears stream down out of sorrow, out of joy, because both will eventually scatter into the cold, dark, endless void. Every tiny yet beautiful silhouette and every moment worth remembering will fade with time, even stars. And then, there are those so-called gods that are determined to save everything worth saving and devour everything that should be devoured. Until the end of time, until the sea of stars recess into nothing but dying embers, until a newborn world moves for the first time in the stomach of the whale, there will be no more sins, no more sadness, and no more tears, because everything died with the ancient stars. Wow. You know about this, it's such a depressing thing to think about, but it is true. And I've often thought, and it's kind of what Folklore's, or I guess Farina's fate was, kind of like having to endure all of this more or less infinitely, at least you don't know when the end is. And I was thinking, ugh, I've often said that I, I, I think living forever would be cool, but it kind of depends, right? Because it could also become awful if you have to witness all of it, kind of like her. But at the same time, the fact that things will be forgotten and just new things will happen, I hate the idea of in a hundred years, I most likely <laughs> will be gone. But like the things that will happen, in a hundred years, I want to know what what are the new things? What's gonna happen? It's not safe. It is safe now, dude. Trust, trust. It's safe now. Wow. Am I the arrogant one or am I the normal one? Nav, with the fatus, dude. The fatus were our homies. This quest, no? Navia. <laughs> this is a fatu man without a mask. Oh, it's you. What Where is you he? All here? He's gone. Look around. Yeah, we're just saying hi. I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too. Heck yeah. Uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garun Snezhevich. Snezhevich. He represented the Nave in sending us a large amount of supplies and is helping with our work. He's from the royal original Snezhnayan family. Our residents Garunt. are hard at work as well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing nicely. Uh huh. We've lost a lot of people, but. We are moving forward. That will have to be enough. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. Wow. I especially like that article you wrote last year about Fontaine's stray cats. Look, it's just a nice Fatui guy. Fatui gets shit rep. Sometimes deservedly, though. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too much in your report? Yeah. It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as Espina. Uh-huh. I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Or would you be willing to feature as friendly neighbors? That's a good call. That would be fine. Thanks. <laughs> I think maybe the Fatui are also operating, trying to avoid the, the heavenly principal's eye. Oh, you're back too. Hey. Uh, how are things? I can't wait for all of these banners, dude. I can't wait for Navia. I can't wait for Clorind. I, I can't, I uh, can't wait for Skirk. <laughs> we finished laying down the construction materials. It'll be another hour before the workers are able to go over there. Oh my god. Huh? You need to Clarion? Yes. Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. Uh, all right, all right. She really came here to help me out. <laughs> There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. Uh huh. Vespina has need of more decision makers. Yeah. And, well. I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Other than murdering him, you mean, or...? Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? <laughs> you know, about how you felt before the duel. About what it was like facing down a god. There's lots of exciting material there, I bet. Uh, forget it. 
I'm sure you can find a better theme than that, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> uh, I see you're the same as always. Couldn't you do me a favor, for Navia's sake? For Navia's sake? Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few photos <laughs> of me. Or of the Traveler. <laughs> it's better than wasting time persuading Chlorand at any rate. Real. Of course I will. I'm not gonna let her off that easy. All right, oh. then everyone who wants oh. to be in the photo, gather up. And smile. Smile, cheese. <laughs> Paimon's sparkling still. Do you ever not look cute, Paimon? Come on. Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. <sighs> All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. <laughs> sure, it takes more pictures, Poisson, to the clicking of shutters. All right, Something. that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. Yeah, sounds good, dude. Take care. <laughs> You're very quick. Mm hmm. Speed no time is to of waste. the essence when it comes to the news, and freshness is the key. Uh huh. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. <laughs> Who knows? I might eventually Look get that interview you. with you after all, Miss Claren. <laughs> wow, you really do have that never say die spirit. Uh huh. I'm impressed. Sure. <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. You already knew she was going? Well, you're well informed. Let me make a guess too. I asked Sijuin, who told Monsieur Nervillette, and he told you, right? <laughs> That's a very complete information chain. Do you want to work for the Fatui, perhaps? <laughs> In truth, all Monsieur Nervillette asked me was, when did the fortress become so friendly towards the media? <laughs> I told him that it was best not to speak too soon. Uh-huh. There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. Okay. You're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. In which case... I'll be making a move first. Run. Uh, stay safe now. And tell me if you hear anything interesting. I'll treat you to afternoon tea in exchange. Why is there some eerie vibe building up? Some silent vibe. Gerunt! You What's seem up? curious about the fortress. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh, that Risley. I still remember going down to the fortress to grill him for information on my father's case. <laughs> Boy, did he take me for a ride. Without telling me anything, of course. Lovely. But he did invite you to tea, didn't he? Not even. Two large pots of it, in fact. <laughs> it was good tea, though. <laughs> I have to agree. Good tea. The tea there is very good. Uh-huh. Ah, speaking of that, would you like to have some today? I mean, you've got time, right? No, she said she didn't. Well... I'd be partial to some shortbread. Nice. Wow, it's like we've got a menu or something. <laughs> sure, sure. So good to see that their relations fixed too. Mm. Good. What flavor of biscuits would you like, Mr. Snezhevich? Chocolate chip, please. Me? Uh, I'm fine with anything. Hey. But I would prefer <laughs> chocolate. Should you have it? Good choice, Gerund. All right. He's he's Leave the goat. He's my new Malouse. I know he's irreplaceable, but you're my new Malouse. I'll go over the newly arrived supplies with you later, Mr. Snezhevich. I'm so mad. We should be able to finish the preparatory work today. I'm so mad because I actually knew their names. Like, I actually cared about these two. That works great for me. They made him iconic. They did that intentionally. They gave him sunglasses for that reason. Just to fucking kill him. That's why he had sunglasses, so he could die and be memorable. Huh. Is it just me, or... Did you get a new lipstick? How'd you know? It's a gift from the Melazines. Uh, I did. It was a gift from Sijuin. I know. Want to give it a try? I think the color would suit you too. This is cute. That's cute! You freaking cutie patooties! Alright, I'm moving. I'm- where am I going? Oh, I'm gonna go back to jail again. I spent so much time in jail in France. We've made it. To jail. Wow. Again. Oh yeah, definitely. Looks I like feel you've it been too. missing us. Hey, sausage! What's up, big guy? Good Dude, to see you, man. Did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? No, I actually have to leave. Bye. <laughs> of course. I'm here to welcome you and our dear Miss Charlotte, whom our good head nurse recommended <laughs> She's to She's cute. <laughs> it's an honor to finally meet the much rumored Duke. Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. <laughs> no need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust oh. you recall our agreement. Really? Who is it? Of course, of course. All right then. This way. This way. 
You know, I, I was like thinking about who it could be. I don't know if he's just gonna inter or is she just gonna interview Sijuin. I was like, oh, maybe Child. And then I was like, wait, never mind. Child got yeeted back into the avoid <laughs> by Skirk. Jurier. Jurier. There's no Arthian, guys, I promise. Lorvin. Hey, no need to be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. Come on, cuties. Um, Miss Charlotte. Yes. Do these pictures really need to be published on the cover of the Steambird? Yes, my queen, they do. It would seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mr. Jurier. Hmm? Well, you can be on the back then. <laughs> Sir, please don't say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. <laughs> Might this interview be very important to you then? <laughs> no, I, I, I just... This is my first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... For? <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did she meet Mr. Care. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. Wow. You definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. <laughs> oh, way to put people at ease, huh? The boat that brought about a miracle. The Ark that saved the people. The Ark. His Why name should have been Noah. created a myth back there, like an emissary of legend. Yeah, truly. Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Oh, we docked it back into prison. <laughs> Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I don't know why we're here at all. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. Of course. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. In fact, you won't. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview <laughs> with you to make up for that loss? <laughs> her, her bargainings. She's she's the guy from Pawn Shop, the bald guy. <laughs> she really does not squeeze opportunities for all they're worth. Yeah, see? Like the bald guy from Pawn Shop, Pawn Stars. You already know my answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> best you interview our head nurse instead. <laughs> or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? <laughs> Did you really have to use the word couple? Yeah, come on, Norvine. You can't hide this from us. Well, then, two solo photos will do. All right. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. All right, here's a mirror. I told you about the mirror. They keep talking about the mirror. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. Mm-hmm. Sure have, he said. Your hair looks like shit. <laughs> He's like, but I thought you liked it this way. Oh, seems like hey. here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. Uh, uh, hey, Miss Charlotte. Why don't you, uh, take some pretty photos of our head nurse? <laughs> hmm? oh, Look at sure. Baited. Come on, Miss Sijuin, over this way. Let's find a brighter spot. Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? If you want to. <laughs> so, how have things been at the front page? I like how we get an interview, though. Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but this place is still more <laughs> We're gonna wave in the back. <laughs> Other than that flying ship, I got a tad too much attention, I think. Uh-huh. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. Mm -hmm. We should direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jurier? Miss Lorvine? <laughs> You're too kind, sir. I believe that you two should have your day no, no, in the no, sun. No, 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 no. That wouldn't be smart. Would want that, which is a pity. No, no, no. But he can't have more spotlights on him because he has to stay the the, the boss of the prison. You can't just be like a hero. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. Yeah, of course. I mean, that makes sense. You walk Ricey for a while and share news above, above ground with him. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Mm-hmm. Anyway, regarding that harbinger, mm -hmm. I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. Yeah. He sure did win them over, huh? That's crazy, dude. We fought the whale only for a third of its health, by the way. I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good that being that their too. boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. Right. Oh, actually, what about you? <laughs> are things going to change for you, too? Tell us. What change can there be? The fortress will keep chugging along, and so will my duties. But, okay. As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. I mean, it's not like Nivia didn't already do everything on the surface, so nothing's gonna change in that sense. Hey, everyone! The photo shoot's done! The Oratrice is probably, like, knocked out now, right? You don't use that anymore. Good. In that case, let's call it a day here. Uh-huh. Thanks for your cooperation. Come on, Traveler, let's go! 
Till next time, everyone. There's just one person. There'll be a next time. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I might write a story about the underwater factory next time. Wow. Until then. Bye. <laughs> All right. Last stop, the docks. The docks. Romaritim Harbor. That's where we first met Farina, so I'm, I'm guessing Farina's gonna be there. Oh. And know, to be fair, the siblings I'd too. Love to see you in one of Charlotte's photo shoots one day. You look super cute, sausage. Is that really necessary? Yeah. Our line of work doesn't really require much photographing. But a cutie does. It's precisely because we don't need the picture I can't that they have value though. as keepsakes. We don't Maybe really look stupid. all that opposed to the idea, you know? Uh-huh. Maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. <laughs> I think this interview went well either way. Nice job. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier <laughs> and Miss Lurvina <laughs> shields. Very good. Very nice. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. This is true, though. It's a win-win. It's good for them, it's good for us. Hey, cuties. Here are the interview notes. They mentioned that the flying ship may have many uses in the future, and the journalist asked me what I thought of them. Uh huh. Seriously, how would I know anything about that? <laughs> flight is just flight. All right, Whether I get people it. People want to use a flying ship to broadcast good news or organize weddings is none of my beeswax. And here's where they're together. This guy's the brains, and she knows how to speak, because this guy clearly doesn't. He's just there. Like a goofball, but he knows how to figure everything out. And she's like, she could put into words for people to understand. A wedding? Huh. <laughs> you want one of those, huh? When's the Julia story quest so we can see them get wed? You know what, actually? Ayata can help with that. I have a lot of experience with it. Why are you looking at me like that? Because your hair is just looking so cute. So the flying ship can be used for weddings? <laughs> I didn't say that. That journalist mentioned it. And what are you putting your arm up? What does that have to do with us anyway? I mean... True. What does that have to do with us? I mean... I mean, guys... Dude, I can't wait to see them get wed. Three kilometers. All right, see you in a year. The sun feels almost as hot as those studio lights I'm in front of all the time. Good thing there can only be one sun. The sun. Good thing there can only be one sun. You're hinting again. Man, it feels like it's only been two months the first time we were- Oh wait, it has only been two months. <laughs> it's apparently really not been that long. Yeah, it's Linny and Lynette. I see them. Friminet too. I'm gonna plunge because it's gonna put me in the story. Yeah, I would have died. Look at them all hanging out. Remember we gave them little bags in case it would get flooded? Because this is where they always hang out. Navia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. Uh huh. Apparently, they've been at the docks distributing these strange pockets the whole time since. Wait, again? Traveler, Paimon. Ah, and Miss Charlotte, too. What are these pockets for this time? Snacks? <laughs> would you like a magic pocket? But we don't have to be afraid of it flooding anymore, right? What sort of gadget is it? You can store infinite stuff. It is kind of broken. It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. Yeah. The water level has returned to normal. Oh, but it's if you the, okay, see any okay. Of your things floating around, yeah. you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. <laughs> trick a friend? Hmm, I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. Not me. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Charlotte. Put those eyes back in your pocket right like now. Here. Isn't that right, <laughs> She's mean. <sighs> Is this what you meant by I'll help you make some more friends? Don't worry, you don't have to do that work for us. To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your contact, please? Oh my god. Uh oh, uh sure. <laughs> uh, please write down my address. Nice. To help right. He was the one who proposed doing this. Okay. He even wants to assist in our magic Aww, shows. Aww, that's cute. Sounds like that would suit him. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, uh -huh. and later Fremine himself. Right. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. Oh, you can say that. And that said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? They wouldn't know. <laughs> they wouldn't know, right? Oh, it'll work out. Every journey begins with the first step. Yeah. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Cute. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? Aww. Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. <laughs> Got it. Got it. 
cute. Now we get to speak to the Lin My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. Uh huh. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. <laughs> so, how have things been, traveler? I'm doing all right. A lot of emotion. Still a bit surprised that we're straight up homies with the Fatui in Fulten so far, as far as it seems. We've seen that space lady that looks like Jing Liu to me. Absolutely amazing. I would love to pull for her. I hope she becomes playable at some point. Would never predict this this Archon act, but super cool. And I think that's about it. All right. Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. I tried. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. We're very grateful that she helped. Uh, that means a lot. We were more than happy to help. So, what's she doing now? And how about... How about the Gnosis? That's probably what she was after, right? Oh, I guess you haven't heard. Well... Well... After Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations, yeah, during it. which he gave I knew it. I knew it. to her as a diplomatic gift. I knew it. But the thing is, it seems fine, because it seems like the Fatui are against the Heavenly Principles as well. So, every time, the Gnosis, it's just kind of bringing us closer to fighting against the Heavenly Principles, which seems to be the bigger enemy than the Fatui. A diplomatic gift? A Gnosis? <laughs> yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. But when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for I it. agree. It makes sense. And also, they did lend a great hand of help. It could so. have been done as an apology for the incident with Lord Child. Uh, or as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring narwhal he, he, down. Probably that. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to Fontaine and Exactly. Consult. I think it's... Genuinely, it's weird, but I think it's fair. She might be twisted, but... The thing is... It's so hard also to differ. I don't know. Well, uh, that's true, but this is a gnosis we're talking about. Doesn't this seem a bit uh, irresponsible? This feels more logical than what Nahida did to I me. I would agree, but I've also heard that it seems that Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Uh huh. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knows about? Apparently, I we're gonna talk to him in a second. I suspect you have to ask him about that yourself. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, I did see him strolling around the entrance to the Fortress of Meripede a while back. Really? Uh, isn't he real busy and stuff? Paimon didn't think he'd have the time for that. I also want to go see Farina. But back to the topic. The Gnosis was given to the Knave, right? What about Child? Bob, leave me alone. Yeah, what about Child? They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. Mm -hmm. I hear that the recent disaster really did a number on his health. What a shocker. Well, I guess I can call him one of my war buddies. That's true. When you think about it, we've had loads of run-ins with the Fatui. To think we'd be allied with them this time. I know, but I think it's really cool. I think it's a super cool twist. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? This doesn't sound like... This doesn't sound like father. <laughs> really? I didn't recognize the voice at all. Father. <laughs> well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Uh-huh. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. Oh, so give the Gnosis back then. <laughs> Are you going to take the Gnosis back to Snezhnaya? I think it's a great thing to have a Harbinger. I mean, kind of, Child was kind of like that too, but she's like so much more open. I wonder if she's going to give us any more info about it. That is our duty as Harbingers, yes. There's more Harbingers than there's, than there's Gnosis. Don't be no too side. preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. I know. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable that we must wear many masks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this means you could also just not be my friend at all. Switching my masks is something I've always done. Yeah. Fair enough. Yelan does it too, so it just depends what purpose you serve, right? Will you keep to your position? Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. Mm -hmm. Fate. What good is honesty <laughs> if you can't rely on it forever? Yeah. As for Fair you, enough. I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Yeah. Good things cannot be achieved alone, mm -hmm. and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. It was an honor working with her, actually. I just remembered something. Please help us deliver this. A vision. Yeah. <laughs> True. 
All right. I'll remember to return it. Thank you for keeping it safe for him this entire time. Of course. Of course. That's crazy. Ah, uh, interview That's time. That's for me. It, huh? <laughs> you... <laughs> you're... Can I have an interview? Greetings, Miss Journalist. <laughs> I love how normal she seems to be. Uh, um... Hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. <laughs> That is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. <laughs> nice. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our upcoming rookie talent. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> the sea breeze is quite pleasant. Oh, I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. Farewell. I really like her. I, I don't know. Maybe I've had a change of heart with Genshin in general. I don't know. I, there aren't many characters I dislike, but I've been liking everyone so far. It's wild. Farewell, father. Except for, of course, uh, Farina's fake personality. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. At first, yeah. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre-scheduled interviews. <laughs> Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Take care, Charlotte. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? <laughs> I actually get one. Here, Traveler, yes. Paimon, you take one too. Let's go. Do you move things about? Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's right. It's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Funny. I know. I was giving out magic pockets when we first met. Too. I know, that's why I said it too. What do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing Full right circle. now. Full circle. So many things have happened. But the pockets are still the pockets. Mm -hmm. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths. And serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. If you say so. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later. So uh -huh. we'll get going now. All right. Have a good day, you two. Take care, gang. Well, guess we sent Charlotte off. Shall we go see what Nevelette's doing? I yeah. I not so busy that he doesn't have time to chat anyway. Hello, Melazine. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. What a crazy day, don't you think? Oh, well, we really have to run a big distance. Wow. So, I, I'm starting to think, and this will probably happen for the next region or something. Adding a face cam would be quite the addition, I'd say, to these videos. As uh, I mean, I think it's a bit embarrassing. He's been standing there for a while. It'd be a bit embarrassing because I do sob, actually. Like, I do tear up quite a bit. I don't know what my facial expressions are like, but it'd be it'd be cool to see anyway. I think it'd add to the video. Hello there. Big guy nerd. So you really are Big dragoon. Hi, I didn't think you were going to have free time this hour of the day. <laughs> really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linny. <laughs> Uh -huh. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. That's cute. In any case, you came at a good time. Okay. I was just considering reaching out to you to set oh, up a meeting. So I may time. explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Guys, it's time for the final chat before the end of the quest. Aw, Paimon's glad that you remembered. Thank you for keeping us on your mind, what with you being busy and all. I can't wait to do Farina's story quest, too. Alright, let's have it then. How is Fontaine actually safe? To us. Uh huh. Um, Here we go. Recollection of memories. It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. Mm hmm. No, yet sighs softly before telling you the truth concerning what he saw that day. Folklore deceived the heavenly principles and used Farina's endless performance to save Fontaine. But Whoa. wouldn't they know now? So that's what happened? We just said, we just said, but they heard. No? <laughs> I just saw Farina's part myself. Fosalor destroyed the divine throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, mm -hmm. transforming you into a fully-fledged elemental dragon sovereign! Mm -hmm. But Paimon still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving. Let's see this. For me, the authority of the ancient dragons refers to absolute control over the Hydro element. He's gonna make them flow upwards. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the Primordial Sea, with oh, constitutions wait. similar to that of mimics. If he has full control over the power of Hydro, maybe he made, like, the cells that are with Primordial Water, he just replaced them with normal water, they can just live everywhere now? But so long as those Primordial energies remain within them, 
Yeah. I could use the ancient dragon's authority to grant them true blood. After the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. Look at that. In other words, when They're I real. gave my verdict, Fontanians became true humans. Yo. And thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water from the primordial sea. That's so cool. Osalar must have counted on you to make that decision as well. Your verdict was the key to making the prophecy appear to have come true while saving everyone. Wow. You could say that it was at that moment that the Fontanians were truly, finally born. Yeah, and in a manner of speaking, Fosalar finally managed to fulfill the original Hydro Archon's wish to turn Oceanids into real people too! Yep. <laughs> That's wild. But they're still normal Oceanids, no? It seems from your expressions that you still have more things to Here we go, big ask. list. Give me five options. What's gonna happen now? What's with Chad? What's with the whale? What with Farina? And what are your, you gonna do for Fontaine now? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know. Fontaine's it. future had that. The Gnosis didn't have that. Next up on my journey. Oh, yeah, true. There's always that at the end. That's true. And child. All right. That wasn't that far off. I have investigated his case along many avenues. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young. Yeah, I heard about there that. There, by now. chance, he awakened the all devouring narwhal. Unlucky. So I felt it was his burden to deal with it, I guess. But whether it be by sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. Yeah. At most, he would have had tangential liability. Sure. As for the judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, mm -hmm. whether it was due to that liability by association or Fosalor deliberately using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature off. I cannot say. That one does make sense. Why does everyone want to come visit? You guys only want to come visit or you don't want to come visit when the world's ending? And then I save the world and then you all want to come and help? Or see how saved it is? Leave me alone. Guess Fosalor had Fontanians in mind Bob, the time. Kokomi. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became real humans. Uh-huh. Uh, hang on a second. Paimon suddenly got another question. Let's hear it, Paimita. Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed Oceanids? Very good question. I was wondering this too when they originally told us. Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians oh. would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? Yeah. Yeah! Lynette said the fountain is where all the waters in Fontaine converge. Really? In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom. Instead, a form of ritual. Really? Those Oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months. Look at that. Uh, Paimon sort of gets it now. Speaking of By ritual. Way, it seems like this ritual won't be of any further use, but it'll probably live on as a local custom. If you go to that fountain and you turn off every bit of audio except for the voices character voices you can hear someone cry so that's what i did for my ritual to pull for farina and i got in one ten pull so this is funny because the whole like new life and gets born from there she was born from there like poof <laughs> in one ten pull i've never been so lucky ask away i will tell you the truth as i know it okay fontaine's future i i guess Sumeru to do dancing and acting. She'd love that. Ah, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me before leaving the Opera House. Where to? I want to find her. I related Fosalor's words to her faithfully and completely. After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor comforted. Yeah. She simply said that she was tired <laughs> and needed to rest. I can imagine. Having said that, she I then packed her things and moved out of the opera house. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Yeah. Um, but she's still got a place to stay, right? Maybe... You need not worry. I will make arrangements to ensure that she will not want for food, clothing, board, or travel. Yeah. In truth, I am somewhat happy for her. Of course. The wear and tear on her spirit will, of course, take time to heal. The feeling must be so exhausting. But now that she no longer has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, yeah. she can finally lay down her burdens and lead a normal life. Yeah. What about you then? What are your plans now that you've regained your full powers as the Hydro Dragon? After Fosalor passed on, the Oratrice also ceased to function. Thought so. This matter will directly affect our trials. Mm -hmm. After much careful consideration, I've decided to take over its role in our courts. Yeah. From now on, 
I shall hear cases and pass verdicts by myself. Good luck, champ. Looks like you're still considering stuff from the perspective of the Udex, huh? I mean, he can still be all-powerful, but still be the Udex. As an elemental dragon, right? there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power and this duty, the manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. Uh-huh. As such, before I attend to my other responsibilities, I must first and foremost continue to serve Fontaine as its highest judge. Fair. The duty of the Hydro Sovereign and the duty of the Udex shall coexist within my person. Yeah. Additionally, the Hydro Archon's departure has brought about another problem. Oh. Which is that the Opera House shall no longer produce Indemnidium. True. But wait, did they use all the power? Like all of it? By using, by making it the ex execution guillotine? people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city are all still okay. Where are they getting their energy from? The prison. As I am now, I have full command over New Musia. And New Musia? a complete substitute. Another reason why I cannot quite leave Fontaine immediately. That's how you pronounce that? New Musia? Wow. This ancient dragon's authority stuff is really quite useful, huh? Uh-huh. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. About the Gnosis. <clears throat> oh, that's right. He's about to tell us. It to the name as a it's so early. He, you know what? The next question is about our future. He's about to tell us about Natlan. That's in like a year. That's in 10 months. Anyway. Leaving aside their intentionality, the two Fatui Harbingers have indeed done much for us during this crisis. Yeah. Their sole remaining goal in Fontaine, at least at this point, would seem to be the Gnosis. Mm -hmm. The Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's divine throne is now no more. And I do not need the Gnosis's power. I knew this. As such, it has lost all meaning for Fontaine. Yeah, I figured. If the Fatui have impure designs, then we might as well accede to their request now and avoid unnecessary conflict. But what if they become too strong and then we can't fight them anymore? Ugh, what complicated considerations. Paima thought you were just giving it to them out of gratitude to the knave and as an apology to child. Well, kinda as well. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Alright, tell me about Natlan. What the hell can I expect in ten months from now? You will soon be heading to Natlan, I presume. Yeah, yeah, Natlan. Better. I'm afraid that I have little talent as a travel guide. So all I can do is tell you what I know about that land. Go for it. I'm excited. As far as I'm aware, Natlan can be said to be a nation of dragons. <laughs> really now? So we'll see you there then. A nation of dragons? You mean like you? No, tiny dragons. No, I suspect that I would not find myself welcome there. Wow, okay. Unlike ancient dragons such as myself, yeah. the dragons of Natlan have undergone long years of development and evolution. What? Large numbers of them have entered a form of coexistence with humanity. Really? Natlan is also the nation of war. Yeah, I war heard that. War ravages those lands like an undying flame. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be exhausting. There is one other piece of information I got incidentally from my negotiations with the Knave that I believe may be useful to you. All right, tell me about it. It's the Archon, isn't it? The Harbinger known as the Captain. Oh, the Captain. Has his hat into the endless ring of war. Capitano or whatever. The yeah. Captain. Sounds like a real tough customer. Yeah. Seriously, everywhere you look, there's a Fatui Harbinger doing their thing. I would have thought he'd have a pyrovision. We had a pyrovision in this nation, and there's another harbinger there. Who in the frick? Who in the fudge? All right, my guess will be Electra. Whatever. It's probably known actually already. I suggest that, that you fully cutscene. prepare yourself before going to Natlon. Sure. In the meantime, Fontaine's doors will always be open to you. Let's go. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. That's it, Ner. Thank you for the wonderful two months. I'm sad it's over. And, uh, kind of mad about it, actually. It went by so quick. How is this patch? This is, like, two months old and we're done with the main storyline. <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, hang on a sec. Paimon still got a question about the Gnosis. Another one? When we spoke to Linny earlier, he mentioned that your attitude towards giving away the Gnosis had clearly changed. He answered this earlier. We guessed that there might be some reason for it that only you were aware of. It has no more, no use anymore for Fontaine. Hmm. No wonder the House of the Hearth is the Fatui's intelligence division. They are certainly sharp. Uh-huh. So regarding this specific issue, I was just getting ready to share something with you. Really? Uh, what is it? These nuts. In truth, I exchanged some further words with that uh -huh. lady named Skirt ah. after sending you two back to the surface. Uh, really? It went something like this. What? 
Okay. Let's hear it, Skirk. Is it gonna be cutscene form or just dialogue form? Kinda hope cutscene. But probably dialogue. It would also be more coherent and easier to follow. See ya. Boonk. <laughs> what next? <laughs> hmm. The old devouring narwhal isn't here, so I'm no longer getting any interference. Who is she associ as associated with? I can finally catch the scent of your power, what it's made of. Uh huh. It is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons, but with something very similar to a god's curse mixed in. Uh huh. It's quite a novel blend. Yeah. Well, did you know the water of Liwa tastes like his <laughs> I'm sure I've encountered something like this before. What was it again? Ah, uh, what was it? I do not know what you speak of. Ah, oh, of course. How could I forget? Uh-huh. You should have the remains of the third descender on your person, yes? Remains of the third descender? What, some ashes or something? The third descender. So... I think we've heard about the, these descenders. I don't remember who the first and the second. Please enlighten me. Please drop comments. I beg. Remains? I've never heard of any such thing. Remains. Huh. According to your parlance, oh. I believe it may be called a gnosis. Really? Okay. Well, that much is true. After Fosalor's divinity faded, she handed her gnosis to me. He's just giving her all this info, just like that. Yeah, dude. But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you just did. Neither have I. That's pretty wild. <laughs> that's pretty wild that that's what it is. I've been training with my master, the Fowl, ever since I was young. Uh-huh. And I have never returned to the surface since. So most of the information I possess, really? I got from him. This is actually for Genshin Impact 2 in space. It is only natural for those who are greater than humanity to possess a different sort of common sense. Which is why there are so many problems in our attempts to communicate with humans. So you're also not a human. Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune to prevent any disasters from befalling you. Really? To live in itself is a blessing. But once a person dies, the bonds he once had with this world shall all turn to curses. What do you mean by that? Thank you. I was also, this metaphor talk is too much. No need to fret. These are just my personal thoughts. Okay. And my reason for no longer wishing to return to the surface. Mm hmm This third descender you refer to. Please. Who are they? Please. And when did they die? Please answer this for real. <laughs> Master never mentioned them oh to me. Oh my god. Perhaps it just wasn't that important for me to know. Ah! If you're interested, though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. You know what I'm gonna do when 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 we're done with the main storyline? I'm gonna make a new account and play through all of it again. And I'm gonna try to make sense of every hint they give us at any point. Next time? You believe we will meet again? Oh, this is a guarantee, good sir. I do. Wait. I have a disciple of my own, don't I? Uh-huh. He can be the messenger, then. <laughs> So child it is. Child is the messenger. And we will indirectly talk to Skirk in the future. Really? That's what she told me. Uh-huh. Whether it would prove useful or not, I wanted to pass that information on to you. That's very sweet. I'm sure long term it will, but my tiny brain can't process that after five hours of this. The remains Maybe of longer. The third descender? Yeah. So that's what the Gnosis actually are. That's insane. Kinda just stuff they look like chess pieces. I know. I know. All the same, There's assuming that there. there was no misunderstanding or special metaphor at play, that is what she meant to say. That's also a good point. It might just be a metaphor. Maybe it's what they left behind. They brought it from a different world, perhaps? Then left that behind? Or inside, there's a little bit of their ash. And when you combine them all together, you make a power ranger. And she said that it would bring misfortune and that you should check it. Which is why you gave it to the Fatui. <laughs> no, no, don't bring misfortune to the Fatus. If she speaks the truth, then I would simply be putting Fontaine at unnecessary risk by keeping it here. I wonder if the other Archons are aware of this. And I also wonder if the Fatui are aware of this. A Descender? She mentioned one of them. I know. I'm the fourth Descender. 
For me, this information means two things. So I was the fourth, I thought so. One, that the Gnosis are related to the Senders, and two, that the one who came before me has already died. I had guessed that you might already be familiar with this concept. That's insane. And I did not expect you to be one of them. <laughs> what do you mean? That means that the Gnosis, which are exceedingly no elemental compatible and can even enhance elemental abilities, do indeed come from the third Descender. So all of them, every Gnosis is, okay. Hmm, I wonder. Does your body also possess similar properties? Yeah, of course it does. I can control all the elements, dude. You've not been following? Uh, like being able to use elemental powers without a vision. That yeah. does sort of count as special compatibility, right? Of course it does. No, no, let's not think about this stuff right now. It just feels creepy. What are you, Paimon? Are you a descender? Comparing the traveler to the dead third descender and all. <laughs> Don't worry, Paimita. I still have two acts to live. That's what you say, but this Yes. Yes to both. I too believe it unwise to make too many blind guesses when information is lacking. Mm -hmm. The same is true of being at court. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever the case, it seems like the crisis here in Fontaine's over for now. Mm -hmm. Yes. All of Fosalor's efforts were for this moment as well. Yep. But she sacrificed herself in the end as a god, mm -hmm. and she suffered through all those years as a human. Was that really what she wanted? What do you mean was that really what she wanted? She wanted she wanted Fontaine to be free. That was her goal. Because it was the wish of the previous Archon. I suppose that would be the mystery of a god's will. Can you understand the will of the gods? I suspect not. But once in a while I too would guess that if wishes were like the clouds in the sky, they will one day return to the earth as raindrops. I was gonna say, I, think, I thought it started raining for a second, but... No. I too would guess that if wishes were the clouds in the sky, they would one day return to the earth as raindrops. Life flows like water, and rain is the final answer. Mm -hmm. The water levels may sometimes tilt one way or another, but the rain falls fairly upon all. If you say so. And what ultimately is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? It's very deep, dude. I'm too mushy to understand any of this anymore. Chapter 4, Act 5 complete. Masquerade of the Guilty. <laughs> what the hell, guys? What the hell? I straight up feel like this happened yesterday with Nahida. But then instead of Natlan, obviously it was Fontaine. That's open now, I'm pretty sure, guys. We can go there. Look. That's real land. All right, uh, it's time for an outro. I don't, I don't even, I'm not gonna move very far. I, what the hell? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this. Act five, as always, super long, super spicy, super interesting. I, I'm at a loss for words. So much happened, and to be fair, I still feel like some of our questions aren't answered. I, I feel like the, the child bit happened so quick, but his mentor, just like, space girl, I actually feel like they're gonna seriously tie everything together. Speaking of that, I don't know if you guys... <laughs> I've never seen the idol, that's so cute. <laughs> Probably something happening around here. I don't know if you guys have heard of Zenless Zone Zero, which is another game by Hoyoverse, but there is a thing in there too called Bellabog, and Bellabog is also a city in Star Rail, and like, this girl is clearly from space, and I feel like Star Rail and, and Honkai Impact and Genshin... I feel, there's definitely hints that it's all tied together, right? Well okay, I understand. If you'd like to learn the the mean talks a bit less. It's kind of nice. She does yawn every now and then, but that's it. <laughs> I see the statue of the seven as well, actually. Okay, I'm talking too much. Anyway, it was incredible. I, I love this quest. I don't know what you guys thought of it. To be fair, I liked Inazuma too, and everyone hated on that, so I'm probably not the best judge, but I love following every single bit of this, and I... Nope. <laughs> I can't wait for more story, but that's why I'm so... Sorry, I punched the mic. I'm so sad it's over. It's just, it's done. 10 months of waiting until we get more. Thank you so much for watching, either way. Let me know what you think about what I said during the quest. And, uh, well, I guess I know I'm the fourth to send her now. Your theories about the future and whatever. And, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in 10 months, well, hopefully before that, with uh, more videos. Bye-bye.